Disney, make this video. It looks like Star Wars Galactic Star. What the fuck? <laughs> what was that? Mike? <laughs> that wasn't me. Dude, y'all are fucking retarded, man. Mike. <laughs> Mike. For... Mike. I'm going to stop coming on this motherfucking <laughs> show. If we have another one of these goddamn <laughs> things, we're going to blame me for fucking <laughs> farting. Listen, John? that's straight up a soundboard. Clearly, yeah. Like, <laughs> listen, even Rip was defending me. The fuck, man? <laughs> Mike just fucking farted. <laughs> And then Beardo over here can't read a super chat going to try to throw me under the fucking oh, bus. Oh, man. <laughs> when I get a chance, so. Um, hey, thank you guys for having me. I'm going to leave now. Take it easy. <laughs> God, fucking stupid, man. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, bro? <laughs> fuck stupid, man. Stupid, man. Fuck, bro. Holy shit. <laughs> Eric's never coming back on this show. He's like, they don't do that at the blaze. <laughs> <laughs>3PO is here. It wouldn't be a Tuesday night's main event without drunk 3PO. No. Thanks for uh, being a jerk already. Me? Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, hey, what did he do? Hey, where what did, did that come from? Hey, expect anything different? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh. What What do you mean? What did I do? What did I do that was jerkish? First she said I had a dent in my head. That explains everything. No, no, you said you had a and dent in your head, and I said that explains everything. That explains everything. everything. And then you pointed it like, out. Yeah, it wouldn't be a stream without Jay here. All right, Everybody listen. Welcome Jay. I, I'm, I'm fucking tired, all right? I, I got back from the airport probably at like 4, 4.30 or something in the morning. Took me a while to go to sleep. I've basically just been laying around in bed all day. I haven't even fucking changed or showered. I, I am fucking beat down, all right? So I might be a little bit low energy. So if it just seemed like I was being a sarcastic asshole, about 50% of that could be attributed to just I'm a little bit fucking low energy today, Jay. <laughs> but don't worry. You got me amped back up. Thanks. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Um, glad you you're here. Up, when you spend an entire week drunk and singing karaoke in Vegas, imagine it takes it out of you pretty bad. Every it's video I saw of you in Vegas was just you singing at people in the street. And well, they were the fuck is everyone zone. tagging me on that? And the army of and the, the army of black women that were watching you sing karaoke, and they're like, "I'm taking a white boy home tonight." That was that dude. Was those that black was, women. That was the only one Getting I was. It proud on. Of. <laughs> I mean, that's that, fair. That was the only. I don't know if Rip has seen that one yet. Um, I listen. I know it wasn't wasn't like metal or anything like that. But I mean, I think Rip has got to have some respect for me jumping up on stage and doing ludicrous. I can yeah. respect that. Yeah, I can respect that's right. Rip. Did you see it? Yeah, I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> it was so good, man. I couldn't believe it. I, I was it. like, this is the most Ryan shit I've ever seen. <laughs> Bro, it was I a great video. I loved it. I could have got all the black pussy I wanted that night. I tell you what. <laughs> uh, they were... 
They were if they could have jumped more than two inches, they would have got right up on that stage. Dude, yeah. Black right. girl magic. Any kind of vertical. Yeah. But uh <laughs> lucky for me they didn't. So but Ripa, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. Doing good. Um yeah, been busy. I'm glad you guys had fun. I'm sorry I couldn't make it out to the the uh meetup and everything, but it was good seeing all the photos, good seeing everybody having a blast. That was awesome to see, man. Um Including Ryan's uh, special karaoke, so yeah, uh, it was awesome to see. But nah, man, I'm I'm good, feeling good. I'm glad to be here on another uh, Tuesday night's main event. R- Rip up, man! Like Vegas is like getting. It's just like Orlando. It's like Vegas is just getting better every year. Oh, um, yeah. I called Gary about it, and I was like, dude, we might need to. I agree. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ryan was like, exactly. I love that. I, I think I think that's the dumbest Ryan thing you've ever said, Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> so you you actually broke up. No one had any idea what you said. Yeah, uh, I'm shutting up. That's right. Jeremy's on the road. Well, Jeremy's on the road. Funny, what's funny is that Gary today on the Nooner was talking about that. He goes, uh, or the real BBC. He was like, yeah. Uh, we've been here for a whole week. It's been great. We we'll probably do this again. He goes, and this guy had a genius idea to do it for a whole week, and he fucking left early. And it was Jeremy that they were talking about. So, yeah, sounds, sounds about sounds, right. Sounds about right. <laughs> uh, Epic Mike. I don't know how uh, flatulent you're feeling tonight, but how, how's it going, man? I'm trying to work it up. You know, we'll see what happens. Um, no, it's going good. Just been busy as fuck with all this. Epic verse shit, and then the internet going crazy for every every fucking fandom's got some stupid shit going on, some other fire to put out. So it's been kind of interesting, but also been streaming a whole bunch on YouTube, and that's been going really well. It's been fun. Um, wow, I didn't even know about that, but I'm yeah, glad it's going that's, well. Yeah, oh yeah, um, yeah. Danky warned me on a on a separate live stream. He saw me in the chat. And he goes, "You're next." And I was like, oh, fuck, what are you going to do, bro? And I just got like one picture of that, what he did to me. And I was like, oh, no, man. But no, he's he's awesome. I fucking love that video. I was I was laughing my ass off. This shit's hilarious. He gave him a badass afro. Yeah, it's huge. It takes up so much of the screen. I was like, it's <laughs> not actually totally inaccurate. The though, gas man. fumes were great. Yeah, the gas fumes yeah. were behind did, me. Yeah. Did we ever? So you still maintain that that was like a soundboard thing? Chris admitted it was a soundboard. I, at this point, I'm fine with, you know, like it. I don't care. Like, I'll fart if I have to fart. In fact, if I get the rumblies, I'll let one off tonight. And you get to hear what it really sounds like. Okay? And there won't okay. be no fart gate. You guys will be able to hear what it really sounds like. Okay? Only if you get to, only if you get next to your microphone. That's it. I will. I'll stand gotta, up. I'll let it rip right in front of everybody. Yeah. Nobody yeah. wants to hear a wet we gotta, fart, Mike. Nobody wants to, but they need to know. They got to know. We got to hear it. Like, we got to hear the mo- moisture on it. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't know about that. Uh, speaking of moist, Dan Vask is here. The man who is still struggling to make those 70-year-olds moist. Uh, even if they've yes. lost a little bit, they can still they can still go one time, you know? What's up, Dan? Yeah, doing great, man. Being ta- uh, I've been tagged in your video singing the whole I, week for some reason. I'm and I sorry feel about so that. so disrespected. I, that, that's what I said, too. Like People that are like, wow, Dan needs to hit up a collab. I'm like, do you have any idea how disrespectful should, that is to Dan You should collab with Dan, yeah. And I'm reading that, and I'm like... Yeah, it's, it, that's like if they saw me out like playing catcher, like me and Jeremy throwing a football outside, and they were like, at Tom Brady, you should really check this guy out, dude. Hey. <laughs> Come on. That's, like, that's thank exactly you for that. why yeah. they yeah. should continue to tag Dan. <laughs> Fuck him. Yeah. Disrespect the hell out of him. No, that's don't true. disrespect the hell out of me because I did something epic today. Today I did something historic, and 247 people witnessed it which was beating Castlevania for the NES, one of the hardest games ever made, without dying. Live. What? I, uh, Craig, I said one of the, not the. One really? of the hardest one games. Of- one of the hardest games. Come on, to today's standards. Yeah, listen, if you're a... a, a, this, is, a this, is, this is the first time I've respected you. Go ahead, Craig. There you go. Thank you. Listen, I appreciate the first accomplishment. Time. To say it's one of, the, one of the hardest games ever made is like, come on, what are we doing here? Come on, man. It's why it's considered one of the hardest games ever made to today's standards. It, it could perfectly to today's like, standard. Yes, people who can't play. Yeah, yes, yes. Dark absolutely. Souls is considered a hard game today, and like that that game is way harder than Dark Souls. Dark Souls is not a hard game. 
Exactly. <laughs> speak for your fucking selves. But yeah, get the that, hell out of here. Yeah, speaking of that, we do have Sevi for the first time on main event, I think, from Geeks and Gamers Geeks and Gamers Tabletop. What's up, Sevi? There's a bunch of chats for you already. Hello, everybody. I'm so excited to be here. Hearts for everybody. Hearts for everybody. And thank you, everybody, who sent super chats. There you go. And we, we will get to the super chats. Thank you, Sevi, for being here. Check her out on Geeks and Gamers. I can't fucking speak. Well, game, what the hell is a game of fucking <laughs> uh, that game like, you got to run in the fucking show, Jeremy. He, he, he forgets how to stream. He can't yeah. even say the name of the fucking company. Geeks and Gamels. He's still working off that. Uh, Geeks and Gamels. You know what? That I, I, was I can't like, fucking talk, bro. He's working I'm off that black girl game. magic still. Yeah. I'm practicing on Italian accent because we're going to do a Call of Cthulhu uh, stream. So I'm practicing Italian accent, and that sounds as good as my Italian accent, which is non-existent. Holy! I don't shit. even. Well, I wasn't even gonna say anything, but you can't speak right either. What is that accent? <laughs> I, I'm Colombian, so okay. it's kind of hard. So my accent is a mixture of Colombian accent and then also um, a Minnesotan accent. So it like all merges together, and it makes no sense. <laughs> So okay. how'd you get from Columbia to Minnesota to accidentally ship you up there with the Somalis or what? Well, actually, no. What the hell are we doing? Um, <laughs> my parents were just okay. Colombian. <laughs> no, okay. and they just decided Minnesota was the perfect place to be. I love that Ryan just goes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm just I'm asking questions. I'm letting the chat get to know her. All right, that's all. Jeremy just fucking died. Probably got in a fucking wreck. Um, with that being said, Craig, what's up, man? Hi, everybody. It's great to see you. Ryan, you're on point today, uh, which is great. Um, as the proud owner of uh, ddaycobra.com and uh, jaysasiansun.com, yeah. I, I am here and ready to represent, which is great. I saw that, by the way. Thank you. Um, I, if everyone would go to uh, jaysasiansun.com, or ddaycobra.com. You have a special <laughs> message for you guys today, Jay. Thanks. Yes. <laughs> did, you go, did you go check that out? I saw that. Right, what good. is it? Just a picture of that dude stealing all the Amazon no. boxes? <laughs> it's some kid singing, I can't find my dad. <laughs> what the fuck? There you go. <laughs> well worth the thirty dollars and fucking the exactly. the rights. Yeah, yeah. It's a recurring, uh, recurring uh, bit, man. It's good uh, stuff. He's Black holding Peter. isn't he holding like Nemo or something? Like a no, no, no. I change it this week. I'm changing every week. Oh, shoot. Oh, <laughs> Scotty doesn't know. Yeah, Scott, that, that's D Day Cobra. That's, that's D Day Cobra. Scotty yeah. doesn't know. And uh, Jay's Asian Sun dot com. Uh, used to be my video. This is this is thanks to, uh, by the way, 1 800 Danky <laughs> asked for this one. Smells like. Mm. Smells like what? Smells like bean spirit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You can thank, you can thank Danky for that. There, there you go. go. Thank you, Danky. Uh, <laughs> Steph, my nerdy home is also here, probably also getting back from Vegas. I am. I am. I slept for like 13 hours when I got home. I missed every... I woke up in the afternoon and I didn't even know where I was. But Vegas was so incredible. I absolutely had a blast. So yeah, getting ready to just fucking get back down to work. Um, we're also live on Locals. So if you're a local supporter, come and hang out with me over there. My voice sounds like shit. That's all right. Yeah. Everybody's does. Oh uh, except Dan's, I suppose, contractually. And Thank finally, you. Fear the Beardo, who was also in Vegas partying it up. What's up, man? Yeah, still kind of recovering. One thing about, you know, having that camera and doing the whole IRL stuff, uh, I love it. But one of the um, uh, one of the things that come with that is shaking literally every single person's hand, getting people on camera. I don't know how many people feel absolutely fantastic. Definitely not sick uh but i'm glad to be here man I'm glad to be here hands? still still recovering oh hand, hand sanitizer hand washing my hands yeah. oh yeah there you go. yeah speaking of hard games to beat did you guys see the guy who beat elden ring using morse code no that just happened yeah. like yesterday what? somebody beat what? elden ring just using morse code what? yes i did yeah. what do you mean how I, I I don't know. He he had some type of program where he was able to input uh, certain controls just using Morse code. Absolutely uh, insane. I, that must be nice. Damn. I see motherfuckers with like no arms and no legs beating that shit, and yes. I like struggle with it. It's yeah. like Jesus. Uh, I, it makes me just want to give up. That's not inspiring to me to see a super handicapped person do something way better than I can. It just makes me feel like shit. So just yeah. for the record, not inspiring. 
for those of you that want to show off about all that shit. (laughs) Uh, Looks like Jeremy recovered from his uh, deadly car crash, and he's back. So (laughs) it's good that he's here. I guess. Um, His avatar is here. Oh, also, Krista is here. She is in the back. She's backstage. So drop some Krista emojis and say hello to her in the chat. No. That's right. We've already got a bunch of super chats that have come in for Sevi. Uh, Kyo Kinsabre for $50. Hail TNME. Hail Sevi. And the hashtag Cult of Sevi. I can donate a straight $36 on the app. So... 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36, 36. Hi, Arudai. <laughs> what are we doing? I'm, I'm just reading Super That's Chat. That's too many 36. What are we doing? Yeah, What's the 36 yeah. thing? Um, so Arudai plays um, a character on a Friday D&D game. And he rolled for endowment, like a percentage, to see how his ah, character out of a, out of a hundred, yeah, huh? out of a hundred. And he rolled thirty six. So ever since then, we just keep pointing thirty six because he makes him so mad. I'm pretty sure Ryan did that, that Asian like range. Yeah. yeah, you yeah. know what can you do? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Tom Tom Barry Master for fifty. A fifty. Are we gonna have to fight between Sevi and Dan Vasque over who has the better hair? Oh, we probably, might. Uh, we're just going to skip over Mike? Obviously, look Mike, at him. Mike's hair. What? Look at Mike's hair. <laughs> Mike's hair takes up the Mike's hair window. is pretty good. Uh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, like, listen, uh, like, as all due respect to Mike's afro, but you can tell he's half white. Like, Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't curl tight. It's not a... Yeah, you know, yeah. It's, I mean, it's, it, it's it is longer than it looks fluff. like. I mean, it's pretty long, but it's only half curled. Yeah. I'm learning a lot of interesting things about American culture with you guys. You mean about I, other noticing, cultures, period? I'm, not, I'm noticing that every time someone says, with all due respect, they're about to say something shitty to... to yes, yeah. well, yeah. It, 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 it's yeah. the same thing <laughs> when, you say, when you say no offense, you're about to say something really fucking offensive. There yeah. you go. Or yeah. like when yeah. Yeah, somebody in Brazil oh, says, no, this water's that. totally safe, and it's definitely not. So. <laughs> there yeah. you go. I'm going to use that. You're yeah. just letting people know you're about to say something mean, but not to take it personally. Yeah, that's pretty much right. what it is. They shouldn't right. take like, it personal anyway. It'd be like this, like, yeah, no, no offense, but you're not as handsome as you think you are. Oh, okay. Ooh. Crack, no offense, but go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> figured it out. Yes. Nailed you, it right you, away. You pick it up on it. Yes, that's how to do it. That's how you're, to do it. you're ready to immigrate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's all you needed, yeah. Aiden B for 20 bucks, sending in an early one to support Sevi. Hail the 199. Look at that. Thank you, Aiden. We've got a lot of fucking Sevi chats here. Um, yeah. Our Frosty becomes a channel member. Warlock for 200 Swedish dollars. Um, that guy kind of looks like fucking Jeremy. Like a, <laughs> like a high school picture of Jeremy. Yeah. No, he doesn't. It's yeah, like a cross good. between Jeremy and Kurt Cobain. I was Kurt about to say that, that's Kurt, Kurt Cobain. Cobain. Looks like Kurt Cobain. Yeah. It looks like yeah. if Jeremy was a school like Kurt shooter. Cobain. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like exactly. Like Jeremy was like teetering a line whether he was going to be like a famous YouTuber or just go back and shoot up his trailer school and it's like <laughs> made the right decision. Uh, Warlock Still says, time for whatever. So <laughs> yeah, just, just for the record. I, I lost connection whenever Ripple was saying something about Jeremy. You're letting this guy run your live stream, and I lost connection. I have no idea of the context. I, I oh, kept look, like, mumbling. He kept saying geeks and gamels. And yeah, I was like, yeah. you got this guy running the stream, and he can't pronounce the uh, the company name, Gamel. I can't fucking speak today. A Gamel um, is a Mongol gamer. <laughs> a Mongol gamer? The only time I've had to speak today is the one of the five or six times that Jeremy's called me. Um, that, that's the only time that I've spoken at all today. So I'm still warming up, warming up. Um, who needs a soul anyway? Join the benevolent queen in her fight against the evil fed for the small price of your soul. Pretty much worthless. You can join the cult of Sevi. All hail the queen. There you go. Okay. Uh, Aiden B for 36 cult of Sevi down with the fed. I think yeah. Sevi has more fans than Arudai does on the Geeks and Gamers table. Well, that's why I'm really happy to watch this <laughs> happen be because it means that there's going to be a lot of Arudai hate on this stream, and I think the more of that Dude. there is, the better the world is. So, yeah. Dude, yeah. listen, do- do- Dr. Fauci has more fans than fucking Arudai, okay? Yeah. Arudai's <laughs> and shit, okay? So Dr. Fauci it- has two fans? That's what yeah. you're saying? Yeah. I- at least most of Arudai's stay alive. You know, yeah. that, that is the uh, one thing they have in... Going for there them. That's rough. Yeah. 
Jazz Pena, this one's for Ripa. Ripa, did you hear about OJ Simpson? Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> <laughs> Holy yeah, shit. I heard about it. I'm completely in the know on my what favorite, happened to OJ Simpson. My favorite meme from that is somebody did AR art of him in heaven, and it's just the white Bronco being chased by a bunch of cop cars. <laughs> Oh, you okay. see that his Bronco is officially on sale. You can buy it for like one point five million dollars. What? Yeah, yeah oh, they're man. selling. I would it. do a crowdfunder for that. Yeah, that's that would be pretty great. Um, Wait, you would want that thing? Yeah, it's famous. For what? I don't know. Probably kill somebody or something. Take it for a joyride. Yeah, drive it down. Just real <laughs> slow, just twenty miles an hour down the freeway. <laughs> yeah, just recreate it. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, it'd be uh, pretty good. Michaela Ish gives five Geeks and Gamers memberships. Thank you, Michaela. And then our Frosty uh, with 10, or Frost, I don't know how to say your name, uh, with 10 Geeks and Gamers memberships. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, it's Frost. Frost? Okay, Frost. Um, Joe Schmo for 36. Sevi is greater than Gay Rudai. Make her to head of the tabletop <laughs> channel, please. She's hotter and better at the job. Plus, the Fed eats corn the long way. Yeah, that's actually literally true. He did that on a stream one time. It was pretty bad. Oh my god, he got a soda that was uh, like flavor of corn, and he was drinking it. And then we just gave him a hard time because we say, "Oh, look, he's he's eating corn the long way." Like, who yeah. gets soda that tastes like corn? Who? No. Sounds like a J thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With his butter dishes and you know, his corn flavor. No, no, J. Me and Jay drank some fucking like strange tasting sodas in Boston, didn't we, Jay? It was like pickles, like, uh, yeah, pickles. jalapeno soda or something. Ryan what? drank it like a soldier. I I couldn't handle it. Wow, so, crazy! It was fucking disgusting. Dude, we were supposed to do it for a video, and I drink it. Jay's like <laughs> drinks one sip and starts fucking laughing. He's like, all right, <laughs> dude. Ryan is the funniest guy in the world. It's <laughs> so. I like to get him all upset, and then he starts yelling at people. It's the funniest <laughs> thing ever, man. Yeah, it's really, it's really tough to push me past that point. You know, but once I get there, uh, Josh, Josh Brolin's poetry. He dances to the feet <laughs> beat, rapping. She's a freak in the sheet. The African queens feel ludicrous as he embodies the great ludicrous, an equality champion we love the most. Raise a glass to BK Outpost. Thank you, okay. Josh Rowland's poetry. At least it doesn't sound like you want to fuck me in that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's the little victories that you can find there. Yeah, the silver That's lining. My favorite <laughs> thumbnail of all of YouTube. Ryan's thumbnail, Josh Brolin. When I first saw that, I didn't think it was real, man. I, was, I didn't even watch the video. I just laughed at the at the freaking thumbnail. That's like my once a month. Like I make a <laughs> thumbnail that is like so outrageous, even I laugh at it. Um, it's pretty good. Let's see if I can find it here. If you haven't seen it, man, it's uh, uh yeah. That's the day I read poetry to you. I think that was um, it, it was because of that. Like I think yeah. it was because of that story. Oh, uh, here man. we go. Fucking find the damn thumbnail for this. It's a pain in the ass. Here it is. I just can't believe it got through. Why? I don't know. I just That's I what she know. said. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh why my would God. Why would YouTube flag this? Yeah. It's censored. Yeah. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> so good, man. What? <laughs> this better what? Ryan, this better have got 100,000 views at least. Oh my God, it's so funny, <laughs> dude. It, I don't think it did. I like let's see. <laughs> It only got like forty thousand. It it really That's didn't do that great. That's disappointing. I know. <laughs> it just shows you sometimes it's not the best thumbnails that you know do the best. But for people that don't know, Josh Brolin wrote a poem about uh, Timothy Chalamet that made it sound like he wanted to fuck him because he's young and supple. It was like really weird. So I, I wouldn't even think about making a thumbnail like that. Well, mine are pretty bad. We know. Um, a root eye for fifty dollars. <laughs> Who the hell let Sebi on here? I think Jeremy's trying to replace me, Kathleen Kennedy style. Oh my god! It's it's, it's not you that know serious, it's Rudai. No, it really like it's not that. It's quite obvious that you've been replaced a long time ago, <laughs> Rudai. Um, That's why it's not that serious. Like it's you know. come on, Rudai. Like yeah, stop embarrassing yourself. Okay, Just... let's get a little bit of a reality check here. 
Yeah. That's yeah. right. Calm the fuck down. Yeah. Um, but thank you, Rudai. Go sub to Geeks and Gamers Tabletop. I Craig, said it right you, that time, Ripa. Craig, Geeks did you freaking gamers. super? Did you did you put your face over my face and posted it? Did yeah, you do I, that, Craig? I don't have what? a picture of of me and X Ray Girl, so I just figured I'd take yours and. Put Holy my shit! Face. He did. I just saw that. What the fuck? That's what? amazing. That's kind that of so amazing. Pull that yeah. up. Pull that up. I'll show it. I don't have. I don't have a picture. Shit, with I play like Happy Birthday, X Ray Girl. <laughs> Freaking Craig, like oh, put his shit. face over mine. <laughs> That's actually really oh my fucking God. good, man. That actually, that actually looks good. It looks, looks legit. Yeah. It, looks well good. Yeah. it saves so much legit. time. So the, oh the, the only thing that would have been better is if you had just wrote it the same way, happy birthday at X-Ray Girl, but replaced her face with yours and left Jay's. Because <laughs> <laughs> you, you are pretty squinty in that one. <laughs> <laughs> good point. Hold on. Yeah. I got you. There you go. Thank you. That'll, that'll be good, too. Yep. Um, <laughs> um, where the fuck are we? For $50. Uh, whoa. Kim Malone found a whale bone butter dish. What? Awesome. Oh, damn. I don't that fucking believe I need to see yeah. a picture to come I'm not Kim, sure if I believe that. You're a no, no, goddamn no, liar. I don't believe you. I'm pressing X to doubt here. My favorite part was Jay's excitement. That's how we know he absolutely has a butter dish collection. He's like, what? what? Where did you find Bro, it? I, I it need to have it. Where, it where did you random, get it? It was a random comment that just kind of took off. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't really a comment. It was kind of you exposing yourself. And you no one brought me back a butter dish from Vegas. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Yeah. I didn't even see a single one. Yeah. Just tells you no one actually fucking cares about that. You have to go to an antique store to find it. Nobody freaking cares. There was one dude. There was one dude that had like a, a fucking whale, an actual whale butter dish. Did he bring it with oh. him, though? I don't know. Like, some of the nights are a little bit of a blur to me, so I'm not sure, but I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Primark Vulcan for five. Jeremy's Danky Picks looks like the alien from Mike and Me movie. Um, I don't know if I remember oh, that's that. That's true. He looks oh, fucked up, though, man. whatever it is. Um, it is like I said it the other day, but I mean, our haters can't make us look worse than Danky does. And that's the best part of it. Like, <laughs> he makes us look fucking horrific. And uh, yeah. so it, it, our haters can't even do, do as good a job as him. So. I, I think it. yours looks pretty accurate, Jeremy. The most accurate yeah, well, one. Yeah, I mean, I, hey, whatever you get do to get over the cope of that fucking pathetic performance of being scared of Ryan, get the fuck out of here with that beta bullshit. Put the, what are you even talking <laughs> about? Oh, my, my heart's beating. <laughs> this is my last Ryan day on Geeks <laughs> <laughs> The fuck? Just got to turn it up a little bit. <laughs> um, no offense. Yeah, no what offense. I going to fucking no say? Offense. Um, I don't remember. Uh, hello, Steph from My Nerdy Home. Hello. Josh Kelsey. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, you're fine. Keep going. I thought you were going to say something. I was, but I changed my mind, so keep going. Uh, Josh Wait. Kelsey also didn't have anything to say, but $10. <laughs> Thank you, Josh. Appreciate that. Uh, Chrysanth. Am I saying that right? For $36. It's weird hearing Ryan read the Super Chats on Tuesday, though. You know, that's all. I didn't mean to I, I, think, I think he's doing it intentionally, so nobody says, "Can you please replace Beardo because you read better?" Ryan's like, "I'm just gonna intentionally fuck up so they don't ask me to come back again." Yeah, well, I, trying to make it a shorter show, you know, just uh, <laughs> this is blast. And this continue, show. please. <laughs> Power through. No, uh, Everybody quiet. But there's a there was a billion fucking Sevy chats before we even started, so I want to get through some of these. <laughs> Um, join the cult of Sebi. There are excellent benefits. I can't wait for Natalia to end Mort. Get him, Sebi. Yeah. I don't know what that means, but I assume it means something to you, Sebi. It's, Go get it's, him. Uh, it, it's the game where Erudai rolled for endowment. Then they just want me to kill Erudai's NPC. He's got the, uh, got the old, he rolled Asian on endowment, huh? Yeah. He also made like this is a new character he made, and he wears like leather, and he walks around with, like a whip. He calls himself the Dungeon Daddy. Like Arudai is just it's completely gross. out of pocket. It's fucking. It's gross. cringe. Nobody it's likes cringe. any of it. So he yeah. did all that. So he did all that. He like has made his guy this weird dude who's some kind of like BDSM enthusiast, but he's got a small yeah. dick. He's got a small dick. It's yeah. Cringe. Yeah, yeah it's, it's cringe. pretty bad. 
It's yeah. so cringe. <laughs> like the first time he played it, I didn't know what to do. And I think I like was just like laying my head on like on the table and not saying anything because I just didn't know what to say because it was so cringe. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Yeah, small okay. dicks are pretty cringe. Yeah. Uh Matthew Hammond for 10. Ripa posted on X, America's downturn. Uh, directly correlates with decline of baseball movies. This used to be a proper country. What yeah, do you say that baseball movies? Ripple, what's your favorite baseball movie? Man, I mean, it's got to be Sandlot, man. I, I can't. Mm. Uh, you know what my yeah. favorite is? Rookie of the Year. Because Rookie that was of the like, Year is good. That, that was, was like my was mis- What's the one with Tom Selleck, Mr. Baseball? Oh, dude. No, Tom, Mr. Baseball's all right. There's there's Mr. 3000, I think. I like Mr. 3000 is really good. Mr. 3000 really with Bernie Mac. That's but, I mean, it doesn't look good, but, but the best rookie one. of the year is legit. Like, yeah, you fucked up your arm and now you get superpowers. Like, that was my dream because I was probably around that kid's age. Henry Row, yep. Henry Rowan Gardner, whatever the fuck yep. his name was, catching a ball. First of all, the bleachers are never that empty at Wrigley, even when the team's miserable. So it's kind of bullshit. But yeah. fires <laughs> that thing all the way back to the catcher. That was cool. Dude, it's, cool. it's but it's clearly Field of Dreams, though, right? Field of Dreams is one of the best. Field of Dreams, Dreams is amazing. Uh, yeah. Eight Men Out. Anybody for the like love of the game. Eight Men Out is really good, yeah. For the um, love of the game is great. And uh, Rookie what was the one with, with the Angels Dennis Quaid. In the outfield was, Angels in the Outfield. Angels yeah. in the Outfield, yeah. That came yeah. around the same time, right? It's Sandlight. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> right. It's got to be Sandlight, though. It can't, it can't not be sand, sand, Sandlight. Look, it's God's thumbnail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, see that. I think that every time I see a fucking moon like that. Okay, Sam, can, can Sam we get some love for some Keanu Reeves hardball? Come on. It's a great movie. No. Nobody remember that one? Everybody just looks at yeah. Everybody's like, "What the fuck?" What was the Nobody name of the, uh, that? Rob Bull, Bull Durham's fucking good too. What about Moneyball? Moneyball is good. Moneyball's Moneyball is good. Major, major league. league versus a good major comedy. League. Major, major league. Yeah, yeah. major league. Like, you're right, dude. That's what I'm you're, saying. You're no, it's the it's a. I was looking at it yesterday. That's why I tweeted it. I wasn't. I wasn't like pulling out of my ass. Like the the America's downturn correlates with the downturn <laughs> of fucking. I don't know why that is of baseball movies. Well, you could actually just say baseball in general, well, and like yeah, the American cool, public's man. interest Manfred. in baseball. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, you, you could probably chart it like that as well. Dude, mm-hmm. What about the end of uh, Naked Gun when Leslie Nielsen is the umpire at the Angels game? That's pretty good. Don't Jesus. think that. Qua- I don't think that class. Like no, nah, it's definitely definitely a baseball movie. <laughs> he's saying That's the national anthem. Movie. Does Space Jam count? He's playing <laughs> baseball in the beginning. <laughs> sure, oh, sure. Why not? Why not? What was that hey. movie? What was that baseball movie with Joey from Friends and the and the animal? With the monkey. Oh, with that? the monkey. Yeah. Yeah, that was retarded. Uh, yeah. Matt, Matt LeBlanc. But yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, I never know his name. Um, so Joey what was it? from Friends. No, but there's the, <laughs> yeah. the rookie with Dennis Quaid. The rookie is is a it's, it's, yes. I thought, you, I thought you said yes. the Wookie. Like uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, a, a League of Their Own. Oh man, the natural. Oh, a League of Their Own is good. I love that one. Natural was good. Sixty-one. Yeah. What about basketball? Ba- oh, basketball. That don't count, but I that's just fucking that. hilarious. Uh, <laughs> it's fucking goofy. Now, nah, yeah. my number one for sure. It, 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 Sandlot's clear. Sandlot's it's it's got to be Sandlot. Yeah. yeah, Sandlot's clear for me. I feel like my, top three Sandlot. I really do like. If we're talking about favorite, not best. I'm putting Miss 3000 there and maybe Angels and Outfield just because it came out right after it. I, I just remember that's as it's actually Angels and Outfield was is the one might have been one of the first movies I had ever watched when I was like really, really young. Because that's the that's the one movie that and the Little Rascals are the two movies that I can like vividly remember. Like when I don't know gain consciousness as a kid was with yeah. those two movies. Yeah. What yeah, I watched the shit out of Angels in the Outfield. Yeah, Danny Glover. There was yeah. a there was a baseball movie with um I feel like it was Wesley Snipes. Uh, oh yeah, um, uh, Major League. The it's major league. The yeah, it's it's major, ma- league. Yeah, major League. Yeah, Major League. Yeah. Is that no, with no, Joe no, no, Bobo, no, no. the Voodoo guy? No, there was. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry. No, 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 no. There was a serious one though. It, like I think it was. The yeah, it was, it was like the one where he. What was it? It was, it was Willie. What is Willie Mays? Hey. No, or, no. Willie I know what he's talking about. Had Robert De Niro. It's called the Fan. Yeah, the Fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I haven't seen that one in forever, but I remember that would be a pretty good. But it, so be Jeremy, yes. yeah, I remember that. Yes. Why is you yes. that through that the tunnel? I remember point. that. Yeah, real yeah. quick, the Matt LeBlanc monkey movie was called Ed in I 1996. Know. Before yeah. Matt, Matt LeBlanc became Joey, I think. So, damn. Wait, in what? In what year? 1996 was he was, was definitely that, Joey by then. Was he Joey by then? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. 
96, probably, yeah. I think Fred's uh, is from 95. Well, well thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for that <laughs> super chat, Matthew. Uh, the singing Tigs for 10. I think I figured it out. Ryan is actually a flamboyant gay musical theater kid who's straight somehow and is mad he can't live out his dream. Dan should coach Ryan. He sounds like, it ha like he has potential. Um, listen, you. I feel like I could fucking go up and sing some show tunes or some shit, but uh, I'm not good enough to be a fucking actual singer like Dan. That's the, mm. that's the level you can I'm be. You, you definitely have potential for sure. Well, yeah. if you, that's always if you, a great thing to hear when you're 35 years old. Uh, you've got a lot potential. of potential. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but if you if you can stay on tune, you you can you can sing basically most of whatever you want. You can learn to do it. There you go. Uh, for those of you, sign up to Dan's Patreon. He'll tell you the inside tips and tricks <laughs> to become a great singer. Stay in tune. So oh, there you go. There and you go. he First will step. tell all of you that you have potential too. <laughs> yeah, yes. he'll coach you. He'll Even coach Jay. you. At least be a good karaoke singer. But to be I a good be karaoke a singer, you just got to have fucking enthusiasm. That's really like, ah. it, that's one of the only things you really need. Because at the end of the day, if you're fucking energetic, everybody else is going to be energetic. You're right. Yeah, I, I, that's true. You just own it. Get on stage and own it. People are into it. Because mm -hmm. 95% of people are going to be too scared to fucking go up there and act like that anyway. So they're going to be like, wow, I can't believe you did that. I'm like, well, I had a couple drinks, so I can. Um, but <laughs> We don't have you. karaoke bars here. I never went to Yeah, them. we know. I love karaoke. <laughs> You should I, experience. I, I, you guys just, aren't you we guys also don't just have like, windows? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah Mike just... was too fast with that one. <laughs> yeah, is it you're more worried about like fucking running in between streets to pick up your groceries so you don't get stabbed or some shit? I'm more, more worried about fucking communism <laughs> than karaoke. Yeah. Um, Blabs the tower tard for two says CinemaCon was so bad it gave Frank Gore a stroke. Um, yes, I don't know if everybody had heard about that, but uh, they did. Release a statement from Chris on Real BBC today, um, and yeah, while we were in Vegas, you know, uh, Chris had a had a medical thing going down. I didn't hear the whole statement he said. We were obviously heard about it and everything, but obviously glad he's okay and best thoughts and uh, well wishes and everything to Chris. He's a fucking Definitely. awesome dude. So it's a good thing that there were so many people around when all that was going down, and he was able to get help pretty much immediately. So yeah, um, the singing Tigs for ten, Dan. You should do more ballads. Your Tears of the Dragon cover is great. Battle Him is my favorite song years, though. Dare I say better than the original. Rip a Dan, still waiting on that song. Oh, yeah, you're going to get it. Yeah, it's... You absolutely... Yeah, it's uh, the, the ball is on my my side of the court now, and uh, I just got to just gotta get on with... Uh, I told I, I told Ripper that I, I still want to add some details to the arrangement. Yeah. But, yeah, it's it's, it's pretty close. Pretty close. Very close. Should have got that one out a couple months ago, huh? Yeah, I was going to say, imagine if you had done I, that. By the way, I just had a conversation with Gary today. And also, our, the Gary song about uh, uh, men buns being gay is also on its way. He, really he was, he was staying up go. really, he was like staying up really late at night at Vegas working on that. Really? He was like, I got to go back to my room. I need to work on the lyrics for the song. No, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm obviously ah. joking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because I was going to say, well, wow, he has shitty material. So he, <laughs> <laughs> no, but we were working on it. We're going to make it good. Now I'm going to make it go to the fucking charts. Now I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to make some fucking money out of that. Hell yeah. There you go. <laughs> Elite Neo for $50. Uh, 50 All this talk about retro gaming achievement makes, my, uh, makes me all the more determined to meet you all at a meetup someday and show you all a playthrough of Ninja Gaiden on keyboard. Holy fuck. And yes, for Dan's retro gaming police rules, no save states. Hashtag yeah. Ninja Master. Jeremy yeah, is also uh, known as the Ninja Master. The, the lore of that retro gaming police thing is that I used to show to Craig streams when he was playing Super Nintendo on the Switch emulators that have save states. I would shame him every time he used a save state and people started calling me the, the retro gaming police chief. Occasionally, you'll still hop in and shame me, yeah. toss me into retro <laughs> gaming jail. It's really horrible. <laughs> we need to, we need to get, get back going and, and getting you back, back on stream so we can... Uh, 
so I can shame you a little yeah, bit. Yeah, man, for sure. That is the sure. one nice thing about retro gaming is you don't have to like boot it up and worry if it's going to ask you your fucking pronouns or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. like, it's awesome. It, it's just, I guess technically they, they do they do in Pokemon, are you a boy or a girl? Uh, but that's pretty fucking girl. straightforward. There ain't no in between in that. Um, <laughs> exactly. The good old. And they days. don't do that anymore. Beardo, in what game they stop asking you if you were a boy or a girl? Do you remember? Uh, well, are you talking I, about the Pokemon Go stuff that they, people were talking about like a month ago? It could be Pokemon Go, but I don't play Pokemon Go. I think because I restarted a new uh, playthrough. They did of, that for of, a long time. With, with the new Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, I think they say, like, which character best represents you. Oh, fuck. And, no, then, they, yeah. and then they have the, 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 they have the boy characters and the, and the women characters. Yeah, and you can't they... name... Well, there's some of them where you can't name your rival anymore. And if you are able to name your rival, like, you can't name them the gamer words that you used to when you were a kid. Because mm. my rival was always Fig, you know? <laughs> always Fig. Now, now I just name him, like, Shithid. Cleverly, right. cl cleverly uh, named shithead, but I'll name him Shithi <laughs> because it won't let you name him shithead. Wow! But they were late to the party. Like they, they, they made that. They made Professor Oak make that question for a long time. Are you mm -hmm. a boy or a girl? Yeah. Yeah. Based, uh, Based. back in the day. <laughs> Do you guys see all this like Warhammer stuff that's been going on the past yep. day? Talk about it today. I don't. Well, was that yesterday? Not talking about that. Yesterday on the show, yeah. Yeah, so I, I again, I've just like kind of been catching up on stuff or whatever. But it yeah. looks like basically they introduced women characters, female characters into this group that had historically always been male. And they put yeah. out this like virtue signaling tweet, like there's always since the beginning of time been females, yep. like whatever. The and it's Rick just, uh, it's yeah, just so, so fucking crazy. So basically, there's a yeah, there's a faction in 40k called the Custodes, and they're like a uh, these angelic like super powerful beings that exist in the setting and that are men now, right well they've they've never they're they're not lying when they say that they have never explicitly stated they're only men but they've only ever been men in in the last like two decades that they've existed or three decades that they've existed and so everybody just kind of widely assumed that they're men and in games workshop never corrected anyone and never said anything different and uh, here's the funny part about it that they won't mention, and Games Workshop won't mention, is that the very first iterations of the Custodes actually did have a female character in it, and she was so, like, disliked that they got rid of it. They also used to have female Space Marines early iterations, and they got rid of them because nobody wanted them, so they then declared that all, like, Space Marines are men. They have to be men. Um, but yeah, this, this whole thing is like, they say it's not a retcon cause they never explicitly stated it, but when your entire fan base says, Hey, this is pretty much the widely believed narrative and then you change it, it feels like it is a retcon and that's what makes people upset more than anything. It's like, why now? Why did you feel like you needed to now? And what it was is there was a, a high up executive within the company who hasn't been named, who basically told them whenever they tried to introduce female characters in the custodians no i there you can't do that they're men they're we're never gonna have a female character there and something happened to this guy i don't know if he stepped down if he retired or if he got outvoted finally and so he finally wasn't able to stop them from doing this and they were able to finally pull the trigger on it but they've been trying to work on this now for quite a few years trying to well, introduce well, the this thing and, the, the thing is aren't there several different uh like types of characters you play that are explicitly female like just yeah. Yep, the Sisters of Battle, the Sisters of Silence, they're only female factions. If you go into the El the Eldar, which are the, the Space Elves, they have a lot of female characters. They have the Harlequins, which are only female. There's There are definitely plenty of female-centric uh, factions within 40K, and then there's also just factions that just naturally do have female characters uh, within the setting as well. That's why people were really weirded out by it. And then, surprisingly enough, and, and, and Rippin knows what this is like when you're... Uh, uh, underrepresented group i um, mean you speak out against stuff uh there's a bunch of uh 40k players that are female they're like yo this sucks we don't want this this feels like a slap in the face we don't need that pandering and stuff and they got called all the names in the book you know like shut up bitch you don't know what you're talking about you're just you're stupid and you hate yourself because you're a woman and all that stuff um and yeah so it's kind of become a big thing uh but yeah I've, I've been saying this for a while 40k was kind of the last bastion and they're, they've been trying for a long time to, to get in on that and, and affect that because they know that uh, property is about to get really popular with Henry Cavill and 
what Amazon's doing. And so they got to change it now before it gets too popular and they can't go back and retcon the lore. So, yeah. Well, well, if you're looking for somebody that's going to try to stay as close as possible to source material, it sounds like Henry Cavill's the guy. Yeah. Um, yeah. So hopefully people can still have some faith in that. But yep. I, does anybody else here play 40K? Dan, you look like a 40K guy. It's expensive as fuck to Actually, get into. Actually, I, I, I asked in a Hasn't made it to South TNME. America yet, huh? <laughs> Probably. But I asked on a past TNME stream, I think, I asked Mike, how do I, how do I get into that? Because it's yeah. so overwhelming, and I still haven't. It's fucking expensive, and if you want to get into the lore shit, it's there's a lot of books. There's like hundreds and hundreds of books. It's probably got a more extensive lore base than even Star Wars, like the extended. Yeah, it's, it's universe insane. Base. It's called yeah, the it's expanded universe. But what is the primary yeah. means? Well, of excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> you should have said that after you farted. Go ahead, Dan. Yeah. <laughs> but what is the primary <laughs> means of enjoying? What is the primary medium of enjoying? <laughs> It's a tabletop game. You, it's you a buy tabletop game. You, be, you buy figurines, you paint them <laughs> whatever color you want or whatever, and then you can make them as lore accurate. Or th They even encourage... That's the other thing about this whole representation thing. They encourage you to be able to make your own like factions and <clears throat> chapters. They like say, listen, if you want to paint them all pink and all your space marines are all butt-fucking each other and stuff, and that's your faction, bro, go ahead and do it. That's fine. It's your faction to do so. And the, the, fan, the, the, the fans just are like, yo, that's fine. Do whatever you you do man like you know uh so this idea that you have to add representation and stuff into it because it doesn't exist before not 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 mm -hmm. to mention the fact that like i mean the models are like this big so even if you made a female model unless you like really work hard to give her long flowing hair and massive tits which you're not going to do you probably won't be able to tell that they're female anyways yeah like, what, about, what about the video games is there any that you recommend um I mean, there's Rogue Trader that just recently came out. Uh, there's Space Marine 1. Space Marine 2 is coming out uh, pretty soon here. Those are both really good. That's like a first-person shooter. Mm. Um, you have, uh, if you're into the, they have like a fantasy setting called Age of Sigmar. And you have um, Dark Tide that just recently came out. Dark Tide's pretty good. There's a lot of, there's a lot of fucking games. Cool. So, so. there's a lot. Yeah. yeah there's a massive lot. tits. Yeah. They have a lot <laughs> of real-time always... strategy. So. Yeah. You could always use the Steam app uh, tabletop simulator to play there as well. Yep. If you yep. have folks to play with, because I know people that do that. So if you guys don't know, it's tabletop simulator is you just, it, you customize it, you upload your own shit, and you can, and people already have all that stuff built in. So like you just download the images and things, and then you can, you can do whatever tabletop game you want that way and yeah. play with other people virtually. Yeah, Blood Bowl. Yeah, they have like a sports game that's set in that universe. Yeah, that there's a lot. Dawn of War. Yeah, mm. um, there's a lot of really good games in the setting and in the lore and stuff like that. There's a really cool short film um, on YouTube that I tell everybody if you want to get like the setting, the vibe of what like Space Marines like. It's called a Star Taste. Um, it's on YouTube. The original guy that created them got hired by uh, Games Workshop and made him remove all his stuff. But you can still find all of his short films in their amazingly well done um so yeah there's a lot of really cool stuff about it but yeah it was one of those things that wasn't popular enough and it's part of it has a built-in gate to it because it's so fucking expensive to get into like you still have you spend like hundreds of dollars to build an, a, just a small army if you want to get to a bigger army you're looking at like you know high hundreds maybe sometimes like some people i know have spent thousands or tens of thousands of dollars on these armies um so people that don't have money can't just get into it on their own um, they'll just read wiki shit and pretend like they know what they're talking about. Or like, I bought one model one time and I painted it purple and I felt good about myself. Um, but like actually getting into the, the, the hobby itself is pretty expensive and that's yeah. part of it, but they're going to try to, they're trying really hard to make it as accessible as possible to as big of an audience as possible. And with that brings bad actors and yeah. people that just pretend like they care about that it. Shit, man. Yeah. Yeah. Got to gatekeep so. it. There you go. Thank you, yeah. Mike, for the explanation. Yeah. Um, Jason Mott for $36. Sevi is here. More Latina representation. Ryan is doing a great job as the diversity officer. Love seeing more hot Latinas on G&G. &G. There you go. Thank you, Jason Mott. Uh, cool. We're not going to say no. Biden said let them all in. So, all right. You know, might as well make them <laughs> part of the show. 
Only um, the hot Latinas. Yeah, well, only 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 the hot and nice people can come in. Everybody else can stay out. Yeah. Bro, Dan Dan's been doing that Biden impression since the Mario Kart days. <laughs> no, when he actually created Biden in it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't miss that. Savage to me neither. Savage talk for two. <laughs> Brian Kennel Outpost loves gamels. Hi, Sebby. Gamels. I don't know what gamels, gamels is. It's is like that a gay is gamel? that a tabletop thing? No, Sebi? that was what you were saying. That's what you said, motherfucker. <laughs> geeks and oh, like, geeks and oh, when I, geeks and gamer. Yeah, geeks and gamels. Yeah. Sounds about right. Uh, Man, you know, if if everybody roasted me for everything I mispronounce, like it would just be nonstop. So you only had like one. I mispronounce words all the time. That's true. Nobody would ever do that here. Anything. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> welcome to beer welcome to beardo and jay's life because that's pretty much all they get is all the i was <laughs> so glad that ryan pulled up jay and not me. <laughs> yeah. me, me me personally i've never mispronounced words so I don't, never there's no meaning. No. That's right. he knows words the best words no. it's it's actually so bad that whenever i see the person that's named orangutan yeah. My head wants to say orange Orangigant. I say yeah. orangigantin every time, no My matter what. My head wants to say it uh, because of the Jeremy meme. So yeah. I have to fight it. Tom Berry Massa for 25. Ryan is best host. He'd be like, so why are you here today? I mean, yeah, you just create some conversation. You know what I mean? Okay. okay. So, yeah. There you go. Okay. Thank All you, right. Tom Berry. Uh, Wang, Jay's Asian son for 199. Does this mean Craig owes me two, Dad? Uh, Wang, go do your homework. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, how many times have you been to China? I've been to Japan twice. <laughs> well, that's that's close it, enough. It's basically and the I same. Won. That's things. close enough. Yeah. It's all the same. <laughs> it's fucking wild that he just totally named an entirely different fucking country like that. Yeah. No, no, it's over. It's over in the east. It's, it's like right there. next door. Like, it, it's it's, it's like, somewhere over there. Yeah, I'd be like, hey, uh, hey, Jeremy, ever made your way up to Indiana? He'd be like, no, nah, I've been to Ohio though. You know, right? Oh, exactly. Okay, that's close. You know? Yeah. Hey, I agree. It's like, yeah, you know, somebody's I can like, can probably tell the difference between somebody who's lived in Ohio and Indiana more than I could between any group of Asian people. Like, just being real. So. Mm. Yeah. Um, shout out X-Ray Girl, by the way. It's her birthday. Yeah, shout out. Um, <laughs> it's also Gina Carano's birthday. It's also oh, Eric. Tomorrow, I just it's also about Eric that. K's birthday. Uh, this is like the day of birthdays. What? It's uh, people's. It's birthday. everybody's birthday today. Wait, is tomorrow, Ripper? Yeah, I just thought about that. Like, oh, yeah, shit. when is it tomorrow? Well, I won't be a part going. of Illuminati. I was going to say, yeah, you're, you're leaving the Freemasons. Huh? We're leaving the Freemasons at 33, so, yeah. No, it's actually just the next tier, the unheard oh, okay. of 34th degree. 30, the 34th Bro, that's degree. so guys. wild, man. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Your video got 33 comments. Coincidence? <laughs> I guess, and, I guess and that not. person is like the 34th comment. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Let's see. You fuck that bitch for five. Hey, Jay. <laughs> Hey, Jay, you said that you are a teacher. Do you teach special ed students and involve in Special Olympics? No. <laughs> I wonder if he means like a coach or a participant. I, co I coached basketball for three years. That was it. Not for Special Olympics, though. <laughs> hey, it's <laughs> John Dr. Morrow. Dr. <laughs> Dr. Wish respect. Holy shit. John Morrow. For Holy five. Shit, you know who John Morrow is, Ryan? John Morrow. I don't think so. He's, he, he's, a, he's, a, he's a quad uh, that, <laughs> that is a, a quadriplegic. Yeah. That's a motivational speaker. And he, he tweeted is, out one day. He goes, he's a fucking liar. Thought, he tweeted out, he's like, I never thought I'd get laid in this condition. Oh, that guy. But I have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I've been on 500 dates. I've had four relationships of two plus years. I made it a point to go out to a coffee shop every day and ask out 10 women. I've been proposed to. I've been proposed to <clears> twice. <throat> and my my fiance would make Hugh Hefner jealous. If I can do it, you can do it. And you know what I say to John Marley? He's a fucking You're lying fucking piece lying. of shit. I got, he's I a got fucking liar. Well, hold on. I got is, he, is he just rich, maybe? I don't know what he fucking is. I think he's a fraud. It doesn't, like it doesn't. If you are rich, it doesn't matter if your legs don't work, arms don't work, dick don't work. Like yeah. you, you'll, you will get fucking propositioned by people who hope you die quickly and take your money. Like, yeah, and it's like, is, you, like you gotta take a look. You gotta take a look at those women. Though. Yeah, 
They well, would make it, Hugh Hefner jealous. It, like, it, Hugh it's the fact, dead, right? So, it's yeah. the fact that on his Twitter he says, "God sent me here to like straighten you up." Look, like God sent me here to show you that you have no excuses. Like, fuck you to self-proclaim yourself that God sent you here on this earth to fucking preach to people. Fuck you, John Marl. God didn't send you here for jack shit. Man, imagine got, if they said that to Jesus. Oh, wait, they did tell him that. Yeah. I got a, well, I got a damn. crucified John Marl. I got multiple <laughs> DMs. <laughs> I got multiple messages that go, yo, Let's look at this Beardo, Beardo screaming at a cripple on the internet. <laughs> it was a guy, he's like, I've slept with more women than you, Beardo. And he's like, you're a fucking liar, John Marrow. No, you haven't. You haven't it's done like, that. It's like Pontius Pilate's like, who would you like to sentence to death, Barabbas or John Marrow? And Beardo's like, John Marrow. Yeah. Get the quadriplegic. He's a fucking liar. Yeah. <laughs> Joe Biden or John Marrow? <laughs> he's, a, he's a false Not prophet. <laughs> It's a false Holy prophet. Holy shit, bro. It's so good. But no, he, he's a liar. Wow. Yeah, um, he's a fucking <laughs> scumbag is what he is. <laughs> Let's see. Where is this? Uh, from James Bursey for 10. Rare Ripa L. The ASOMN only made a couple million versus a $30 million budget. What happened, Ripa? Magic not working anymore? What I don't, even know, I don't what? even know what you're talking about. The ASOMN. I'm know. not sure what that is, but thank you, James. Shut up. Uh, Elsid Barrett for I 10. Cousin. I saw his cousin. Yeah. Uh, his cousin. <laughs> he's, he's from New Jersey. Uh, <laughs> Elsid Barrett for 10. Yeah, all you people with no arms, stop showing off. Jeez. Yeah, like, I, I agree with that. It's not motivational for me to know that you have, like, it's so worse in life but can do things better than me. That doesn't make me feel like I can do anything. That makes me feel like I'm a piece of shit. So, just for the record, <laughs> Dana Hazelwood for one nine on hashtag Dan Vasquez humble. Just ask him. That's right. Wise words. Dan Vasquez humble. <laughs> that's what a. That's one of the crazy grandmas that follows Dan around. <laughs> Sorry, lady. I, I wasn't trying to put you. No out. offense. No offense. <laughs> Say I'm, no offense. Wait, 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 wait. I'm I'm sorry, lady. I wasn't trying to put you out. I just called it out in front of three thousand fucking people. <laughs> Dan's humble. I love the fact that you said no offense. Dana yeah, Hazelwood is no woman. Offense, man. No, this no, woman, she's probably, Dana. She's probably sweet. I'm sorry. No, she's uh, but... she's one of the women that that uh, John Morrow rejected. <laughs> anyway. I didn't mean that. That was that was mean. Um, PJ. Hey, no offense, Beardo. PJ yeah, no for offense. five. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys are fucking meaner than me. Uh, PJ for five bucks. Jay, did you get your gift? It was put behind the merch table during Thursday's meetup. I, I got several gifts. I I don't know which one you're referring to. Well, but I I did get gifts, so he's probably got still got to go through them. You think you just probably got them today? So yeah, yeah, I got hats and shirts and hoodies and all kinds of stuff. So if if one of those was yours, thank you. Uh, PJ for five. Small dicks are cringe. Tell me you're gay without telling me you're gay. Sevy is the one that said it about a root eye. Sorry, what? you're gay, Sevy. Uh, <laughs> General oh, du God. general duality for 10. You could say the same thing about football movies. When's the last time we had a football movie come out? Uh, I don't know. I, the, that uh, Netflix special on Aaron Hernandez is pretty good. Um, so I like the yeah. comebacks. The comebacks is God a great damn. football movie. Holy shit. Uh, JM the Elite Fan for 25 on Rumble. To be fair to John Morrow, I'm sure he'd be able to beat Bell Gargoyles in Dark Souls, unlike Beardo. I beat him. I have video proof that I beat him. So fuck you. And fuck John Marrow. <laughs> no offense. Uh, Elsid Barrett for 21 months. Hail Queen Sevy. Welcome. She, she says hello. Um, rare for 10 bucks. With all due respect, Sevy seems infinitely more interesting than the low T retardo twins. Damn. Thank you, Brer. Uh, <laughs> appreciate it. Is that me and Beardo? It, the fact that it took you that long to figure it out well, means it probably man, was. We're not twins. <laughs> <laughs> we're not twins. Jesus. Um, Robert Crawford for five. Send Mike some soul glow. No. Epic. Just let your soul glow. Yeah. Uh, Jeeper Baylor for five. 
Dan, if you really want to prove your youth, beat Battletoads without dying. Battletoads without is a dying, fucking crazy game. Beat it in, in any way. Yeah, it's beat like, it in any way. Pa pass the third stage. Don't beat it. Pass the, that tunnel, that turbo tunnel turbo stage. Tunnel. I'll, I'll be impressed just if you pass that stage. That That is one of the hardest video games ever made, without a doubt. 100%. Absolutely. Way harder than Castlevania. It is. I saw Craig. Craig was having fun. We went to this arcade in Vegas, and he was fucking hitting up all the different uh, kind of retro arcade stuff. He, you were taking pictures and everything, right? Yeah, man. I, I loved it. They had, the, they had legit one of the best, ar best arcade cabinet lineups I I've ever seen. It was all like the greatness of Midway, those, oh, those classic arcade sports games. And they had all, all the real? big fighting games. Legit yeah, real. Machines? You know what the best part? Yes, they were real. And the best part about it was you actually use coins to, to play. It wasn't like the cards. You know, awesome. which was yeah. which was great. There was a dude who was playing a full game of NBA Jam, which I haven't seen that since 1995. And that was great. He actually awesome wanted stuff. to do it. it Don't cool. you own an NBA Jam one? Right there, awesome <laughs> right, right stuff, off, right man. off camera. Yeah, awesome. it's great. Look at that. Um, speaking of, look at that. I we didn't show it when it happened, but we do. Craig did follow through. So uh, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. Pretty good. Look at that Happy birthday, X-ray girl. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a hell of a mullet right there. Yeah. My eyes look a little squinty Ooh. in that picture, too. Yeah. Hold on. I'll be right back. It's the Asian in you. Your yeah. eyes are kind of squinty. Yeah. Just a little yeah. bit. Like, like if you had... Because I have a constant know. headache. Yeah. I still love Danky. You, how, like, his you eyes, have bad like, eyes? Just, yeah. yeah, my eyes are terrible. That makes sense. Um... What is this from one eight hundred Danky? Oh, Geeks and Gamels. Look at look at the camel. Damn, bro. Is it Dan? Dan? Yeah, it's oh, Dan. Sorry. Hold on, let me pull this up. <laughs> Geeks and Gamels. He <laughs> <laughs> took no time at all to get that going. <laughs> there you go. He fucking signed it too. Hey, look yeah. at that like, beard though. Yeah, he signed it like I'm so proud of my work. You got yeah, you got to be careful with those fucking lip injections there, Dan. All right. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna fuck yeah. up your face. We got a we got a Twitter lore that Danky is my ex lover, and I broke up with him because he has a loose butthole. So you're running with that? Wait, what? <laughs> You, you, you run with that lore? He, and he, he gets super mad when, <laughs> when <All right>. comes up. <laughs> I, I might have so, kept that to so myself. I, I would have kept that to myself would, you because, you're that? Im, because you're implying that you weren't big enough for him. Yeah. Mm, that could be turned out. You also <laughs> that that could be hey, turned like, out? You didn't really think <laughs> through yeah. that one, did you, Dan? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dan's like, I don't understand English well, yeah. well enough to know what's happening. Right it's now. a little, <laughs> little Twitter lore. Yeah, you thank you. I yeah. would, we didn't know that, and but now we do, and you can't take it back. <laughs> yeah. um, and no take backs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> thank you, no take backs. <laughs> uh, Savage oh, talk for two says Aruda has two fans: his mom and GE. Yeah. There you go. Well, everyone needs a good GE fan in their house. Um, <laughs> War Machine with five gifted memberships. Thank Hell you, War yeah. Machine. Um, Aruda. I have more fans than Sevi. That's not a thing. Sure. No. That's not sure. true. Nope. Seems a little debatable at this point, Rudai. Uh, but when we get a Rudai back on here, we'll see how many super chats have his name in them, and that'll be the uh, that'll be the deciding factor. Because that's that's how everything works. Uh, Slade Lawton for five. Uh, Ripa, did you hear Gordy Howe died? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm clued in on Gordy Howe being dead. I think he's still alive, actually. Well, who just died? Jeremy. Jeremy, Jeremy died again. Oh, yeah, cool. died. Uh, G two <laughs> Bryce <laughs> for two says another Brian Kennel classic. Thank you, uh, Justin Martin's for five. Good to see Ryan back on TNME. Quality super chat rating incoming. Such a refreshing change of face. Well, Beardo, cover your ears. Don't don't listen to those super chats that come in. Yeah. I'm, I'm toning it out. Good, good. Um, Chief Luke 
member for a month. Shout out to Geeks and Gammels and BK Outpost. Hail Ripa. Love you, Jay and Beardo. The rest, I don't really know, but Mike's hair is fire. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Beardo's Bingo Wings. <laughs> Give some membership. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is that even supposed to mean? <laughs> What's a bingo win? Does that have to do with does that have to do with that? Does that have to do with that slab of fat that's under that girl's arm? <laughs> the fuck is that supposed to mean? I'm not fat. <laughs> oh shit! I figured you told a story about playing bingo and eating chicken wings, but then I saw no. the profile picture. This this is another meme that makes zero fucking sense. There's no truth to this. There's no accuracy to this. This is just fucking horseshit. <laughs> I'm like, glad I showed him when I saw this. It's just bullshit. That's fantastic. He's just as upset about what John Marvel says. He's slumping bing, more women. Bingo like, <laughs> That's not this real. This doesn't make sense. That's not real. I, I got fucking that. triceps. I'm not fucking fat. Bingo I, wings. It's like you know those people that got shell bows. You know what I mean? When it's like no, no clear definition. The shoulder just kind of runs into the fucking elbow. You can't see a joint. You know, <laughs> fear the <Yeah>. bingo. <laughs> Whatever, man. Holy shit! I'm gonna bro. fucking quit. He's like, that's not real. I have nice arms. Uh, I do feel right, like we um, should get into this one because I, okay, I have, yeah, I have no, well, I have no idea what the fuck I'm walking into. I've missed a lot of the like. I hear like some camel joke or some bullshit. I don't know if that's like a camel toe thing. Oh, I, no I was mispronouncing. I was saying geeks and gammels instead of geeks and gamers. I said it twice. <laughs> no, uh, maybe I'm having a stroke. Maybe fucking Chris stood too close to me. I don't know. <laughs> he got but, gave me the stroke disease. <laughs> uh, Munchy X Ninja for 25. Ooh, that's my boy right there. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, that's the one you, you, you mispronounced that one. <laughs> Dark Tide is like Left for Dead. And I know it's not 40K, but I really enjoy Total War Warhammer. Nice. It's not 40K? I thought it was. This is Warhammer and then there's 40K. Oh, those are two different things? I didn't know that. Don't ask me. I, I, I know the bare minimum. Uh, yeah. Jonathan Hilton Bright for Aussie 20. Slight correction. Here we go, Mike. There is lore that the custodes are only male one the gene seeds only work on males and also two there's references to custodes specifically only male as the custodes are made up of quote noble households sons yeah once again like i said they are trying to say that it's flexible because they say sons and all that stuff are like terms like more military terms and that they could be women involved in all of that too that's why they're arguing it I think that they are all male and they should be all male, but I'm telling you what they told everybody and where all the arguments coming from of why they said they never explicitly stated it, that they're only male. Whereas they have explicitly stated that all space Marines are only male. They can only be male because a female wouldn't survive the process. So I'm not Look, man, it, it, the bottom line is, is like, there's, there is the only, the only reason this is happening is because of identity politics and DEI bullshit. That's, that's really it. Like, there's no justification for it whatsoever. It's just like when, um, when they introduced, now I haven't seen X Men '97. I know a lot of people are enjoying it, but when we saw like Storm, you know, and and how they changed up her haircut, and people were like, well, that's from the, co that's not why they're making the decision. Just like the whole female silver surfer. You had these weirdos that want to Wikipedia everything. Well, there's a female silver surfer from the comics. Yeah. I'm sure Marvel executives and Disney executives, like, we need to hit the source material, guys. Uh, that's why we're going out the feet. We know why they're doing all Was of this. Was there source material to make Rogue's ass smaller? I think that's what pissed people off a lot. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that. Um, but, uh, yeah, so... It, there's no justification for any of this shit. We, we know exactly what they're doing, why they're doing it. And uh, I'm glad that there's so much backlash to it. Doug B over on Rumble Boom. just dropped a proper Whoa. 199. One, nine, nine. Let's go. That's right. Dougie freaking B. Doug and he B. says nothing. All right. He nothing. says nothing. He says nothing. That's 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 a proper one. Well, he actually said a period. He put a period in there. Is that a period or a dash? Probably because he just can't okay. say anything. I mean, a period. Yeah. It's, it's still essentially nothing. Yeah, it's true. Um, but uh, yes. So um, is this the beginning of Tuesday night's main event now? Since I'm here, 
No, I mean, we I mean, really haven't been, talked. It's about just it been like sure super chat. It's, it's been Ryan mispronouncing super chats for like the first hour. Thank God. I didn't mispronounce too many super chats. I mispronounced the name of your company multiple times, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I was breaking up, and all I heard Ripa Ripa was like, uh, "Jeremy, you got this fucking guy running the stream, and he's fucking shit up and mispronouncing." And I was like, "What did Beardo say?" I, I found out it was Ryan. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, there we go. X-Ray Girl's in the chat. What's up, X-Ray Girl? So, uh, okay, so Happy we got... Birthday. It's X-Ray Girl's birthday. It's uh, Mod Eric's uh, birthday, and it's Gina Carano's birthday. That's that's a lot of birthdays uh, in our little corner of the L internet. A lot of people were fucking nine months ago, that's apparently. That's right. So. That is right. So, But uh, anyway, go ahead, Ryan. Um, I don't know what we're going to talk about. Uh, I was going to read more super chats improperly. <laughs> <laughs> um let's go back up nightmare for five hail the return of brian burger king kennel can he help jay and craig overcome their uh hold what the fuck is this hippopot <laughs> hippopotam monstro sesquipedalophiliophobia nice wow it's the fear, I mean. it's the fear of words yep. oh that was pretty I, good that was pretty I have, good i have no fear of that yeah um See, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm not going to fucking pronounce Jeremy's company's name right, but I will fucking get through that one on the first attempt <laughs> somehow. That's crazy. Um, David Nelson for five. Thanks for letting me set up my tabletop game in Vegas. Hail the 199. That was so fucking cool, David. Yes. And he had, like, characters that were, like, model after us and everything. Dude, got like the scroll that he gave me still in my bag that I need to unpack. I love the atmosphere that you guys created these meetups, you know, because like, like I said, it's got to the point where a lot of the people that have been there a few times, they don't even a lot of people don't even come to meet us anymore. They're like, I'm coming to meet my friends. Fuck, I'm going to hang guys. out. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And I like that. I like that creates that atmosphere. And speaking of tabletop, Sevi, what do you got going on on Geeks and Gamers tabletop? What's what's uh what's on the horizon? Oh, my God. Okay, so you guys remember when we did Alien and Jeremy was there and he got attacked and he uh, got raped, jumped to didn't the floor. I? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> oh, no, man. No, Whoa. no, he got attacked. He did this whole death scene. Well, we're going to reenact it, but with different cast members. So I'm really, really excited. We're going to do a second Alien stream. It's going to have Ryan, oh, uh, yeah. Quarter Black, <laughs> Mark, me and Erudai, and it's gonna be oh, yeah. completely different. It's not gonna follow the movie, so we're not gonna be on a ship. We mm -hmm. are actually going to be like on a manhunt where we're actually like Marines, where with real weapons instead of nothing. So, this should be really fun, exciting. Nice, nice. That's over on yeah. Geeks and Gamers Tabletop starting this weekend. This it's Saturday, a two, it's a two right? Day, it's a two day uh, campaign or a two day run, right? Yes, so, it is yeah. a two-day run. Yeah. And let me find here we go. The date is gonna be April 20th and April 27th, and they will be at C 7 p.m. Eastern. There we it's go. It's gonna be so, really yep. fun and exciting. I'm excited about it. Um, so I guess I'm I guess we're just brushing through Jeremy being sodomized by an alien then. Yeah, I think he got his <laughs> balls ripped off. Oh, yeah, I'm not yeah, yeah, insane. He it, was insane. Listen, you guys listen. have to see it. Yeah, it, it's just one of those like things. Like those hentai shit. Okay. I, just, well, not, yeah. I just closed my eyes and just uh, went to another place when it was all happening. So, uh, I really Jeremy remember. actually did a pretty good job. <laughs> I, he hit the ground eyes. running with the... I, he hit the ground running with the role play. I was actually kind of surprised, but so it's safer to just let it happen than to fight back. If yeah. Heard, Jeremy. yeah I, I've never out. done, I've never done, uh, you know, tabletop role playing or anything like that. Uh, but, uh, and a lot of people get, I got a lot of good positive feedback on that. I personally did not think I, I was very good, but a lot of people enjoyed oh it. God, so I appreciate the amazing. feedback. So, you um, you really were amazing. Job. Ryan, yeah. Yeah. Too. Ryan uh, did the ground running with it too, so. Okay, yeah. well, I was going to say call him down with the compliments, and he said something about me, so like, well, right. Yeah, well, no, Ryan, no, Ryan did a great job. Like, I mean, that's the thing. Like, it's, it's some of it's just about, the, like, the suspension of, like, oh, okay, I'm playing a character. I'm not going to, like, I'm just going to lean into it and enjoy it. And, like, if you do that, you do well. Um, yeah, Jeremy did a good job. Ryan did a great job. Um, I still think it was funny that I got called in last minute to replace someone, and the first thing I did was fucked up everybody's fear score, so everybody's panicking. <laughs> it was great. I shot. I shot somebody awesome. and then left and didn't come back the next day. Yeah, <laughs> it was it was awesome. Uh, Epic Mike was playing this character that was hooked up on on drugs and had to keep uh, getting a hit. 
So he was all drugged up. And of course, my character gives him our only gun. Yeah. <laughs> you can guess what happened after that. He just shot <laughs> the first well, person. Well, some guy started acting shot. weird and he started talking about some weird shit going on. And then, I don't know, they were, I don't know, people were acting weird. So I shot a guy to make sure that he didn't turn into some kind of monster or something. And everybody freaked out about it. I don't know what that was going on. So, yeah. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it was amazing and we're gonna have an absolute blast so please make sure to come and check it out yes yes so congratulations to you guys over there i love the channel uh i love what you guys are doing and i like how the fan base uh is very passionate about it so uh good job on to you and i guess this i don't know if arudai does anything over there but uh he doesn't you know, do anything yeah no. so so. he pretty much runs the he channel. doesn't he's even, do anything he's in the chat right now being like help me they're trying to replace me it's like <laughs> He doesn't do anything. No. Let, let's just face it. Yeah. Is that, yeah. Gonna, is that gonna become the motto for a rude eye over there? They will not replace us. Is that, yeah. uh, <laughs> yeah. he's gonna start, so they he's gonna will start not the... replace me. <laughs> um Lynn Green, member for 10 months. Sevi is a Minnesota lawyer. Rackets just got bumped to number two. <laughs> Did you say you're a lawyer, Sevi? Did I miss that? Yes, yes. You are yes, I am. yeah. Well, I know who to call if I get in trouble in Minnesota then. No. You and Nick. There we go. Well, I mean, Ryan, um, Ryan's good. Like, we're talking about him on Tabletop. He, Ryan's actually good at most things outside of, like, being a welcoming human being, you know, to yeah. other people. Like, yeah, he's not very good at that. Skills, yeah, yeah. He's, he's not very good at that at all. Um, I mean, I, this is the same guy that, what was it, Venom 2, where you literally made people move out of their seat because you just won't shut the fuck up in the movie theater <laughs> he's the worst dude he's, he's the greatest i don't know that's kind of based did. though like nah, that's dude the thing. i hate i hate people to talk loud in the movie theater fucking hate it yeah. i fell asleep right next to him it yeah. was so it was funny i can't yeah. stand it I can't you stand haven't invited it. me to as many movies since then so win for me <laughs> um. <laughs> here's the thing what i love though is that ryan's actually really nice when he's when he's been drinking He's very smiley, and he's like, "Walk." He's like, "How you doing, Mike?" When he first sees me, he's like, "Oh, you're I think here." He's nice like, even oh. when he's not, though. Yeah. Oh, well, he, was, he, well, he, he can really be one on one, but like, I'm talking about like he gets nice to everybody when he's drunk. He's just every he smiles and he's like, "Let's all do stuff and be happy and have a good time." Remember, I was like, "Yeah." It's kind of cool. I, I no, Ryan was nice when I met him, and I remember Until, when I met I Epic Mike, he was like, "Were you just drunk?" And, and I was like, "No, just people. everybody." My I was, favorite I was, part is he's pretty me. drunk when we met, though. I think, Sevi. Yeah. My favorite part uh, is he's never yeah. nice to Jeremy ever, though. When he's drunk, he's smiling. He's like, "How's everybody doing?" <laughs> he sees Jeremy, and he's like, "You're a, you're a gamer word." He's like, "Yeah, Get away yeah, from yeah. Me. yeah." Yeah. What what a surprise that when I drink enough that my brain turns off that I be, become a different person. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, real quick, I wanted to ask. So I don't think many people have seen it, but has anybody here seen Fallout on, on the panel? Yeah. I, any of the episodes? I watched all of it. You watched all the first episode. Okay. Yeah, you saw the first all episode. First episode. Yeah. All right. You saw the first episode. Anybody else? I saw like the first 15 minutes of the first episode. And uh, I'm interested what you think, Mike, since you've seen the entire episode. Yeah. I, I mean, I talked about it a little bit. This show is, is pretty good. I, I liked a lot of it. There's a lot of care it, like put into it as far as like the quality of things, the way the set design is, the monster design, the vaults feel like vaults. The the setting feels very much like Fallout. And I really like that. Um, I have some complaints as the show continues on. Um, that'll probably get me in like the the Ryan boat as far as maybe a little. I think there's a little too many good female characters and kind of a little bit like every other male character is like a bad guy except for the the protagonist. Um, they also, I don't know, one of the main protagonists I really don't fucking like. Uh, there's a, a black guy that belongs to the Brotherhood of Steel, and I, I really don't like that fucking character at all. I think he's one of the worst protagonists I think I've seen in the show in decades. Um, but that's just personally, I don't know. Overall, it was pretty good. Walton Goggins fucking kills it. Uh, the main character, uh, Lucy, she's awesome. Um, I'm looking forward to a season two. I think that if they keep going with what they have, I think they could really build something special out here. Um and I feel like they did put a lot of care and effort into building the world so that it doesn't stomp on the toes of other Fallout properties that have come before it. So, okay. Yeah. The first episode had a guy's naked butt, and then I stopped watching. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. that's not good. That's well, not that's good. yeah, that's a, like that's the new thing now. I, I was, I've male ass. Thing. Yeah, male yeah. ass. This it's a new thing now is because they like people behind the scenes, especially like 
feminists and stuff think that it was um, humiliating for women to be naked on television. It's so kind now of we a don't... vengeance, right? Yeah, so we yeah. don't get fe naked females anymore or, like, sex scenes. Like, the girls, like, still half, cl half clothes, but they don't like... They love showing off, like, naked dudes. That's why Halo was showing off Master Cheeks fucking ass cheeks every five seconds. Um, X-ray like girl calling out Dan. X-ray so. girl calling out Dan. <laughs> wow. Is that is Holy that is shit, that bro. is that true, Dan? Damn, <laughs> she got me. She got me. Damn. Damn. Go randomly oh post a picture. <laughs> Extra go randomly post a picture of me today that I don't even remember taking. Her like pulling my eyes sideways to make me Asian. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I saw that one. Yeah. Oh, Can't say I remember that. But happy birthday, Extra. <laughs> um, That's pretty good. Dude, it, yeah, like, like I, I haven't watched any of the Fallout things, so it's tough for me to talk about. But it seems like, uh, in general, it's not the disaster a lot of people were fearing I, that it was going to be. You know that a lot of people are actually enjoying it. So, so yeah. Ryan, I have not seen this. I've seen a lot of channels talk about this happening. In the past five minutes, we have lost eleven hundred viewers. What? We've oh, lost eleven like hundred viewers. I've watched it steadily drop. I'm what now? It just dropped another hundred. Yeah. It, we are wow. just bleeding viewers. Like, I've watched the analytics just tank at a steady growth, and then suddenly in the last five minutes, it's just like a tank. Well, Dan's it's not crazy. coming back. It's probably just a YouTube glitch or something. Yeah, I'm it's sorry. really wild. Dan's not coming back ever. Yeah. I apologize. Well, Jeremy like, finally found his reason to get rid of Dan. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, look at this right here. Like, you, this is th this is something, this is weird right here. So. Jay called out my grandma's. Um, look at this. That, look that at that. Happen, look at actually. that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that steady Holy climb. Shit. Oh, that's at, not that's not organic. That's not organic. That is crazy. Wow. It, it's, it's, it's probably it's probably just a YouTube glitch or something. Yeah. That if is, you if you can't hear us, just refresh. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you can't hear us, just refresh. Um, yeah, that is uh that you is type that on the right chat there. instead of saying it. Uh let's see. Very clever man, Dan. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, anyway, Eric Guidewall with five gifted memberships. Thank you, Eric. Uh, Laura Lynn Lance, member for 60 months, saw a license plate with 199 on it. Hi, y'all. Love for the panel. Smooches for Jay Bear. Get Look a new there. PO box already, Jay. Oh, yeah. Jay Bear. I'm working oh, on it. Oh, Jay Bear. You're in the oh, newsroom. Jay I didn't know you're in the newsroom right now. Yeah. Any uh, Anything oh. going to print tomorrow morning or what? <laughs> Shit, bro. <laughs> No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ryan's like, oh, you're in the newsroom. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes Jay has such a long laughing exhale. Like <laughs> I got big lungs, man. Somebody said know. somebody says uh I guess Tim Pool's live uh, his stream dropped ten thousand viewers uh oh, like that. So it's uh, probably just it, it's probably to be honest, it's probably like a YouTube glitch on either like iPhone or a specific Android. It's probably right. something like that. You know what I mean? Like some platform kind of went down. Yeah, yeah that's weird. Having issues. Um, I, I did float the idea last night of uh, like how much I really want to open up a Geeks and Gamers retro store. I know Craig's told me in the past, if you want to lose money, go ahead and do yeah, it. Yeah, that, uh, that sounds like a terrible <laughs> idea. Dude, I, it, sounds, it sounds fun, but it sounds like a fucking... Dude, so there's a you retro store. You should open store. a retro channel instead. Mm. Don't mm. fuck yourself. I got enough channels. It would be better uh, to open a retro <laughs> gaming bar than to uh, open up yes. a fucking retro store. Well, so there's a retro gaming store here in Pensacola, um, and they just expanded. And I've been, I've been, a, like, I've been a customer of theirs for years, and and I've watched them go from like this small little store, kind of off in the Is distance. That where we bought your and, bragging and rights stuff? stuff. Most of it, yes. Yeah, yeah. They expanded uh, when they thought yeah. Jeremy was going to keep coming yeah. back <laughs> by bagging right shit. And, and they've expanded another. They've done another expansion, and I swear they do. It's called Video Game uh, Trading Post. And they do such a good job. I mean, they're just fantastic. They're the they're, the people there are awesome. They do a great job. Every time you buy a game, uh, they make sure to go clean it again, just to double check to make sure it's good. They're, they're just on top of things, but everything's That's really awesome, organized. Man. They ask are, them, they are legit. Next time you go there, ask them if they have big box PC stuff. Big box they don't PC. carry a lot of PC. They do do they they do I like the, that. yeah they do like, a lot of like obviously no, console. No retro stores have that. It's a very hard thing to collect for. Yeah, I'll tell you this, Jeremy. If if you wanna. If you want to open a store, go buy that store and just have them keep operating it. 
That's that's mm. the best way to do it. Don't start a business, buy a business. Because otherwise you're you, you're gonna keep people in who know that business, man, because that that is a tough business. Thanks, tough. Bob Iger. I'm just I'm just uh, funny, man. It's, I'm it's just I'm just go, man. Man. I, know, I know I'm just mad. it's true. Well, he, he stopped before he said then make all the employees <laughs> feminist bitches. <laughs> <laughs> hey, a lot of people are saying out. a lot of people are saying YouTube crashed. So um yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. So yeah, it's probably what it is. Hey, can we blame Sevy? Yeah. Well, right. blame Dan. Blame, there's, a, there's an abnormal amount of $36 super chats on the stream, so they just shut I, it down. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know if um, I don't know. I don't know if I could afford to buy in that retro store. Sometimes there's just a game system in there. I don't feel like I can afford much less the whole store. <laughs> so. I'll say this. I, I made a lot of business decisions over the last 20 years, and there was one decision I made that was emotional. And it's the worst decision I made, which was buying the video game store. <laughs> it, it, it was, it was, man, I would love that. How cool would that be? It wasn't, does this make money? Is this a profitable thing? Because it wasn't. So, I, but I was like, I can do it. I love video games. Bro, 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 bro. And you know what? Flat across the board. It, you know, we was. But it here's was the question. Did you get pictures of Sydney Sweeney and put on the windows? That's a great point. That's a great point. Just saying, we got a plan here. Okay. But she we, was we probably did have 12 games. at the time. <laughs> we had arcade games in, in our store. We had Crazy Taxi and all sorts of fun games. <laughs> and guess what? People came in and played the games and they left. They didn't buy it. <laughs> yeah, it has to be a retro gaming store and something else. Like um, cafe. Yeah, well, I mean, like I was even talking about like how we could just, uh, you know, how we can... Mark, why are you deleting comments in the chat? What are uh, we doing? Somebody said Retro Rick is having the same issues right now, and Mark deleted it. <laughs> that was probably an accident. You can very easily uh, delete comments on YouTube. Mark's like, oh, uh, Mark's dang. like, fuck them. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Use your backup. Uh, uh, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> Dude, when you banned Jay, I was like, there, Jay will make a video out of this. He's going to make a whole big uh big production of this whole thing and he did just that um probably the most views he's gotten uh until he prank called ryan so yeah i gotta mm. keep doing that uh, the chat's <laughs> saying retro gaming <laughs> store and gay bar uh <laughs> 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 no, that's, that's pretty yeah that's gay hey, if you can make money on it go for it jeremy <laughs> thanks for uh, derailing the stream dan really appreciate that i actually know of a, i actually know reading. of a gay bar that's not being utilized right down the street from me here in orlando um you might oh, be able to buy God. that one for pennies on the dollar <laughs> The guy says it's GMG a, glory it's a hole. Uh, it's a I know what you mean. I know. I, I know what you mean, Ryan. I know exactly what you're saying. Yeah. Um, all right, all right, we're back up. We're we're almost back up to three thousand viewers. So okay. Dave okay. Chandler for fifty dollars. A fifty says I can't hear you. Say again, please. Refresh, refresh, refresh. <laughs> there you go. I hope you heard that one, buddy. Uh, Disco Cobra for fifty. A fifty. Here we go again. Well, again, with the legendary people of the interwebs. It must be so hard to be one of the coolest gamer channels on the internet. Back must be breaking, careering this, carrying this load. It's spelled careering. Uh, <laughs> working on doing IRL content on my channel. Have truck video uploaded. Truck yeah, video. Cobra. <laughs> um, no, it's, uh, it is cool to have a bunch of awesome people here on the panel and having awesome people in the chat and uh, having Jay here. Thank you. Celluloid Dream for two. Dan Vasquez is gay. <laughs> hey, Celluloid Dream witnessed the historical event tonight. Okay, let's talk about that. So Dan, you beat Castlevania with no deaths, right? Yeah. I feel like that didn't get enough appreciation. <laughs> and, and, and listen, <laughs> I'm not you. about appreciating Dan Vasque you know, just yeah, in principle alone. Exactly. But, when it's when he does something like this, I think there's a little bit of respect. Now, I do tend to agree with Craig. There's uh, like it's not one of the hardest games of all time. It's a difficult game, but it's yeah. there's, there's there's much more. Like fucking Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze is more difficult than Castlevania. Okay, you think so? Damn. Tropical yes. Freeze. Tropical Freeze is fucking a hard game. Really, hmm. really hard. I never game. beat it. I never um, went. Yeah. Through it. Um, but uh, I so you did this how 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 from beginning to end? Did you stream the whole thing? 
I streamed the whole thing, but it's not... When you know what you're doing, it's not a long game. It took me 25 minutes, and it was a 40-minute stream. I... I managed to do it in my second attempt. Uh, that was my second stream trying to do it. Last week, last Sunday, I tried to do it, spent two hours trying to do it. I failed spectacularly, but I guess today I was in the zone. So second try, Hell yeah. I managed to do it. In 25 minutes, I'm going to have Giovanni. Giovanni is actually cutting it right now, going to upload the successful run everywhere on Twitter, Instagram. So people who for some reason want to learn how to beat Castlevania for the NES without dying can watch my video. Nice. And now, learn. have you, uh, I know, uh, I feel like uh, Craig probably has, maybe hasn't. Has, has anybody played Wizards and Warriors? I think we've talked about that before, I Craig. I've heard of that. Mm -hmm. I remember playing this game when I was younger. I don't remember the difficulty level, Craig. Do you remember if that was a really tough game? It's definitely not like Battletoads level tough, but I can't remember if that was a tough game. I loved Wizards and Warriors back in the day. Love it. Yeah, Love Wizards music. and Warriors was a... It had, yeah, it, it had kind of a slippery controls to it, and uh, they made several games on it. it you know, it's, the irony of this is that there's actually... Um, there's actually a, a, a guy who watches us who is making an entire book. I'll make I'll, I'll make sure you get a copy of it, Jeremy. That it's about wizards and warriors. It's like there's an entire book about wizards and warriors, which I think you'll really appreciate. I will. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's a tough one. Tough one for sure. But uh, it, you know, a little. I think it gets lost in the in the pantheon of like NES games. It it's does. not like you know you don't. Not a lot of people that, talk about it. It's like a C tier game, maybe a B oh, B minus. I know it. You know? yeah. yeah, and the yeah. music is so good in Wizards and Warriors, man. I love that game so much. I, I haven't played it in forever. I probably will go back to it at some point in time and play it. Um, but yeah, we're getting to a point where I'm far more interested in retro games than any fucking thing that they're coming out with outside of like some like Helldivers. Dude. Obviously, Helldivers is awesome, but I, I, they're the, the trip, the all these new games are just really it's in it's it's indie titles and it's retro games. It's really Dude, all we I've have retro about. gaming content for the rest of our lives. There are so many good games and games that you like already Skyrim. Beat. <laughs> Skyrim, exactly. Hey, you know, that game will never die. By the time <laughs> Ryan stops making that joke. <laughs> Uh, it might actually be a retro be game. A retro yeah. game, yeah. So, so the lore behind that is we're doing bragging rights, and Dan, Dan pops up with this. I have a original, unopened copy of the retro game Skyrim <laughs> for the Xbox 360. <laughs> It's like fucking retro. It, it, it literally is. Like, it literally has been released fucking like seven times in five years. And Dan's like the retro version of Skyrim. Because it just come out. Hey, for them, yeah. bragging rights was all about the presentation. I guess I proved that. <laughs> that times. is very true. That is very true. He proved it's that. Like, it's like karaoke. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Well, Wait, one the of the cool things. Thing, what's the cool thing? What's that? It was sealed, and for the 360, it was not one of the new versions i thought that was cool <clears throat> yeah i mean um sure. the, the thing is is though like oh i i think that there is something to it when you're talking about two gaming generations removed you know what i mean because that's what it is at that point in time that's two wow i got this i got this copy of grand theft auto 5 for the ps3 oh my <laughs> fucking god that's that's basically no, that's... what we're talking no that's it's, it's literally exactly what we're fucking talking about a game that was released on the ps3 got re-released again on the ps4 and again on the ps4 that's the same fucking thing when you're talking about something like skyrim I just kind of in term in terms of duration of generations, we're we're living some unprecedented times in, in in video games. I was talking about that in another stream. I don't remember which one it was, but it, imagine the '90s. In the '90s, we had the NES, the Super Nintendo release. I think it was '92, right? So you you have 91, NES, 92. Super Nintendo. In '95, '96, we had the the N64. Don't then forget about the Game Boy. That, there's portables too and, and at the very end of the decade 2000 we had ps2 so we had four generations in 10 years now 10 years ago we were at the uh, still the the ps4 and xbox one generations 10 years ago 
And you, we used to have like four generations in 10 years. So we're living kind of this, generations are taking longer and longer to advance. I feel that video game technology is getting more and more stale as long as video well, game creativity, to be honest. Well, this comment just popped up and I think this is an interesting. The, so the PS5 has basically been a failure at this point. I, I, think that's, I don't it, know if that's necessarily true, but I also can like, Okay, if you're looking at just sales, I think the PS5 is... It's a monster in sales. Well, hold on. Hold on. It's yeah. slightly, slightly pacing ahead of the PS4, which is a huge positive for sure. Yeah, it's a monster uh, console, yeah. Um, I don't know uh, if it's going to keep that momentum, uh, though. Is it going to break, like, 100 million uh, console units when it's all said and done? And I don't know. I mean, from the... the I, uh, obviously, the PlayStation 5 killed the Xbox. Yeah, right. yeah, exactly. That that's the problem. Is PlayStation 5? You can people can bitch all they want about not enough good like games for it or whatever specifically coming out for PS5. But the problem is that Xbox brought no fucking competition, so pe pe people want to buy PS5s, and so they fucking did. Even if there's not the amount of quality like uh exclusive games on there that maybe you'd come to expect from prior generations and e even if there's you know the lack of exclusive games for playstation 5 it still has far more better games than the xbox does well like okay here's vg charts right here and so obviously the switch is it's not going to catch the switch it's not even fucking close um but it's tr destroying the xbox series x it's destroying it and it's yeah. and it's not even close. And even if you look at like the current, now are these exact numbers? These aren't, these aren't exact numbers until they come out and report them, but they, they do a pretty good job of keeping up with the, uh, the analytics over here on VG charts. Real, so real quick, before we get into it, Craig's got to leave. Fuck Craig. Mm. I'm sorry. Just no. when we're getting into my stuff. I Same know. I know. Nothing more, that's yeah. nothing I love more than talking about video game sales charts. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, what do you got going on? Well, tomorrow is the big day. Uh, after side scrollers, I'm going to be watching Lord of the Rings for the first time. Oh uh, boy! Great. I'm going to be watching Lord of the Rings over on our locals page and extended. Uh, wait a minute! Uh, wait a minute! What happened to like? Hold on! No, no, hold no, no, the no. fuck on! Hold on! Wait! Just wait! Let me finish! Let me finish! Okay. He's going to so, double dip. So I'm going to watch the I'm going to watch the theatrical version tomorrow, Wednesday on locals, and then later this year. We're going to rent out a theater and watch the extended Ooh. cut. So, oh, shit. and I think we're I think we're gonna rent out rent it out three times, probably once a quarter this year, and we'll watch all three of them and the extended cuts of them, and then we'll make do like three separate events. It's gonna be great. Are you, so, you, you call what is names? this? Is this like maybe, a meetup? Yeah. yeah, maybe you can get somebody yeah. to do a Frodo popcorn bucket for you. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> well, dude, listen, it's, I, it's I don't feel happen. like you should be rewarded for being retarded. And that's well, essentially what this is. That's the goal. Yeah. <laughs> so join us over at sidescrollers.locals.com. Uh, it is free to sign up. Greg's and, monetizing uh, his retardation. That's right. But that's pretty much awesome. what we do. In this entire group, that's it. That's all we do, exactly. right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I figured it out pretty quick. There you go. Well, well thank um, you guys. I don't think that you, you can be overhyped for the greatness of The Lord of the Rings. They are the greatest oh, movies ever made. Well, they really are. It's going to be good. And, and they're not my favorites, but they are the best movies ever made. No. It's, 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 it, it, even Beardo has to admit that they're perfect movies. Perfect yeah. movies. They're, are you going to give it like very, a very, very, very fucking six? good? Are you going no. like to give it some retarded shit? All I'm saying, my, my only, my only argument is that there's no such thing as a perfect 10. There's no such thing as perfect 10. Is the trilogy fantastic? Are they great fucking right. movies? Have we seen a trilogy that, one, two, and three have carried the same amount of fucking weight in being that good. No, it, they're fantastic. You can say, sure, they're, there's nothing like it, but are they perfect? Yes. But that means I, it's a perfect 10, and I don't believe in a perfect 10, because what if something comes around that's better? I'll be the judge of that. Then they're, okay. then they're both tens. Then they're both tens. Then what's better? Okay. So, but then what do you? We, I swear to God, we've had this fucking argument. <laughs> so oh, yeah, a thousand no, no. times. So if you say that, then this is what a nine point nine, because it can't be a perfect ten. All right. So, what happens when another movie comes out that's better than that? 
That you I wouldn't give, say it's a nine point nine. You give it you like a nine, it, a nine point seven, nine point eight. At some point in time, but you're gonna you, have to work exactly. up in by that That's standard. That's what I'm saying. By that standard, it, your logic doesn't work. So, so if you give something a nine point like two, nine point ninety five, and then something comes along and it's a nine point three, and then twenty years later something is a nine point four, and then all these years, eventually you're gonna get to the ten, or you're just gonna be stuck on nine point nine, which is retarded. Exactly. Yeah. You can keep breaking it. All right, get the hell out of here, Craig. All right, thanks, guys. You know, oh, yeah. Sorry, Craig. Craig. I thought he was going to say, get the, get the hell out of here, Beardo. All right. Beardo, I'll let you know how I think of it. Definitely a 10. You guys can. All right. Uh, if there's no 10, if, if Beardo is willing to admit that there's nothing better than it, I, I can accept, accept that. No, don't fucking side no, with him. Because here's the thing. Beardo can't explain to you what the difference between like a 9.5 and a 9.4 is. He bro, doesn't know. Wait, bro, we're, we're reading. The it says there's 400 people watching us right now. It 400. Does say that. Hey, I can't, I can't good job, Beardo. My... What the fuck? <laughs> you scared them all off. I can't log into <laughs> YouTube at all. I didn't even bring this argument up. You guys brought it up and then said, yeah, well, what do you think about that, Beardo? What about a 10? Lord of the Rings? <laughs> And then I'm forced here to defend myself. Oh, it says awesome. 400 people. For it me. says 350 for me. Oh, 350 I now. Can't even get into Mine my one says 420. Yeah, YouTube hey. is completely hey. broken. Hey. Hey. Get in. Hey. I'm. Oh, I can watch other streams on my PC and everything, so I don't I, know. I can't. I can't. Yeah. I, I click on my YouTube and it just says something went wrong. Yeah, and you have to keep trying again. Something Some, wrong with YouTube. Something wrong. Yeah, some people were saying that YouTube kept like lagging on them. Kang, well, type it on the chat. Tell people to refresh. Guess we better well, uh, read some super refresh. chats. Refresh. Up the bum gaming for five. Why do why do all of Beardo's Atari joysticks smell like poo? <laughs> uh, just just read the next one. Just power through. Savage <laughs> talk. Shit. Savage talk. Read my cheap chats. Burger Kennel. Hi Sevy. Hi thirty six. <laughs> Uh, orangutan for five. Everybody wants some is an S tier baseball flick. Obamna, spiritual sequel to Days and Confused. Hardly any baseball in it though. Um, oh, no. Professor Savage Dad for three months. I learned in Vegas Beardo is a lot quieter in person. Yeah, right. What are we Bro, talking YouTube about? Bro, YouTube is fucking broken. Hey, we're on my numbers now. Two oh seven. Hey, uh, Nash congrats, Thunder. Jay. Nash Thunder. Well, us. You know, you know what is available? Rumble. So come over to Rumble yeah, if you have a problem you watching go. on YouTube. 158 um, viewers. All right. So Shout over on Rumble. speaking over on Rumble, PJ says my birthday's <laughs> PJ <laughs> says my birthday's today too. Hey, shout out PJ. Happy birthday to you. JM the Elite fan for 25. Oh shoot, my bad Beardo. I didn't know you ended up beating them. I retract my statement. Respect, bro. Uh, hey, if who? you Hey, if you uh, if you if you're not watching anymore, type in the chat and let us know that it kicked you. Yep, sixty five people. I just did that to me. aggravate Ryan. Ryan's like <laughs> sixty five. Rumble's feel, beating feel, YouTube. Claim your is, victory, Rumble. The thing is, I feel like I see more than that, like more than that, just chatting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. yeah. yeah. Now the chat's moving yeah. fast. Chat is moving really fast, and some people said they're being kicked out. Yeah, this is yeah. wild. Look no at this shit. No girls allowed. Uh, PJ for a buck says, Jay, mine was the black and white hat with red lettering. So keep oh, an eye let's out for talk that games. One, Jay. Is it uh, Let's Talk Games? Maybe. Yeah, um, I got it, man. Thank you so much. Luke Op for a buck. It's so epic to finally catch a live stream and be able to fart around with you guys. Can you tell me, is the Energon Comics universe woke? Soon I will be published in my country, and I wonder, buy or not? Uh, so far, the G.I. Joe Transformers universe has been pretty fantastic from what I've read of uh, these <laughs> comics. I'm very happy with it. Um, so, yeah, so far, so good. PJ for five on Rumble. Beardo, don't let them give you shit about your arms. You're one of the best huggers. Yes, I rated everyone at the meetup. Hey, PJ. Yes, PJ. Um, it's actually her birthday maybe today. It is. 16th? We just said that. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> no, keep going though. Keep going. Anyways, no, she gave me she, she gave me a very nice gift. She gave me a custom made t shirt, and uh, yes, I got to meet PJ. So shout out. Very very cool. Fuck yes, PJ was awesome. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, hashtag geeks and gamers over party since we have no viewers now. Geeks okay. and gamers over party. 
There we go. There's going to be people that think it's serious. I know. I know. <laughs> um, PJ for five. Mod Roddick's birthday. Tell him I said happy birthday. Hey, Eric K. Happy birthday. Kellen uh, for five Which, bucks. Had to make viewers. the switch to Rumble. We Man. have third. We have twenty three viewers. It, yeah, it, like oh, something I see, obviously. I is see thirty four. Or something. Holy yeah. shit! So like sometimes. So sometimes How this happens. Have, oh, sorry, Ryan. This happens fairly often. Uh, like rant once a month. YouTube will fuck up. You usually, you see it in videos. In videos, will start like decreasing in views, and YouTube fixes it after a couple hours. But obviously, we're not going to see that on the fucking live stream. Yeah, uh, but Tim Pool. Tim Pool has three hundred and eighty-one watching. There you go. Uh, oh, look at there, Galaxy Express in the house. Hell yeah! Look at that, Galaxy Express Media for uh, what do you call this, Jeremy? Proper one nine nine. A proper one nine nine. There you go, proper one nine nine. Thank you, Drunken Emerald Arrow, Galaxy Express Media. That's big. Um, well, super chats are still working, so yeah, I'm okay with there you that. Go. We're good. <laughs> That's what matters. <laughs> That's what matters. <laughs> uh, Nash Thunderclap for five. Hey guys, I'm just waiting for hard news to start. Jeremy, I used to hand out your tournament flyers at GameStop Holy back shit. in the day. Shit! Wow, that's from Monk. That is, that is amazing. I can't. So this, you've got to be from Montgomery, Alabama, or at least this was in Montgomery, Alabama at the time. That is incredible that you are still watching us. That's the early, early, early. That's actually before I created the name Geeks and Gamers. It was like, a, a, so this is like early 2011 or maybe late 2011. And then, Flyers. Yeah, like, so I used to, so we did video game tournaments. That's my, that was what I started this all on is local video game tournaments. Um, and I did a, a think two tournaments before i created the name geeks and gamers what so games? uh this what was like games uh modern warfare marvel vs. Nice. capcom madden um smash bros but modern awesome. oh actually black ops black ops one was the very first ever tournament that we did and um but yeah so i knew a, a lot of guys that worked at game stops uh and so i used to print up flyers for our tournaments and i would go to GameStop and i would ask my friends like hey can you put these in the bag with the purchase or can we put them on the, the, the front desk? And that's how we advertised. And um, again, so this is a time when I worked retail, I didn't have any money. Um, I, I just had one, one 360, one copy of black ops, two controllers. So I had a lot of friends in the area that would loan me their systems so that we could do the tournament and everything. Um, and yeah, so that's super cool that you, uh, that you were part of the GameStop that we started handing those flyers out. And then, like I said, we did the Black Ops tournament. The second turn, no, it was the fourth tournament is when I created the Geeks and Gamers, and that was a Smash Bros. Smash Bros. was the first official Geeks and Gamers tournament in that year, 2011, 2012, something like that. So, yeah, man, it's good That's stuff. That's awesome, man. Hell That's yeah. Analog. Yeah. I've got some <laughs> of those flyers. Yeah. I've got some of those flyers somewhere around here. I'll show everybody. I'll find some of them. That's and awesome. I can show I remember them, handing out but... flyers for for gigs, for shows uh, of my mm -hmm. band. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh Jake yeah. or PK for 10 bucks. No bad news bears before your time, but better than the sandlot. Uh, bad news bears is fine. Yeah. yeah. I don't think it's better than sandlot though. Um rant what is this? Rambo Raff, Ram a Rambo Raphael combo here. Uh, mm -hmm. Rambo Raff for life for two thoughts on the last Ronin TN TMNT film being announced. Harry's mm -hmm. gonna be rated R. Uh, so I don't know. I, I want to play the game first. I'm excited for the video game. Yeah, I mean, hopefully it'll be good. Hopefully. Big boned. Shout out Dan Vass, countryman Renato Mosano for shouting out Ludwig von Mises and Austrian Mises. economics. Mises. Uh, sorry. I saw that. I saw Ripple that. woke up for that one. Yes. Uh, Ludwig von <laughs> yeah, Mises. Right. Oh, the Mises caucus. That's what that thing is, whatever. <laughs> well, that's uh, a thing. Yeah. Me, me, the Mises caucus is a thing. Obviously, uh, based on Lu Ludwig von Mises. And Austrian economics post fight at UFC 300. He even retweeted my explanation of why inflation is really a tax. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't see that. That was awesome. He was yeah. he's like uh, probably talk, talking about private property and all that good shit. Yeah, that awesome. dude, libertarianism is huge here in Brazil. Brazil, oh yeah, yeah, oh yeah, and that's it's awesome to see, man. You got it was um, it, it was I don't know what the hell is going on in South America because there's a whole lot of shit going on out there. Where yeah, you dude. got like 
blatant, like straight first up libertarian cat. president. Yeah, South you got American. Yeah, in South America, South America's got a little movement, man. So shout out to y'all. Yeah, I think it's part of uh, Brazil. It's usually, has, just a has, bowel has, movement. So. <laughs> <laughs> Brazil, Brazil has that culture of not enjoying to follow rules like there's this expression called the little brazilian way which means we find a way to break the rules so you tell us not to fuck dudes in the ass say hey, we're gonna break some rules <laughs> exactly <laughs> just watch me so you don't want no yeah we, we we're kind of a rebel people so that's pretty cool awesome. uh cole hauser for two the slim ass riga ryan is back 199 praise our uh <laughs> thank you cole hauser uh, fantastic, Mr. Knox for ten. Good day, guys. Oh, it's so refreshing to hear Ryan Reed supers. <laughs> Ubisoft Star Wars Outlaws what the makes fuck it are more. We doing? <laughs> you want to read this one? I'm good. <laughs> All right. Uh, let me re restart then. Good day, guys. Oh, it's so refreshing to hear Ryan Reed supers. <laughs> Ubisoft Star Wars Outlaws makes it more appealing to buy older games because why should people play that Star Wars game when they hate the customer? Good point, fantastic, Dude, Mr. Nice. A bunch of great retro Star Wars games. Super Bro, I want to steal. Wars. No, I want to steal Super that Nintendo. one. I want to steal that one you got the other day, Galactic Battlegrounds. I oh, played yeah. the fuck out of that when I was a kid. Right there. Yeah, you got that in the box still. That's awesome. awesome. Brian, are you reading from the super chat list, or are you just reading directly on Streamyards? I'm she's, flipping she's, in between because she's she's she stopped recording because she's uh, something came up. So she's so wherever it's okay, at, that's good. Really, I, uh, yeah, that's fine because yeah, I've just, just been doing know. straight off the thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. okay. Um, every I Ministries for two. Shout out to the GCA and J Parasocial. Be damned. Yeah, shout out to the guys in the uh, the GCA that came and hung out with us. That was fun, dude. The, the, why is Vegas so fun for somebody like me that doesn't party and gamble and all that? Like, I just love Vegas, man. It's just fun. Vegas is great. It really no. is. It's it's a lot of fun. Um, Viva. Have you ever been, Dan? Dan's never I've, stepped I've foot never in this country. I've never been to the United States. I only okay. left Brazil once, and it was in what's to Europe. Go to Argentina. Think, no, not Argentina. Even though we can go there with just an ID. Where'd you go? I, I went to Finland to do a small tour there with a band called OD. OD? Like OD or the dog? No, just O and D. Like, like overdose. Like I OD yeah. don't, yeah, overdose. Nice. An overdose of rock. Uh, damage control for five bucks. 40K bolt gun. Old school Doom style shooter. I play that. It's one of it's one of those so called uh, boomer shooters, which is modern games that they made look like those '90s 2D sprite shooter, first person shooter games. Fantastic. Uh, Gary, first of all, I know you're jealous of how many viewers I have right now on the channel, but like, can you just calm down, okay? We got a lot of viewers right now, and I know you're jealous. But uh, yeah, hey Jeremy, next time we should uh, do a Vegas for a week. How about that? Let's do that, Ryan. You down with that? Yeah, I mean, that's how long I was there, so. <laughs> you guys should start thinking about a con. <laughs> yeah, so, and listen, it, it, it's the same logic as, like, Craig shooting down my idea of a retro store. Is right. it, it, We can't afford it. Like, we cannot it, afford it. It's just it. insane to put it on, and with the, we'd have to hire people to put it on for us, and it's just, what the, we do right now, I think, is okay. I mean, we I, kind of essentially did. We took over, mini, we took over Megacon. It, you know, well, not, what they're saying really. is do our oh, not, not really. There was two hundred thousand people. Oh, there. we did. We okay. did. We took it over. Yeah, <laughs> we, I we won't be told awesome, otherwise. We had an awesome presence there, one hundred percent. We we absolutely did. But uh, look, ultimately, what this comes down to is, I think, what in order to why is Gary calling me? What the fuck? He sent you a DM. <laughs> you sent you a DM. Look at the private chat, Jeremy. Huh? Uh, okay, I'm, I'm on speaker. Yes. On speaker. Yes, you're on speaker. speaker. Yes. You're on speaker. First off, you're gay. You're gay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Then, Got him. Second, motherfucker, you called us in the car. You're like, hey, dude, next time we should do this for a week. It's like, <laughs> we did it for a week. You were the only one who left. <laughs> <laughs> I meant like the full week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday <laughs> meetups. <laughs> Fucker, you didn't do anything Monday. I was there. But it wasn't a fucking meetup on Monday. We can't do a meetup five days. <laughs> Why not? Before. Why not? I don't drink. I'm good. I'm old, bro. So maybe five. <laughs> <laughs> so 
But it's like, no, it's, when you called me and told me that, like, we were like, wait a minute, we were there for a week. Bro. <laughs> the person who wasn't was you. Well, technically, I was. I mean, I did leave on Friday and didn't get home until like, uh, what is Sunday, Saturday or Sunday? Okay. So, okay. Your math is not very good uh, if you think that's a week. It is a week. If I left on Friday and got home on Saturday, that's a week. That's a day over Yeah, a no, week. no, but you had 70 hours of driving. Yeah, I did do left, 70 hours no, of driving. You were there. I'm not counting the time you decided to drive across the entire country, okay? Yeah, Gary Gary oh, gets fucking mad if we derail like three seconds on FNT. He's calling me during my 56 viewer stream I, right I'm now. Sorry. And derail. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Have you ever watched this retarded stream? We don't ever do anything but read super chats and meme. (laughs) Hey, you know what I always wanted to do, though? I wanted to hang up on a million sub uh, YouTuber. Fuck you. There, I just hung up on it. (laughs) (laughs) There you go. Um, We did have... a. Ahead, I just Dan. told I just told Gary today that we need to roast each other a little a little longer b- b- before the the song uh, comes out because we we need to keep the momentum going. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> um, I did want to. We talked about it earlier. Obviously, a lot of questions about it about uh, what happened with Chris and everything like that. So they put out they put out a statement from Chris on. Real BBC today. We have it here and uh, we can actually read it just so you guys know what's going on. Just so kind of everybody's on the same page. But uh, here it is. They say never go full retard. But right now I sound like a retarded Forrest Gump. Last week in Vegas, after the film threat party, I suffered a minor stroke. Doctors say I'll likely make a full recovery in a few weeks. But right now I feel like simple Jack. And to make matters worse, Alan and I were robbed and lost all of our money and merch from the trip. Yeah, shit like that happens sometimes. It is true. I'll spend a few next week. I'll spend the next few weeks getting better as I go through physical therapy. I know it'll be a difficult road to recovery, but I promise that you will get no hospital selfies or GoFundMe campaigns from me. When bad things happen in life, I like to deal with it on my own. I've always believed that which does not kill you only makes you stronger. On the bright side, as horrible as my speech is now, I can perfectly enunciate Kathleen Kennedy is a cunt. (laughs) <laughs> Which is more than I can say when Gary tries to say horror amarada. Fuck you, Vegas. Chris Frank Gore. Oh man, what a what a, what a fucking awesome. And he leans Frank. into the J meme uh, at the end. But Frank. yeah, Frank. man, Chris is awesome. And for you, man. I I yeah. I will not like I will not stop saying it. Like me and Gary were in you know, San Diego f- several years ago, and he was like, "Yeah, Chris Gore watches us." I'm like, Chris. F- fucking gore watches us he knows who G4 we are yeah it's wild so um yeah man um but whatever he needs and he and uh, it's respectable obviously that he uh is is wanting to do this all his own but the problem is chris you got you got thousands and thousands of people that love yeah. you man so a lot of people are gonna have your back bro so yeah all 49 people here are all, praying 40, for you, all, all 49 uh, people that are watching our stream right now are praying for you <laughs> uh, but no it's uh it is what it is we weren't exactly sure i didn't know if chris was gonna like make a public statement about it or whatever yeah. so we were really paying it or playing it kind of close to the vest yeah but obviously we're all we're all worried about him but it's good news that it's as minor as it could possibly be and that he's gonna be all good in a couple weeks so yeah um you know we, we make, gotta make sure to fucking make fun of him for it though like I, I would fully expect everyone to do that 100 yeah. percent. yeah i mean we got a super chat yesterday from uh, someone i believe was at the meetup and probably heard and they were like hey i hope chris gore gets feeling better or whatever and, and or hope he's okay and the whole chat was like oh my god what happened and yeah i didn't stop was it i didn't know if it was my place or our place you know me and ryan you're you know, so uh, yeah like, i just kind of skipped over it real yeah. quick and we're like yeah shout out chris yeah, uh, but, but now you guys know, uh, and so shout out to Chris. Yeah. Shout it's out, crazy to Chris man, Gordo. crazy stuff. Um, <laughs> PJ for five on Rumble. Shout out to our server Kai at Yard House. Best meal time in Vegas. Nice. Uh, Debru that do for five. This enough to buy a new dictator for Brazil. Best wishes slash prayers for Dan. Damn, uh, bro. I wish probably is. <laughs> um, De Young for a buck. Why does Beardo's beard look like molded plastic? My beard is real. It has gray. Well, Beardo's well, got a little gray in the in the hair, doesn't? It? Oh, he just left. What, what what am I missing here? What the fuck is this? You left me. 
No. I mean, Geeks and Gamble. Holy you know, we shit. Literally why is Dan, no, no, that I heard it, but why is Dan's head on it? <laughs> we, don't know, we don't know that part. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <What is> <laughs> Holy shit. How do you like my lips? <laughs> Holy crap. Holy, Holy shit. What is happening? <laughs> Dude, 1-800-DANKY is fantastic. It, There's a bunch of girls with flat asses out there looking for their injections. They're all in Dan's <laughs> lips, apparently. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sunny Hard uh, for five. Hey, y'all. I'm the guy with the burnt skin you met. I've come to realize... <laughs> Jay, why did you laugh? Uh, <laughs> hey, all. I'm the guy with burnt skin you met. I've come to realize that you are... Not just generally retarded, but gay as well. Glad to see you all. Good to see. Good to hear from you, Sonny. <laughs> Jay fucking exhaled as soon as I read that. Man, I could laugh. So insensitive. <laughs> Jay's a really rude person. I mean, <laughs> what did I do? As soon as yeah. I read that first sentence, and I think it was the way I read it, Jay just goes like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, like, ha, ha, he has burnt skin. <laughs> not like that, but just not <laughs> trying to hold back. Peel sketch where you make it in front of the burn. Victim. Dan made it significantly worse. Dan, <laughs> Dan, made it, Dan made it way worse. <laughs> Dan made but, it hey, way shout, worse. Shout out to you, Sonny. Of the thing. Um, that's after attacking the woman who sent a super chat for Dan. Yeah, but Jay was kind of right. Though. Well, I did. <laughs> Go, you can explain yourself. <laughs> Thank you, Jay, because it's better if you say it. Than no, no, they, they started yeah. showing up. Like I did an In interview your with Dan, stuff, like, right? Like ten years ago, I guess, whatever. And like now, no, we did an they... interview three years ago, and yeah. they they go to Jay's uh, VOD of the live stream, thinking it's still live. Yeah, and they sent super <laughs> thanks, asking Dan questions. Oh no! <laughs> and like. So we, they never get answered. So now they're, they're they're in my Instagram. They're like, oh, you're kind of hot, too. You're hot. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to their Instagram page. Take and they are all, like, please. They are crazy obsessed with Dan. Va I Every can sell photo them to on you. their Instagram is Dan. It is, they are crazy obsessed. And I was like, Dan, your weirdos are showing up in my Instagram, like saying stuff. He's like, yeah, you're going to have them all. Like, I, I've I never seen anything them. like it. It's wild, man. I... It's wild. Like Dan will be streaming and they'll take a screenshot and like zoom in like on his chest hair and be like, oh, I look at the hairs what? on his chest. <laughs> and oh they post it on Instagram. Seriously? I never seen that. I you sent would... you a whole video of this lady who's like no, but, showing yeah, up. Yeah, but the hair chest thing I didn't see. Oh, it's awful. You you would think you would think with Dan Vasker we get more than 41 viewers. Hey, I'm sorry, man. It's because Jade disrespected them. It's true. And they all left. <laughs> Keep my camera off, Danky. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh -oh. Oh, no. Chris Benoit <laughs> for five. I got into 40K with my son recently. His chosen oh, faction God. was the Tau. I chose corn. When we fought, I didn't know we were supposed to use figurines, though. Oh, no. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck, man? I got Dan's all in on the joke now. He's like, after it was explained to me three times, I finally get it. <laughs> Literally three times I fell for it. Vets talking. Space in my memory to memorize names? No. Just one. Uh, Vets talking for 10. Smells like Vegas in here. It kind of does. It kind of does. That's supposed to mean. Here you go, Ryan. Uh, Thomas Ryan for $125. Woo! Hell yeah. Read my super chat, Burger Kennel. Is that phone call between Jeremy and Nerd Roddick what I have to look forward to when I get old? Sad. So sad. <laughs> Cheer up, Beardo. I'm ready to watch some Helldivers. Hey, let's go. There you go. Uh, Sonny Harder for two. Who's Sevi? A Steph copy or OG from Jeremy's basement? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sonny Harder? What? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. You so gotta go to Geeks and Gamers later, Table Top. So copy. Yeah, go check out Geeks and Gamers Table. I'll be right you back. Get to watch Sevy run the channel better than Arud I thinks he can. Simp and Slytherin for ten. Sevy is queen of tabletop. Hail the one nine nine. Thanks for having her on. You're welcome. Um, Renegade for Hungarian thirty. I don't know. Uh, oh. <laughs> what? Do you want Cinque me to read it for you? It's in Spanish. Cincuentas a Dan Vasque. I three nenas en el panel. What is that? Three. 
three women three girls yeah three, three, yeah, girls. three women on the panel with dan vask if we count dan vask yeah it's one yeah. of those dumb fucks that thinks brazil speaks spanish he speaks portuguese <laughs> apparently yeah. yeah an even more obnoxious <laughs> language yes uh, portuguese oh, is hard it is, but if you understand Spanish, you you can understand Portuguese. At, at least from my side, understand Portuguese. I can understand. Portuguese. I can understand yeah. part of Portuguese, but mm. you guys talk really, really fast for me. So yeah, I can and understand we talk everything like wrong. basic. <laughs> yeah, we, I can we, basically we talk our, under, oh, Go ahead, sorry. No, we speak our our own language all all wrong, so that doesn't oh. help either. Yeah. <laughs> um. Let's see here. Renegade, I just said that one. Moldy Lunchbox sounds disgusting for five. How do you guys feel about Joker 2, Asylum, or Arkham Boogaloo? Um, I, I don't, like, the first trailer was fine for me, um, but I don't, I didn't hate what I saw. I'm not, like, overly excited. I'm worried that it's, that I'm not going to like it, but I hope I do. I don't think, I don't think I'm going to like it, but I don't like musicals. Um, so I, I just don't, I, I, on the premise alone, I, don't think this movie needs a sequel anyway. So I'm already not looking forward to any continuation of this. So then you add the musical element and it's just not, I'm not feeling it, but if people are into the musicals, maybe they'll like it. Maybe it'll be as artsy fartsy bullshit, but not something I'm looking forward to personally. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't look good in my opinion. Yeah. I didn't like it. Bionic what? belly button for $10. What's up, Bionic Belly Button? Sevi is like a nerdy Shakira, and I love it. Great energy. Can you explain the 36 to those out of the loop, like her? Oh, I'm already in chat, so <laughs> I answered her. Oh, you answered in chat? Okay, perfect. Yeah, I answered in chat. Everybody basically, has a small penis. You can tell everybody. You can tell everybody real quick if you want. Sure. Yep. Uh, basically, um, Eruda is the first time playing a character in uh, Friday's game over at Geeks and Gamers Tabletop. He was... Um, he was playing a tiefling whose god is like the god of lust and he kept bragging about his sexual progress so Chad had him a roll for endowment so rolling uh, uh, rolling, rolling a dice for like a 100% to see what his enrollment was he rolled a 36 so he is tiny you can't see it he has a micro penis there you go so, shout out to a rude eye and the micro peen um, that's where the lore comes from. Um, Shadow Saiyan for 10. John Marrow knows a perfect movie exists, and it's the Lord of the Rings trilogy, unlike Beardo. Damn. At least Big I can... W. Big oh. W for John oh. Marrow. Huge W for John Marrow. You know what you, know what you can do that John Marrow definitely can't? Walk. You can, no, you can touch your dick. He can't. Yeah, yeah can but wipe, he has, I can wipe my own ass. He has women that do that for him. Mm -hmm. I can wipe my own him. ass. So... <laughs> Remember, John uh, Merrill said he has plenty of women that do that for him. He doesn't need anybody else. Yeah, he's a fucking liar. Hub yeah. for 11 months. Beardo, did you check the bottom of Moro's shoes to see if he's really a paraplegic? Yeah, see if there's, like, wear on his shoes. I don't even walk know. around, bitch. <laughs> John Morrow just may, might be this AI-created just piece of shit on Twitter. I don't even know if he's real. It makes me so happy. He's so angry about this guy, this paraplegic. Yeah. This is his arch nemesis. Is the guy who can't fucking walk or piss on his own. Like, who, who just claims to have a lot of sex. That's hey, uh, did, arch nemesis. That's all you had to say. I'd respect him more if he wasn't a paraplegic. If he was trying to be this like you know perfect motivational speaker and to tell us to be better and how to better live our lives, like and if he could actually walk, I would respect him. I but he's just he's a fucking quad. liar. He's yeah. a quad god, isn't he? He's a quadriplegic. Even worse. Mm. There's a quadriplegic that beat Elden Ring. We, <laughs> Ryan was just talking about him. That's that inspirational. Bitch. Yeah, I'd like it's to see also, John Morrow beat Elden Ring. Then, he, then he'd have my respect. You know, I'm going to bring strong. John fucking Morrow to Geeks and Gamers Please to read do. Super Chats. I, I don't yeah, even I know if he's this. real, man. I'm telling you, John Morrow. I'm bringing, I'm bringing yeah. John Morrow to Geeks and Gamers to read super chats. I'm What's all the about origins it? of that guy? Is that is he like a motivational speaker? Yeah, he's probably like he's probably like the alpha chat of alpha chads, and Beardo's yeah, just the jealous. Fuck out of here. Bro, get I've never here. seen Beard. I, like I said, I got multiple DMs like, "Yo, Beardo's yelling at a quadriplegic." Yeah. He's like, "Fuck you, John Morrow. You piece weird. of shit. You fucking liar. It's How dare you say up. that?" There we go. We got a thousand people watching. Yeah, yeah. There we go. let's go. I just don't like the guy. 
Jacoby yeah, Monsoon. <laughs> that new guy is a salty motherfucker. Hail, Brian. Jay, I left some treats near the meetup for you. Hope you enjoy. It sounds like you just toss him down outside is what that sounds like, but uh, you probably gave him to somebody. Jay's not here right now. Xavier, save your heart for 10. Good day. I had an interesting dream last night when I gave Melanie Mack a hug, and then I gave her an Anzac biscuit. Then it ended. Strange. Hail to all. Deuce Volt. Well, thanks for sharing, Sorry. Xavier. Did you guys see, like, so did you guys see the uh, MCU fan and Krista hug? That was one of the cringiest things I've ever fucking seen. <laughs> I saw it. It's so bad. I thought it was cool. <laughs> it was good, bad. Good for him. No, was... good for him. What? Good for him, man. He made his way out here. He faced his fears. He saw Krista after she dumped him about several times. I have more respect for MCU fan than I do John Morrow. <laughs> like MC, <laughs> like M MCU fan went out there and he he faced it like like a champ. I saw and that I, coming. Yeah. I respect the guy. The t-shirt was awesome. I like. Yes. It. Yeah, the t-shirt was awesome. Who brought the t-shirt? Because somebody brought it for him, and then he put it, it on. It might have been Alec Baldwin's finger. I'm not too I, sure. I think, I think he might have brought Baldwin's it. Finger, yeah. Do we yeah. have ABF? pictures of him? What up, ABF? It might have been Alec Baldwin's finger. might have been. Um, Randy Janae. Randy Janae? Janae, right? For $20. Dan, what tips, recommendations do you have for women wanting to get into weightlifting? Been trying to get pregnant for two years, and my doctor's uh, recommending that I increase my BMI to increase my chance of fertility. Oh, man. Ah, if I wanted to increase my BMI, I would just eat a lot of McDonald's. Yeah, I mean, that's honestly what you have to do. You have to eat. Yeah. Mm -hmm. there's, no, there's, yeah. No, there's no substitute for it. Like You got to fucking eat. It's like wor working out gives you a ton got, of appetite. So, Randy, I got one word for you. Culver's. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to Culver's and eat. A lot of this women, if you, if there's wanna... this woman trying to get healthy in a <laughs> like get big in a healthy way, and you guys, like, you guys are like, Culver's. E -E -E. Yeah. <laughs> what, like what, le legitimately, if like wh whatever your diet is, you want to supplement and be like somewhat healthy, like be between fucking meals, eat like Greek yogurt with granola in it and stuff like that, like stuff that's not bad for you, but stuff that is going to give you extra fucking fat and stuff like that to build on That's carbs and do. protein yeah and and I, and it, yeah mm -hmm. and i would say go go lift weights and let the uh let the that extra hunger that you will get as you as you start uh doing this act the these extra physical activities guide you in the amounts that you have to eat because also if if you start eating more than you should more than your hunger the more than the hunger you feel that's kind of your body saying that's it's too much. So let your natural hunger from the weight li lifting and whatever athletic activities you do guide you in terms of the quantity. There you go. Uh, Beardo's Ricada size shoulders for a buck. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Jeremy, can you read this one in a Vince McMahon voice? <laughs> uh, Do rag Vince. <laughs> Once partied with John Morrow. Uh, great time, Damn. but I, I should do a do rag Vince. Oh my god, do rag Vince is the greatest character that has <laughs> ever time. happened yeah. in the history of wrestling. Great time, but we had to be careful anytime around that back end. Uh, it was uh, it was like unpredictable. It was like an unpredictable volcano, beautifully dangerous, like a cage match, and I saw him beat Dark. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> dude when you got durag vince against you beardo you're fucked durag yeah. vince prefers john morrow if yeah. durag vince is hanging out with john morrow john morrow is a fucking chad he's getting john morrow all all that, 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 that might be who is named that might be the person that vince was fucking that chick with when he shit on her head <laughs> yeah. it was probably john it, it morrow. makes sense it would make sense John Morrow literally is like owns a company and like he's a CEO and everything. And he's like, Fuck yeah, that. sure he is. Sure he's a CEO. <laughs> it's a little sure. website right there. It's sure, sure. Holy shit, beer though. This is wild. John Morrow is a fake person that a whole bunch of groups of fucking pussies went together and said, let's make John Morrow is the fucking liver king of paraplegics, okay? <laughs> you can literally look him up. Like, this is wild, bro. What is this company about? It's so weird. It's a blogging company. It's about fucking how to be a professional liar. <laughs> <laughs> now, he, he's like, yeah, he's like probably just one of those people, you know, like, 
<laughs> you fucking get your seventh grade class dragged in the fucking auditorium. No one wants to pay attention to watch some dude who overcame all these obstacles to do something. No one gives a fuck about you. Like those type of motivational speech speeches. I think that's what John Morrow does, right? Yeah, but he also runs and like fucks a, a lot of women. Logging company. Yeah, he has a lot of sex with women too. Yeah. More than beer, though. Or beats all the that. games, apparently. Yeah. Beats all the games. And beats games. Yeah. He beat Castlevania yeah, like, no deaths in blind. 24 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, and he did it blindfolded. He did it blindfolded. Beardo no has, arms, no legs, no eyes. Be, oh, Beardo shit. has MDS, Morrow Derangement Syndrome. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. so. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a real uh, thing. It's kind of a problem. Crit, a problem. crit nature for two. Hey, Ryan, no offense, but you're gay. Thank you. Uh, Shadow saying for five, Ripa, did you hear Akira Toriyama died? Goodness gracious, bro. <laughs> Some fucking shit, man. <laughs> That's a no, then. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Wish Respect, John Morrow. <laughs> <laughs> this is childish, man. This is, a child- this is childish as fuck. He has small Just- gains. <laughs> Look at this dumbass shit, man. This, this, shit is- this is a super oh, chat from an hour and seven minutes ago, by the way. <laughs> childish, man. Holy shit. I love it. John Law probably stole those shades. Mm-hmm. Fucking fraud. How would he steal it? He can't fucking walk. It's because when he nobody wanted to say anything when he fucking wheeled his way out of the store. They're like, well, With, he probably, how did he grab him? He's he a quadriplegic. Yeah, he can't move his arms or his legs. Fucking maybe he's got a long ass tongue. That's why all the ladies hey, are grab there. Him with convince, his mouth. Convince one of his women to do it. That's oh, probably man. It. Yeah, one of his fucking ten uh, women that proposed to him. <laughs> fucking. I think scumbag. it was only two. Uh, object objectively a cat for two. Post chickens in chat if you're we totted. Thank you. <laughs> uh, you fucked that bitch for one nine nine. Jay, Gina wants a baby. Make it happen. Damn. Okay. <laughs> Warlock for 200. Legends <laughs> tell of an ancient hidden list of names that support the Fed instead of the rightful queen. A list so vile, only a degenerate would ever look at it. It's called <laughs> Craigslist. Yeah. Hashtag hail to the queen, baby. Hashtag cult of Sevi. Real quick for people in the chat that don't understand what's going on. Rudai used to be a desperate simp. Now he runs a channel as well as being a desperate simp. And he used to go on Craigslist and hit up women all the time. And it never went well for him. Um, he, he's embarrassed himself in front of his family many times with these Craigslist hookups. Um, and he tries to deny it, but he talks about it all the time on his channel. So he does, he does. He but runs, the best he story... runs like these, these, these streams at like 4 a.m. And he's like whispering into his mic. He goes, Savvy's still sleeping. She doesn't know I'm on live right now. And then like, it's trying to like, I don't know, doing like cloak and dagger shit. <laughs> it's fucking weird. Is Arudai the John Morrow of tabletop? <laughs> <laughs> but the best That's what story. Do you irrationally hate him, Beardo? Do I he... hate Arudai? Yeah. I thought we made that clear. Yeah, he's a scumbag does too. Does anybody the, the question is does it, who likes Arudai? Uh no one. No, no one, one. That, no one. John Morrow has more I, fans than Arudai. I, I, I am seeing that uh you team YouTube's all over like responding now, so obviously it's like they've they've uh gotten gotten control of it but uh you know who didn't have a glitch rumble didn't have a glitch mm. kick didn't have a glitch so shout out to them uh, people. i didn't even know we were live on kick uh doug b for five hey. rumble greater than screw tube hey uh we got either mike or ripa <laughs> can y'all read that name please <laughs> I'll, I'll let you take this one away. Who's coming Michael? for you, nigga? <laughs> how y'all doing tonight? Actually, he says, how y'all doing too tonight? Um. <laughs> bro, it's still one of the best things. I'm doing nothing to tonight. Booker <laughs> T's face, bro, is so good. He's just like, oh, my God. Yeah, bro. yeah, man. That that Booker T moment's legendary, man. Yeah. It really is. True Mr. Gentleman for a buck. I think the Lord of the Rings books are way, way better than the movies, so they're not perfect to me. The best film tr- trilogy, in my opinion, is the Man with No Name trilogy. The good, the bad, and the ugly is still top tier. Mm. That is pretty, fu- pretty, pretty fucking amazing, but better than Lord of the Rings is a, is a stretch. Yeah. De-, De Young for a buck. I read that one already. I read that one. Okay, let's head back over here. To Mountain Mutt for $1.99. Angela Davis saw Mike's fro and yelled, Damn! Damn! Don't worry, Beardo. 
Beardo, you, Beardo, you haven't been fired. You'll be back next week reading all these super chats. I didn't plan on oh, okay. here this at this uh, point. Yeah, I, yeah, I'm gonna leave. Gonna leave John Morrow a little here. bit. So, so uh, uh, Ryan will be leaving soon. So yeah. I didn't know. I thought I was gonna be like two hours late. I didn't know it was only gonna be an hour late. Lofty Beardo for five. <laughs> Don't know why Beardo is mad. He barely gets memed or roasted on here. Never. Hard, hardly ever. Who said I'm mad? I'm just sick. Like, med or mad? What did I say? Sound like you said med. Sorry. Yeah, I, I lost my voice in Vegas. Definitely uh, not John sick Morrow. either. Yeah. But with, with that being said, I probably am going to take off. So I'm going to get out of here. Where yeah. is our positivity going to go? You going to take uh, all the viewers with you? This has been a record stream of 50 viewers with Ryan hosting. Yeah, that was crazy. That, that yeah. should be like the own on me for all time. Yeah. I do want to say I that. Up. You guys hear that? What? I fucking farted. And nobody heard it, man. Fuck this stupid. No, I didn't hear it. Let nope. it out. Maybe next time, like, say, I fucking hey, give guys, up, bro. Listen. I tried. I, I fucking yeah. let it out. Yeah. Oh, God. That's not, yeah, it sounds like Dan Vass. <laughs> oh, God. That? Not again. <laughs> oh, God. But Biden should Yeah, we deserve to have 50 viewers. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, uh, Rip almost left time. last week. He's like, this what? is fucking stupid. <laughs> one eight hundred Danky did a six times speed drunk three PO uh, that he tweeted out. You guys might want to check that out when I'm gone. But All right, let's see. <laughs> he said thanks. In the private chat. All right, guys, okay. I'm a bounce. I'm gonna get out of here. Have a good night. All right, Ryan. Yeah, man, Bye, easy, buddy. Later, Ryan. Later, bro. Take care, All man. right. So here's uh. So I turn. My, I'm not turning my camera back on. Why? He's hiding from 1-800-DANKY. Posted they keep taking pictures yeah. of me when I'm, like, he looking. He tweeted it, and he just, like, I'm not I'm turning off my camera. He's <laughs> 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 just sitting there. He doesn't move, bro. It's so <laughs> wild. That's pretty amazing. Look at his eyes yeah, that are, like, starting. Look at his eyes. He's, like, That's all, dude. Dude. He's like Drax the Destroyer. He's, that's yeah. impressive. I'm actually like reading. Oh, something. there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Never again. Look at his tongue comes out of his mouth. Look what. Yeah. <laughs> this is a this is a minute fourteen seconds long. Bro, that's so good. <laughs> that's freaking scary. His tongue. Yeah, the way your eyes move is kind of yeah. yeah. His eyes like dart. As if people don't think I'm retarded enough. Let's just make it work. <laughs> You That's AI, man. That's not me. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm gonna report. Happen? I'm gonna. I'm gonna copy strike his channel for uh, <laughs> using my life. <laughs> you know what's gonna happen? <laughs> you know what's gonna happen? All of them are gonna buy Achromatic Chronicles. They, I, they better. Yeah, they better. all of them. They better. Matter of fact, when is that coming out, Jay? Well, hopefully, it, it will be out in May. Ooh. You want to tell them anything about it? You got anything you want to tell them? I can't talk too much about it yet until I can't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys are going to love it, though. You're going to love it. Uh, we've been working hard and uh, talking with other people of the Ripaverse as we get ready to launch Rip Ascend and um, website creations and all that stuff like that. It's it's yeah. going to be awesome. Be yeah, I, I'm, I'm beyond excited to uh, be a part in this new venture there with eric and uh it's it's gonna be awesome man it's gonna be awesome i'm i'm beyond excited so absolutely yeah. I plan on being in uh denver um like 98 percent sure i told uh brandon i'll be in denver oh, yeah and uh we'll probably have some acromatic chronicle books to sign as well and yeah. uh just hanging out with the crew out there it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome so yeah, man, I'm looking forward to to seeing all that. I I considered going to Denver. I just don't know if I can make the turnaround after this Vegas trip kicked my. I'm just now getting back settled in Pensacola, um, and I'm ready to start making some videos. Um, so you know, we'll How see. How long is the drive? <clears throat> uh, it was like 35 hours. Like if you go from, so as I had to go, I I rented a vehicle in Orlando, so I went from. Pensacola to Orlando, which is like seven hours. Oh, then from Orlando all the way back to Vegas. Then from Vegas back to Orlando and Orlando back to Pensacola. It's 
whew, it's been a lot. A wow. lot of driving. Yeah. I've never drove more than six hours at a time in my entire life. Yeah, it's I like good. driving. I like driving. I've driven from I've driven from Pensacola, which is in the Panhandle of Florida, all the way to LA in one run. That was, that was a long years. fucking drive. Yeah, Dang. one run, one run. I mean, the only I stopped obviously gas, stretch my legs, shit like that. You know what I mean? Like and eat, but like I didn't stop. I didn't stop to sleep or I didn't stop to rest. How uh, many hours can you drive without any stop? I mean, what do you mean? Like you well, talking about gas? Like, you gotta yeah, stop. You gotta yeah, stop not gas. not getting out of the car. Well, I mean, you have. Well, I mean, I could drive, but at some point, you gotta stop and get gas. So I, I could go. So I don't as know. As long as you have gas, you're not. You're not stopping. Basically, I think he's trying to ask, like, how long can you drive even with stopping? Well, I gotta gas? piss. <laughs> I mean, that's really. I think, like, no, I think like yeah. he mean, I think he means like, yo, like, how long can you like drive? Like, do you have to stop and take a rest or like sleep or anything? I like I, I could. I mean, yeah. I don't. I I would. I think I would have to stop every at least just to stop and stretch my legs i would have to stop every four to five hours minimum just to stop and stretch That's my legs you know what i mean just to kind of yeah. get the yeah. blood flowing again and and all that um yeah. I, I, would I would have to yeah, yeah i would have to do that at least so um but i do i like driving i, I enjoy it so and uh you know but one of these i'm getting a little too old for this shit so i'm just gonna yeah. jump on a plane and uh Die from <laughs> DEI hires building up new planes. So, <laughs> First plane uh, he gets on, I, I yeah. Say, though, hey, that would, oh man, that, oh, that would fucking suck if Dude, that you actually happened. Yeah, but... You guys could do off that though. If I yeah, got, I know, yeah, got a content plane. that we'd unfortunately get out of that, and, oh, and yeah, in your first, honor, yeah. we'd have to talk yeah. about. Yeah, like, yeah. The yeah. one the first plane he gets plane, on, the one time yeah. he gets on a yeah. plane, yeah. this shit happens to Jeremy. The last thing he hears. The, the co-pilot has misgendered me. It's bam! He <laughs> <laughs> goes straight down and everybody's like, oh, no. Oh. Oh, I mean, my I have flight back before. home had an all-male flight crew. It was like the safest I've ever yeah. felt. Yeah. All yeah. men. It was See, all men. I would men. be bothered if all the flight attendants were men, though. That's kind of weird. I'm like, no. Nah, no, no, no. I want it, a pretty no. like, chick handing me like. No, you won't. You won't. You, you don't you don't want an all male daycare, okay? That's what you don't want. All right. So if you drop That's your true. kid off, you want you want an all female daycare. Yeah. You don't want an all a, male. It was the most daycare. efficient flight I've ever been on. <laughs> oh. Um, but I have flown before. I flew from um I flew from Orlando to to LA a few years ago. Um, so it was after I did that that drive, that one run, and I was like, I had to go back because this is when we were doing um, filming for uh, the music video that we did, the Star Wars song, and um, we had to go back and do some reshoots. And I'm like, I ain't making that drive again right now. It's, it's way too much time. So I did. I flew from from Orlando to to L.A. and then L.A. back to Orlando, and I will fly again at some point in time, um, just because it, there's going to be situations like. A few years ago, um, I was uh, I was invited to the um, the anniversary of Michael Jackson's Thriller, um, and I but it was during our meetup in Orlando, and the only way I was going to be able to make it if I got on a a plane and took like a red eye, but I still couldn't pull it off because it was too much of a turnaround. I had too much going on in Orlando, so I couldn't do it. But I was willing to. I was willing. I was, What's that about the the uh, anniversary of Thriller? It was like the uh, I don't know was it was it a thirtieth or fortieth or I can't remember or whatever it was um anniversary um because i know Taj jackson michael's you know nephew Ta i've had really? Taj on the channel before yeah yeah Taj, awesome. Taj is a fan of geeks and gamers so shockingly enough yeah it's pretty me. cool man yeah so i was an interview with him you have yeah i have an interview with him, with him on the channel and uh we've become friendly i haven't talked to him in a while i need to hit him up but it was weird because i was doing this is back when i used to do the solo streams on geeks and gamers and um i'd never I, I didn't know Taj watched this or anything like that. And I'm just doing, this is like early days g, &G probably like 20, 30,000 subs. And I'm doing a live stream, and I'd never talked about Michael Jackson. And somebody asked me, now Taj is a big advocate of like clearing Michael's name and, you know, battling all the narratives out there. And somebody sends me a super chat or something, and they were like, Jeremy, what's your opinion on Michael Jackson? And Taj tells me this story after the fact. And I mean, so he, he said when that question came up, he was already a fan of mine, and he says... I held my breath. He goes, oh, God, what's he going to say? What's he going to say? Because he had never heard me talk. And I'm like, Michael Jackson's the GOAT. He's 100% innocent. Uh, they they slandered his name. They threw him. You know, I was like, and he he was like, I was so happy. Because uh, he's like, I've watched so many YouTubers that I know, and they just start talking shit, you know, on my uncle. But, uh, yeah, Taj is good peeps. So That's awesome, um, Yeah. But, I mean, like, there is, uh, like, on a serious note, it is just – 
This has been an incredible year from the MegaCon Orlando meetup and seeing everything that's happening in Vegas and now um, seeing Ripaverse is going to be in Denver, yeah. you know, um, and then also like I am I'm going to be in Knoxville with uh, the Fan Expo as well. I think it's Fan Expo in Knoxville. And then like Dollywood is like reached out and they're like, hey, you want to do a little meetup here? We'll try to we'll try to cover some park passes and stuff. So I'm, st I'm talking to them right now. So like it, it's it's just really awesome to see like the you know it's just everybody winning and this community Hell yeah. you know and then like i said like the um my dropping acromatic chronicles blue was just like that was a big nervous step for me and like the fellowship just showed up uh it was it was unreal and so like now i get now i get the opportunity to finish the series and um with with green coming out in just a few weeks you know, my I mean, my goal is really simple. Like I was just like hoping to do like three, three thousand books sales. So like it, that, that'd be that would be amazing. And um, now and then on top of that, working with Epic Mike and Epic Verse, where um, we're putting an animation together movie for the first one yeah. with some of the some of the best voice actors in the game, you know, and it's like the, just seeing like them offering so much help and support and trying to get this movie made. Um, it, it's just an incredible year for everybody, you know, yeah. and, and it's just like, I love seeing my friends win. And, uh, it, it's like Ryan subscriber going off the chart, Gary doing a million, um, just, just everything, you know, it's just like, it, it's just, it's an, it's been an awesome year, you know, and it's also an election year. So hell yeah. You know, <laughs> so it's yep, kind of yep, yep. crazy. Yeah, it's been wild and uh, it's only getting started. So I can't wait to see how it all turns yeah. out. Um, yeah. Shout out to everybody in the chat. You're the only reason that's possible. Yeah, 100%. Because of all, of you, all, all the peeps in the yeah. chat. Uh, Johnny says, uh, Jeremy, what game is that on your TV back there? WrestleMania, the arcade game, 1000% on the PlayStation. Oh, yeah. WrestleMania, the arcade game is awesome. Um, a lot of people um, that have probably never played it should. Did you play that back in the day, Ripa? WrestleMania, the arcade game? It's kind of like the gimmicky one where like they have like like Undertaker has like a you know like a move and he pulls a tombstone out and hits you over the back with it and uh, I don't remember that for the PlayStation. Oh, yeah, I remember yeah. the one for the uh, the WrestleMania or the hang on the, uh, hang on I'll show you the cover you'll you'll know that if you, if you know, hang on just a minute let me somebody talk. Uh, here's your chance, Mike Beardo. I was I mean, gonna talk, but I saw I saw Mike giving hands. Do we? I, was, I just wanted nobody to say anything. I just like I was like, don't say a single thing. Just nobody go. fucking talked. <laughs> Not a single <laughs> fucking word, bro. Jesus Christ! They, so they were waving their hand. <laughs> what kind of operation is he? Is this guy running around here? Uh, right here. Holy here we go. Shit, uh, bro. <laughs> just a guess. Dead fucking air the whole time. Here we go. Right there. It's one of those. Those yeah, long boxes. I remember, yeah. yes. Okay, so I mm -hmm. remember. I don't remember having that because my first nice. PlayStation was it Raw? Raw was like, on the PlayStation. Yeah, yeah that, that yeah. might have been the first one. The players Raw were like legit. fucking moving like fucking like weird shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, like those kind of boxes were, were and the all only their hands ones, were like really like ones. fucking um like flat can get, shit. Can I yeah. get this? Well, this they had Raw too. Where like the taller you made your character, the more they crouch. So they had like all the characters had to stay at like the same height. Yeah. So like you make this really tall character and they crouch all the time. Yeah. I'm, and I remember. Wild. I think Raw for sure was my first PlayStation because again I just remember the characters like moving like, <laughs> like fucking <laughs> idiots, man. Right there. Okay. Yeah. I I, I, I don't think I. I don't think I had that for the PlayStation. I had the That's WrestleMania oh, yeah. for the um. You got hey you guys remember this one. Look at this. Stinker. Look at that. You remember that one? Oh, Street oh, Fighter. Shit. Street Fighter, Dude. the movie, the video game. Yeah. They Street made Fighter, a, the movie, the game. Yeah, yeah, they made a video game based <laughs> off a movie it was, that was based, it was based like, off they, they, they used the real <laughs> actors like oh, Mortal Kombat. Wow. Yeah. It was very so similar good, to Mortal bro. Kombat. Yeah. I yeah. That. yeah. No, that game, I, 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 I like the movie and the video game. I like the movie and the video game. Um, <laughs> I like that movie, too. Band, yeah, man. it's terrible, but I like it. It's weird, yeah. 
It's one of those things that it's so bad that it's entertaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Wrestle, I, I always liked WrestleMania in the arcade game. Um, and um, I picked it up the other day when I was at the video game, that retro store. What was the, was it WrestleMania the arcade that, what was it that was on Sega that was just like that? It was just like, oh, I'm about to go there's check a, it out. There's oh. so on, on, like on Saturn and Dreamcast? No, it was, on, it was on the Genesis. Hold up, hold up. Was this one on the Ripple Genesis? Was a Genesis guy. I don't know if this one was on Genesis or not. I can't remember if that one was on Genesis or not. Raw 2, Raw 2 was like my favorite. Everybody's and that was on breaking Xbox. Out video games I, gonna, yeah. I, don't have, I used to have a copy of it, but Raw 2 was bring like my out favorite. My Pokemon gonna go get again. something yes. too. Oh my god. Yes. You know. Yes. Um, hey, Pit Fighter. Yes, Pit Fighter. Pit Fighter was great on the Sega Genesis. I'm sure you brought the whole yeah, thing. I, I, I know I wasn't tripping. It was WrestleMania, the arcade game. It was, okay. It was, it was, okay. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Yeah, was, right on. Exactly okay. What it was. Okay. So like, you, what Rip you has his shoebox of games from his childhood. <laughs> yeah, no, I, legit, I, yeah, that's what I have. It's like in a legit shoebox. <laughs> nice. Full of old games. Two, two fucking hell everything. yeah. Double oh, dragon. The chat's going Double crazy dragon. that Jay's yeah. back on screen. The chat's Dude. going crazy <laughs> that Jay's <laughs> back he, on. He been roasting me all night. <laughs> telling me I'm stupid to shut up and everything. <laughs> I could um, care less if I'm on camera or not. So Pit they Fighter can. played like ass. Okay, so Pit Fighter on the Genesis was good, but the the Super Nintendo version, if I'm not mistaken, it was this was the Super Nintendo version. The Super Nintendo version was dog shit, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to look that up and see. We gotta but... get Ripa and Bragging Rights to represent the Genesis kids. Oh, you know yeah. what? Fuck it, I'll be right back. Yeah. Oh shit. hell, here he goes. Here he goes. Hang on. I picked yeah, up a... all the Genesis. I went shit. to uh, Mike, uh, Mike, sir. Go ahead, Beardo. Go ahead. So, so after Vegas, I went to my parents' house to pick up some stuff, and I went through a few boxes, and I found some fucking gems. They're still in the suitcase right now, but I'll go. I'll go look through it. See, see what I got real quick. Oh hell, oh, fucking cool. yeah. yeah. I don't have any of my retro games here with me right now. They're in like a binder somewhere and i don't even remember where they're fucking stored i gotta at, go get but... some stuff to show too you, everybody you got knows. stuff right behind you you just turn around and just grab one of those pc games dude that's yeah. the thing i don't i will give dan credit there's not a lot of people that i know that collect pc games and there are some bangers from the pc like... nobody collects for the pc oh, man, man. it's there so some... hard to find it in retro gaming stores i practically yeah. only buy it online on ebay so yep. I, pi I picked up a couple uh this is a couple of uh, pickups i had the other day I guess this is bragging rights, but we got yeah, uh, go. Need for Speed. Need for Speed. Yeah, Hot, hot Pursuit. pursuit? That's, yeah, yeah. yeah so that was my favorite. Oh, the, the, oh, yeah. the, the amount of hours I put in that yeah. fucking game, man. Holy yeah. shit. And then we got, I know you remember. Oh, Rainbow, Rainbow Six. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Rainbow Six, absolutely. Yeah. Holy but shit, bro. this yeah. is one I played a lot right here, Battle Arena Toshin Din. I didn't put that oh, in. Oh man, yes. yeah, that was that one's and bad all black ass labels, right there. all mm -hmm. black labels. Yep, yep, nice. yep, yep. I avoided the greatest hits um, labels yeah. if I could, if I could. That's so rad. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure all of my PlayStation games at my mom's house. I need to grab those. I got most of the Genesis ones here. I know. I now I got probably like two more shoe boxes full of fucking. Genesis games that are that are there for sure. Yeah, yeah I mean, um, yeah, I I remember playing um Toshinden a lot when it came out, and I thought I was like, graphics will never get. Better we all were thinking this. that. I know. I oh, know. Yeah. We, we, I remember we, staying we, raw and looking at these idiots yeah. moving like this, and I was like, wow, these yeah. guys, that looks <laughs> yeah. exactly like fucking Stone Cold. We yeah, we have peaked as a species. <laughs> Look at this. Like you can't get better than this. Uh, <laughs> but man. Uh, retro gaming man it's the best so yeah we're gonna have to bring bragging rights back uh there's no crazy really to think about because I, I like i remember having those conversations at school man like it, even when a ps2 camera bouncer was that's my favorite precious two game of all time that's i remember retro the bouncer gaming right there used to look i thought the we thought the bouncer looked fucking amazing when that goddamn game uh first came out and i was like yeah it will it'll never get big, bigger than this this is the best it's ever gonna get and like <laughs> now you look at it it's like man this looks like shit <laughs> yeah you're like oh my god why well, was i like, so excited about oh, this shit <laughs> bro like i remember like when uh a, a, the other day uh oblivion i was telling my wife about it, i was like when oblivion came out they're bragging about what the graphics look like and we're like oh my god this is the most beautiful game i've ever seen in my life and i look <laughs> at it and you're like what the fuck what does everybody look like this, terrible bro? in comparison man yeah bro shout out capable gentleman he was uh, talking about when we were kids yeah duh, play, shout out to Capable gentleman for those uh 3D prints of the GG uh chains. What is that? You're, you're, oh, uh, awesome. Mega Man X. That's what I thought it was. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yes, WrestleMania on the wrap. NES Classic. Let's go. Oh, man. Old school wrestling is the best. Here yeah, Jeremy, is. give me a full screen real quick. Uh -oh, here we go. All right. Let's see. Where are you at? Terminator 2, man. Terminator 2, bro. That Look at this, that. This is one of those rental store boxes that I told you guys yes, about. Yes, yes, That people, yes. people in the rental, rental stores used to cut the original boxes to make those plastic ones yep. because Genesis used to do the, those plastic boxes. And it's so much easier to find Genesis games on the box because they were plastic. But mm -hmm. Nintendo did, did they cardboard. So the rental store, so the kids wouldn't rip those boxes apart, they used to do those little... Yep. Little plastic absolutely box, so. absolutely yeah. hell yeah Mega Man X. that's a classic cool. right there yeah 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 dan we just need to we just need to bring bragging rights back yeah man this, this is it. fun just showing know, stuff is fun. i know it, it is so Chef much fun i know man it's so much fun we got to do this again so what are we doing yeah. the wrestling stream but honestly that's getting closer because I'm really into wrestling right now, Bro, dude. If I would have been here, if I would have been here when the CM Punk stuff dropped for the AEW and all that, just oh, like oh, oh bro. I, dude, I saw wrestling channels that don't ever get a ton of views getting like hundreds of thousands of views just oh, talking yeah. about CM Punk stuff. Uh AEW, I don't know what the hell's wrong with Tony Khan right now. I don't know what he he's really doing. thought he had something, bro. Like he really thought that was gonna bury punk, and now he just embarrassed himself. I was like, yeah, oh, everything really he said was right. It's really bad. It's really bad. Yeah. Punk just I, sat no. there. He waited. He waited for for months and months and months, and they just ran their mouth about him. Yep. And then he, I the have moment, a, you know, he came in there. Go ahead. I got a whole collection of fucking stuff right here. How about this? Who remembers this? Uh oh. The OG. Oh, shit. OG yeah, Kate Upton <laughs> Sports Illustrated. This thing is like in nice. really good condition. How many times you jerk off to that cover? <laughs> um. I don't want to open certain pages. Open? <laughs> <laughs> um, I got this, the OG Pokemon Emerald Guide. This thing oh, is beat to fuck. The strategy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. So I have this. Oh, dude, uh, this I love is, those strategy guides. I, I have no idea those. how much this is worth. I'm get well, it's torn to fuck, but this Dollar. thing was awesome back in the day. How about this? OG Arkham Asylum Game of the Year Edition. I have nice. all the Call of Duties. Arkham City for the PlayStation 3, RE5, but look at this. Modern Warfare. The game is probably still in here. It is. Nice. Nice. And manual. Red Dead and Redemption. Man. Game of the Year edition with Undead Nightmare. Awesome. World at War. Let me see. Games in there. Modern yeah. Warfare 2. Ghost. Hardly played Ghost. Yeah. Uh, look at this. That's Black Ops. Yeah, MW3. there's Black Ops, man. Black, 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 Ops. Ops. Black Ops 2. Black Ops is my favorite. Dude, dude, can we play? Can we play OG? Oh, oh, oh yeah. 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 I know. I oh, it's the fat sure one. It's the fat one. It's the one that has a PS2. The Gen 1. It has a PS2 yeah, Gen embedded fat, inside. My, yeah. My it literally, literally has a, the PS2 hardware inside of it. Yep. This one's got the backwards compatibility for the yeah. PlayStation 2. You know yeah. Ryan's nice. going to get mad because you called your PlayStation 3 games retro, right? So yeah. Yeah. It oh, is what Ryan's it is. Talk about <laughs> Pokemon, <laughs> Pokemon White 2 version yeah, Nintendo DS, with man. the guide and game inside. Nice. I have a whole bunch of football cards, rookie cards. Look at this. Adrian Peterson rookie card. Oh, we have, uh, let's see, what's this one? I got a whole bunch. Marcus Colston. Marcus Colston. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't know you're bringing all this shit. Holographic rookie card. You know what? No, 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 Brandon no, 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 Jeremy left his rookie card. I got a whole bunch of stuff, dude. Jeremy just left to go get more stuff. This yeah, he left his chair. He went to go get his stuff. Yeah. Anthony uh, Gonzalez, shit here. not Tony Gonzalez, like the other, the white Anthony Gonzalez rookie the card. The non-murderer? Yes, no. yes. Whole bunch. Of, this isn't worth much. A Brady Quinn jersey rookie card. How about this? Vince Young, before he, like Vince Young, this is essentially a rookie card, but while he was in his Texas stuff, I got a holographic Texas Vince Young rookie card. Mm. Oh, what is Jeremy doing? Hey, fuck you, Beardo. Fuck you, Beardo. In the box, hey, hey, baby. Oh, holy shit. Wow. In the box. There he goes. All right. Look at here. Look it's at no here. fun in the box, though. 
Yeah, that's why I, I, y'all got all the shit in boxes. I don't got none yeah, of that. I play yeah. my shit. Yeah. All my stuff is out. That's of why boxes. all my shit's in fucking shoe boxes because I play mm-hmm. my shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, no, I've, nice. got, I've got my Super Nintendo. I've got a Super Nintendo like that's not in the box. But yeah, that's badass right there. All right. So go fuck yourself, Beardo. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I'm not done. I got a, <laughs> I got a Reggie Bush, Reggie Bush Reggie rookie, rookie Bush, card. Man. LeRon Landry rookie card. I still I got a rookie card with Reggie Bush in his uh, USC uniform. Matt Liner rookie card. I got another Adrian Peterson rookie card. How about Mario Williams, number one overall Ooh. pick right there? I have a Ooh. whole bunch of cards that I found, man. That's what's up. Yeah. Let's see if there's... Oh, yeah? I have Animal Crossing Wild World. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Oh, yeah. I have an awesome Star Wars Ta-da. screen to show. Hold on. There you go. Everybody's just right. grabbing their shit. Uh, I'm bragging rights. I'm about to uh, end Vernon it. Davis. Vernon Davis rookie card. I'm about okay. to end it. I'm about to end it. I'm about to end it. Go ahead. Give me the full screen. I'm about to end it. Oh, I'll get it. There you go. Dreamcast fishing pole, baby. Let's Holy go. Shit, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The Dreamcast fishing Man. rod. In oh, the now box. he's bringing out all okay. his bragging rights shit. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Let's go. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, oh this is a good I one. Won. This is a good one. A Patrick Patrick Willis rookie card. This ain't Sports Wars, motherfucker. Oh, nice. shit. He's got, he's got Chrono okay. Trigger. Let me guys show yeah. you this. I got a Megacon. This is one of the this most expensive original. things. This is our original. It was Whoa. made by Lucasfilms. Oh shit! For the movie. Oh, that's rad. Oh, that's yeah, rad. and it's uh, signed by the artist who created it. He came to MegaCon with like 200 copies of it, and he's like, "I just figured people would like it, would, would like them." And let me tell you, he sold it for cheap. But I have to get it framed, so it's still like on the. Look there at that! Go. Look at the detail. Hold on. That's rad. I got a Marshawn Lynch rookie card. <laughs> This is the best one. This is the best rookie card I got. A Jamarcus Russell rookie card. <laughs> Fucking Number Jamarcus one draft Russell, dude. man. All right. And then I just want to show something I picked up the other day. Uh, if you appreciate it, you'll appreciate it, okay? If you appreciate it, you'll give me full screen, all right? Yep. Those that, those that are going to appreciate it are going to appreciate it, okay? You got to put a poll in the chat. Oh hell Holy yeah! Shit, bro. Yeah, Nintendo, power. Nintendo yeah. power, bro. Nintendo power. Um, Th- right does there. it have? Does it have the posters? Yeah, they have the original posters and everything. They're in great nice. condition. They're in great condition. Holy shit! Um, look at this. Look what! Look what the uh, that uh, got beep beep on there for Krista. But you got the NES <laughs> Batman Returns. Okay, look at there. Nice. Look cool. at that look. Very look cool. how good. Look, that's that's man. I love I love old school video game awesome magazines. Stuff. Um, check yeah. it out. Check it out. Check it out. Oh nice. snap! Full screen. Full wow. screen. Uh, step if you can. Yeah. I remember that. Who's one yawning? Right. <laughs> Who yawned? <laughs> oh my god! Humiliation. Yeah, dude. Pretty legit. Yeah. That is awesome. That is sexy. That is so awesome. I'm not look at this. Though. Look at this. Full screen me. Look how good this. Look at look at the look at this. Look how good the condition of this is. Oh God! When Jeremy That's was standing, amazing, on, I was like, "What the man. fuck is he doing?" No <laughs> one ever jerked off to that. He's whipping his penis out. Oh no! Great. Great. <laughs> Why are the pages all sticky? Awesome stuff. No, they're man. perfect. Sticky. Look pages. at that. It's even got the. It's even got the little mail-in letter on it. Um, Where's the poster? Try try to find the poster. Oh, what, the what was the poster here. for this? Looney for Tunes. This it's Looney Tunes. Nice. <laughs> it's right here. Yeah, that's the poster right there. It's the Looney awesome. Tunes poster. Awesome stuff. Yeah, they, they used to come folded. Well, I mean, <laughs> speaking of Las Vegas, if you want to blow me up, speaking of Vegas, this is in the, uh, if you want of to course, watch. if you want to blow me up. Oh. Oh, wait, okay. <laughs> did somebody did someone blow Beardo? Did somebody took that out and said, Hell "If you want to yeah. blow me," and Beardo yeah. said, oh, "Oh, it expands. Hold on, it expands. We're not done here. Oh, the full expansion. 
Oh, nice. <laughs> Las oh, okay. Vegas. Okay. Okay. Respect. I like how Beardo's first take when we're on a gaming show is pull out a Sports Illustrated, and he's like, "Look at this." Come on, <laughs> look at it. Pages. Look at I'm it. So excited. Yeah. Hi, Jay. Why don't you show cool retro things? I'm gonna win. You guys are on amateur hour. I'll just let y'all have your fun. Oh! oh! We'll just show them up, Jay. Golden amateur now. hour. Whip it out, Jay. <laughs> what do you want to see? I don't know. Whip out something. Show them off. Put it on the table. Let everybody see. Whip it out. Whip it out. Excuse me while I whip this out. Literally the he only brought thing his bone. Have... Is that the whale bone? What's that? Oh, what the fuck? What is that? Oh my god. No, it's fucking whale bone, bro. That ain't even right. You can't do that twice. Why do you have a big whale bone? <laughs> the whale, the whale bone is here. The whale bone is here. Holy crap. Um, all right. Well, I did. Uh, so, this is. Uh, so, they did a re release of these a few years ago. All right. But this is the original, okay? This is the original Jay, 1996 cool version, okay? That's the original Turbo <laughs> Man. Nah, okay? I prefer nice. Turbo Man. Yeah, that, see, that pisses me off. I want that, that so bad. That's the original one from the uh, when the movie released. So that's not the re-release. The re-release is out there, but this, this is the OG right here, baby. Turbo man. That's, good. That's a good find. Nobody no, wants booster. Um, all right, here we go. Put that That's cookie a, that's down. a good find. Jay, go yeah. get something cool and show us. Uh, yeah, Jay. Yeah, Jay. Come on, Jay's Jay. Got I don't really he, have. He literally said it was amateur hour because he's obviously got something. <laughs> I think he's like, he <laughs> had nothing. John Campion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to end the poll. Jeremy won. Yeah. yeah fuck you, oh man. no, hold on. Don't end it. I'll be right back. Don't end it. Beardo, your yeah. last place behind Don't end me. It. Yeah, that's gay. I'll be right back. You're <laughs> <laughs> the last yeah. place behind me. Oh man. This, this is, is the only thing fun. I have right now are like 40k. Oh like, no, models, Jeremy's revenge. And then a bunch of ice and stuff. I win. Is legit. I oh, literally have like my Dokuman cards and I got my ice in right here. Those are pity votes. Shut up. It looks like well listen, if Ripple likes me, then you know. Uh, man, I'm sorry. I firmly believe that if um, it, I, I mean, I would have no idea how much it would cost. But like, I've always talked about like uh, one day I plan on trying to crowdfund something to do like a big project. I think we can, I think a, a Geeks and Gamers retro store where we live stream 24 hours a day, or at least like live stream at, at whenever the store is open. There's always a live stream going on, and we're obviously doing other stuff going and happening. I think it could be profitable. I think it could be huge. I think hey, what's your profile I, I love the idea and make it a retro store hangout, not just like a store, but like a hangout. Yeah, it's be like, like almost a, like a yeah, like yeah. Well, yeah. You gotta be. It has to be, be like a cafe things. or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want, I want to, I want to do that. Uh, Jeremy wants to run Pawn Star. Says Hayden Wayne. Absolutely, <laughs> dude. I would turn it into like a YouTube, like internet kind of show. Um, but yeah, well, like if you if you had like a place like that, and you have like a area. You set up like retro games that you can play against each other or mm -hmm. like sit down and play, you know, and stuff like that. And like, oh, yeah, bro, you could make it. Dude, I would be like, that. dude, could you imagine we do like this and we got a store and then I'm like some guy comes in and he's got like this obscure fucking game. And I'm like, ah, I'm going to have to call in a buddy. Um, if you don't mind, if you just hang tight and I walk up with Mark the Cyborg and Mark's yeah. like. And then talks. Mark talks for like the next Hi, 25 the fucking hours yeah. about all the lore behind it. And then we're like. And then the edited version comes out, and Mark's like, "Yeah, sure." And he says like three words, and then. We're like, I'm the <laughs> but I'm sitting there for like, I'm just sitting there going, "Shut the fuck up, Mark." Okay, shut the fuck yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, so <laughs> here we go. Now Jay's gonna show off some of his stuff. Ain't no one got a nine nine autograph Alpha Core. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually uh, just for you. Well, ain't no one got that. That's well, mint. Not a whole lot of no, not a whole lot of those around. So. <laughs> well, that that's mint. Uh, also, an original. I gotta be careful. I'll break it. Uh, Don't break it. Let's see, original Voltron. The Voltron. Hell yeah, that's yeah. Awesome. nice. Very Hell nice. Yeah. I Hell can't. Yeah. Uh, it's all put together. Yeah, from way back. Where is the Dan Vasquez? And then the uh, 
this will just this just wins just because like it's just uh let me unwrap it here. I love how he declared it the winner. <laughs> He's like, the this is just one. Very sorry. first Luke Skywalker action. Yeah, that's figure. pretty cool. Yeah. That is cool. In the that package. Is that's it insane. should be in a box, wow. but uh Yeah, that's crazy. There it is. Hmm. That the green is screen crazy. is making holes on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, absolutely there you go i gotta awesome. wrap it back up that is awesome but jay your presentation wasn't good you need to I hype know. it up yeah we gotta work on that jay yeah I, like, when you when you already I know can make you're an a winner old you don't have to hype nothing up <laughs> <laughs> when you're already winning at life it's just no need to like <laughs> there you go oh man all right we gotta read some super chats we don't me, really me, know. Me, like, we've got, a, we, we've got, yeah, Beardo, you got to figure it out. Oh, he's, still, he's got something he wants to show. Go ahead, Thank Beardo. Thank you, chat. Thank you, chat. I've go been ahead, showing it. I've been okay. showing it. Okay, let's go. Where are we at? Let me full screen Beardo. I've been showing it. You're damn right. The silver PlayStation 2. Because nobody I, knew what the fuck that was until you pulled it. I, yeah, I played the OG PS2 so much, the disc reader burnt out, and I had to get another one. So what you're saying is, is you never got pussy, so you just play video games. Yeah, you never got pussy when I was fucking eight. When I was eight years old. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. That's I got the silver GameCube with the Game Boy player at the very Dude, bottom. this is actually huge. Oh, wow. This is actually really, a really rare find. I Literally, you, you had to have a special disc that, that, you, that you play in it. Sell it to me. You had to have a special disc, and then you can play Game Boy games in the bottom. Damn. I believe it was I'll give you actual $10. Game Boy games, Game Boy Colors, and Game Boy Advanced. Hell yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. That is that awesome. A rare find. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah I kind of respect, respect you right now, Beardo. Just That's a little cute. bit. It doesn't happen often, so. Uh-oh. What's Jay got? <laughs> I don't out. need to show anything else. <laughs> pretty much one. <laughs> show yourself. <laughs> show yourself. <laughs> all right, Beardo, Super Chats are all jacked up, so I don't know exactly what we're I'm, like. I, I'm going to try my best here. <laughs> yeah, let's just have fun with it. Does anybody need to leave? We're almost at the three-hour mark, so if anybody needs to leave, please let me know. Dan, I know it's like five hours past your bedtime. That's okay. So. I'm hyped up. <sighs> Cool. Elite cool. Neo for a five dollars says, "Hey Ryan, if you ever travel to Wales, you should visit the city of. I'm not going to pronounce this right. Uh, Lawn Fair, Wing a Dingy, D Dilly Willy, Go Gooch. Uh, thank you for Elite Neo for the five dollars. Uh, Tonberry really. Master for the twenty five dollars says, "Hi Beardo, how you doing? Uh, the Milkman for ten months. I think Dan really blew Danky's uh, back out, and that's why he drew him as a horse. Congratulations, Dan. Thank you." All right. <laughs> Warlock for a $200 in a different currency says Woo! the lore behind 36 is somewhat awesome. Uh, is somewhat some awesome dude uh, sent a super chat daring Irudai to roll for his peen size to get a benefit or to have it go to the DM. He rolled 36 out of 100 and was really proud and said the famous word better than IRL. Uh, thank you for the 200. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> Jerry's trying to get Dan to leave and he's just oblivious. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you think Jer if you think Jeremy would be kind to me to not tell me just right in my face to believe, you're the one, the one oblivious. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. Uh, yeah, I don't thing. have a like I, I there is nobody that I stream with consistently that I don't have the type of like friendship with where I just don't go fuck themselves. It doesn't you think really matter. Jeremy will have tact to <laughs> not, tell not, people to leave. Not at all. <laughs> Notice Gary didn't show back up in the chat after I hung up on him. Let me call him back. Let me ask him if he's mad. Watch this. Ministry of Wrong Thing for a $5. I, I refuse to believe it's X-Ray Girl's birthday. Everyone knows Asian chicks don't age. Okay. What's that? <laughs> Who are you calling? Fuck if I know. You're calling Gary. <laughs> I'm going to ask if he's mad at me for hanging up on him. Oh, if he doesn't man. answer, he's it's going to add answer. to it. It's going to add to it. Come on, Gary. Nope, he's not kidding. He's probably watching the fucking asshole. <laughs> what time is it? It's only not. It's only ten o'clock central. Fuck out of here, Gary. Yeah, but he's nine o'clock. Late. 
<laughs> you totally waking me. No, I'm watching Fallout. Oh, well, 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 there was the chat was a little concerned that you might be mad at me for hanging up on you. So I just wanted to call and apologize, Gary. I'm sorry. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> how you doing, buddy? We just want to see how you're doing. Oh, is it? Are you guys still live? Hey, you get more than fifty viewers. <laughs> yeah, we're still live. Yes. <laughs> Tell him to stop posting oh. midget porn on Twitter. <laughs> I was trying to get over there. <laughs> Gary had no idea we were live. I probably should have fucking warned you. Yes, you're live and on speaker. Oh, man. Woo. I almost dropped a Melanie Mac. <laughs> oh, oh, man. No, I just want to call fuck with you. So. Fuck you. <laughs> Bye. He hung up on me. <laughs> <laughs> Revenge. <laughs> oh, shit. That was good. That was Savage good. talk for five. The drop in viewers was the cult of Sevi com uh, committing seppuku uh, to raise Savuthu. Uh, thanks. I don't know. I'm scared to leave this with Beardo and Jay, but I'll be right back. Uh, Michaela Ish for $36. Hail to tonight's main event. I'm super excited that Sevi is here representing Geeks and Gamers Tabletop. Uh, hail Epic Mike. Hate that I missed out on Vegas, but there's always Megacon 2025. Hashtag down with the Fed. Hashtag cult of Sevi rise up. Yeah. Uh, Dean H for a 24. Uh, hey, hey, 199. Officially a member for two years. Uh, two years now, been a good two years. Keep it up, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Dean H, for the 24 months. And his avatar is uh, Dan Vask. Uh, Zach nice. Futches for a $5. Here's my question. Have any of you played the Fallout games? Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Say Lloyd Dream for a $10. Vegas, yeah. Uh, Say Lloyd Dream for a $10. Donkey Kong Country 2 for the Super Nintendo is the best game ever. It's a great game. Well, it's pretty good. Speaking of Fallout, I forgot to show you something. Go ahead, Beardo. Oh, here we go. Dr. Quagsire for $10. I heard Mahler, and, uh, I heard Mahler after ads and Gary praised what they saw. Then after dissecting the show, they slowly were giving up on it. I feel Mike is in a there's nothing good on anything possible is great arc. Yeah, I never said the show was great. I wouldn't say the show was great. I said it was good. And I'm also trying not to spoil anything for people that have only seen one episode. Because if I want to get into what I don't like about the show, it's going to be spoilers, and I don't want to um, do that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Dan walked oh, back in. He's got a fat boy. Which guys are saying. He's got a fat he's boy. So slow. Dun, dun, hey, he's got a little fat boy. Listen, listen, listen. I hear nothing. I hear it. I heard That's it. nice. I heard yeah. it. That's awesome. And inside... I'm There's deaf. a bunch of Fallout games. Hell yeah. How many of them? Which ones are there? That's awesome. Uh, all I'm of them. One, up, two, Tactics, three, four. All of them up to Fallout 4. Okay, nice. yeah. It's Hell called yeah. Fallout Anthology Collection. Oh, they got nice. New Vegas Ultimate Edition, too. New That's Vegas awesome. is legit. Wow. Yeah. Dan. Yes. Dan, when are you going to, if you, uh, let's get you to uh, America and me and you. Are just going to start a retro store that's a big hangout for all the gamers to come to in Orlando, Florida. You down with that? Streaming it 24 hours. Well, at least as long, I'd say as long as it's as open. Long like, as the, the yeah, store business is open. hours. And we can get, mm. uh, Ripa can help fund it. So he's got a few dollars. Just a few. I think that'll work. Uh, Magna Defender for a 10. Yeah. It says at the panel, Jake have can you just play Zelda 2 over and over again? <laughs> I'll beat it too. You can, people can stream Maybe. from the store. Like, we can have little studios for people to stream from yeah, the store. let's do it. Either, yeah. Could we... I don't know how much this is going to cost, man. I really have no idea how this is going to cost. Bro. But, I mean, you know, there's ways of working it out so you can make it worth your while. I mean, you, you know... I know... I, depending on your, like, building, I know a guy that runs, like, a shop, and he has rooms that are set up for streaming... And like ones of one of them's for D and D, one of them's for like Warhammer. So you could potentially get people to come in there and like do stream games and things like that. I mean, there's always ways of doing stuff, you know. Yeah, it's a lot of logistics though. And you still haven't even done the wrestling stream. Fuck off. We'll do it from there. If you do the no, yeah. like seriously, so I, I was, I, 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 I was in, I was, I was in one of these retro stores a couple of years ago, and like I was, I was in there by myself, just you know checking out games and shit, and there was. 
they had like old school WCW on like one of the TVs and oh, it created shit. like this discussion and it became like this discussion and turned to a, like a debate of like old school wrestling. And I'm going, this is my heaven. Yeah. Like there's retro games and there's a, there's an old school wrestling debate going on. This is my yeah. heaven right here. You know what I mean? So, all right, Beardo, go ahead, buddy. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. I, I would never, okay. I would never, I would like never want to, yeah, okay. I would never want to interrupt you. So I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Well, Good to know. Okay. You said, but before. No, that's okay. Go ahead. Oh, God. Magna Defender for oh, a 10. Oh, Panel, have you ever that. seen zero punctuation? <laughs> I used to follow Yahtzee for years. That changed when he made a game, uh, when he made a game convention video uh, touting his N95 in 2023, no less. Yeah, that alone made me unsub. Cool. Uh, Disco <laughs> Cobra for a $20 retro gaming store with a, with a, with a stripe club, I think he means a strip club, uh, and bar attachment section, section it off for the miners and wholesome folks. Might even be able to have spots with gaming and, and lap dances. Have a have a hard on while trying to play your favorite games. Holy shit, bro. <laughs> Slow down a little bit there, buddy. Yeah. Slow I, down. I think that'd be a good time. JW. Uh, JW, maybe this is a member message. The PS5 has basically been a failure at this point. I disagree. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I just highlighted that for a topic earlier. Uh, Valiant Renegade for 1999 says, OMG, who is still watching this shit? Hail the 199 and even Beardo. Even Beardo. Look even at that. Beardo. How nice. Look at that. Beardo, you got a nice even compliment, Beardo. buddy. You know Beardo's what? Here. You know what? There, buddy. There you go. Oh, thanks. I feel, so, I feel so much better now. Yeah, you're running the show now. Um. Hephaestus rising for a one month. Fallout Logic episode one. A Vault thirty three has no genetic diversity. Looks around. I don't know about that. Episode two. Let's stop here so I can uh, conveniently die and you get my armor. Once again, I'm not saying stuff because I'm trying not to spoil the show for people that haven't seen it. So I seen one thing that Michael Rappaport dies. Michael Rappaport dies, and that was that was that was pretty funny. Spoiling that, yeah, that's a huge spoiler too. So yeah, yeah. well, fuck Michael Rappaport. Orange Gonton for a one nine nine Beardo. I had Chipotle. You know what that means? What hot caca? Uh, and Nakmamon for ten dollars. Craig has never seen Unforgiven, but he has seen the feminist western Bad Girls with Drew Barrymore. He yelled, "You go, Bad Girls!" all five times he saw it in theaters. What a sick commie degenerate! Yeah, that's. Disgraceful. Uh, Jason Mott for a 36. Sevi is so hot. Thank you for bringing her on. Forgive me if I simp, but I am joining the hashtag cult of Sevi. <laughs> there you go. Joseph, blow me, 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 Apparently, apparently it's been a while. Joseph A for 10 months. She's going to fall again. Damn. Damn. Adam Magus for eight months. Beardo, get the fuck out of here. The Lord of the Rings movies are the goats. They're fifth. I have never said that I don't like them, okay? They're fan-fucking-tastic. They're great. I just have a hard time admitting that there is such thing as a perfect fucking 10. Because what if something comes around that's better than it? That is my logic. Have Lord, of the Rings, Lord of the Rings is fucking you can incredible. Have perfect things. You can have but multiple then what are we going to do? Are we going to go above a 10? We're going to do a 10.1? No, you don't, go, you don't have to put it above a the other one. You just say, hey. It's attained the same level of perfection as Lord okay, of the Okay, so if they're, if they're okay, both the tens, is, and then we have a discussion. Let's say that there's two different IPs no. that are that we consider perfect, oh, and then we say broken. which one is better. Then no, we no, have no, to open a whole like, other okay, discussion. So then what do you give Lord of the Rings? Like, Fellowship or the Trilogy? The Trilogy. The Trilogy? I don't know. It's probably like a 9.6, 9.7. So then what happens if something comes along that's better than that? Then you give it a 9.7. So then what happens if something comes along that's better than that? Then you give it a 97.5. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It starts adding fucking decimals. So nine point, nine so dumb. I mean, what are we, what are point, we doing, man? Going, what are we at doing? At some point, you're going to run out of numbers, and you're either going to have to stop at 9.999999, or you're going to have to give a 10. Okay, Danky, can you please clip out Jeremy saying 9999 right now? <laughs> you're probably going to clip me saying it. Probably. Anyway, uh, <laughs> right there. Eric K for a 32 months says you could have as many tens as needed, just like you can have as many threes as you date, Beardo. 
Oh, God. Damn. <laughs> That's pretty fucking good, bro. Yeah, they, <laughs> thanks, Eric. Spent all weekend hanging out with Eric and Ian. Nothing but nice things to say about me then. One got him, bro. Wow. Just, the burn. Just He's already yeah. dead. Just stop. No, but like, seriously, let's say you have, um, can we all agree that if, if there's a scenario in our lifetimes where something is going to be considered on par with Lord of the Rings, then that's a very rare thing. Okay? Yeah, right. So if Lord of the Rings is a 10, that the next thing that could come along that is considered widely a 10, that's going to be very rare. That's what I'm saying. It sets the the two or the three things apart from everything else. It kind of puts them in that pedestal. And then that's where the fan debate, like, well, okay, of the, the three or four tens that exist, what's the best? That's where the fan debate comes into it. But at least you have that, that peak of something reaches that point. And right now, generally speaking, I think that, Lord of the Rings is the most widely considered perfect trilogy. Like yeah. everybody loves the o, o, uh, the OT. Everybody loves uh, the Dark Knight trilogy. But everybody will say like, "Well, the Dark Knight Rises falls off." Or some, a lot of people say Return of the Jedi doesn't stick the landing. No one says that about Return of the King. So it's kind of the only who trilogy says that Jedi doesn't stick the landing. A lot of people don't like Jedi. I love Return that of is the Jedi. that is fucking mind blowing to me. Yeah, a lot of people hate the it's the, the, Ewoks. the Ewoks. Yeah, the Ewoks. Yeah. Well, the e okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. Um, it's the Ewoks that kind of killed it. That's so, never so, minded so, them, but I can understand people who get annoyed. I mean, personally, I also think that like the Toy Story trilogy, because I don't acknowledge there's a fourth one. No, um, but no, I, the right. Toy Story trilogy I, is. I think that's perfect. a perfect trilogy. I like, agree that, with that. That's a perfect I love trilogy. Fourth one sucks. Yeah, the fourth one's it's awful. It's ass. It's yeah. bullshit. It's a um, it should have never ass. existed. So, but Black assholes. Yep. Yeah, but like to to me, those are the the two most widely considered trilogies that everybody will say is a not everybody obviously, but the majority of people will say like those are you know ten trilogy. Those are the two tens out there. Okay, well then you go okay. Well, which one's better? Well, I think that it's pretty easy to say Lord of the Rings is the better of the two. That's just an easy discussion to have. Um. But yeah, that's a, so you're not going to have a lot of top tier stuff out there. So I, I think that it's acceptable to have tens, one thousand percent. Yeah, Beardo. BS Warren for a one nine nine. Beardo thinks Zombie Unicorn is a perfect ten. Um, <laughs> yeah. Not until she not, not until she lets me fix her. I can fix her. <laughs> Do retro for a five dollars. Xbox 360 will be 20 years old next year. That's an equivalent to the SNES in 2010. 360 is a retro console. That hurts. Uh -huh. Man, that hurts. Wow. That hurts 20 so bad. years? Really? Yeah. That's oh wild. my God. Yeah. yeah. And you know what I discovered the other day? Yeah. Di Diablo 2 is as. No, no. Diablo 3 is as old now as Diablo 2 was when Diablo 3 was released. Get the fuck out of here, man. Dude, I'm, oh, I, no, you leave. just made me feel Family. old. Yeah. Yeah. Well, how about know. this? How about this? Arkham Knight turns 10 years old next year. Oh, Arkham God. Knight turns 10 oh, next year. Oh, that's crazy. It felt it like it old. just came so, out. The Xbox 360 is... Tw no, it's not. It's not 20 years old, is it? I'm trying to Google. Uh, oh, 05? Oh, that's, six. That seems yeah, soon. Oh, six. 360 that, that seems was soon. the first one of that... First one right. of that generation. Right. It came out a year or two before PlayStation 3 yeah. did. 2006, right? It had to have been 06 or 07. 07. A lot of people in oh, chat. So some people say The original model came out in 2005. Oh the original model God. dropped in 2005. Man. Yep. So some, next people get, yeah, some, some people get depressed with like a lot of shit going on in the world. I get depressed wow. when video game systems turn 20 years old and I feel yeah. fucking old <laughs> as hell, dude. That's wild. God, I feel old. Yeah, Disco man. Cobra for a 20. Renting a movie theater, huh? Roundabout, what's the cost of doing something like that? Would it be promoted by the theater for more viewers? Giving me an idea here. I want to see The Matrix and The Fast and the Furious in theaters. Well, Spider-Man, all the Spider-Man movies are in theaters right now. Well, mm -hmm. at least... Uh, Toby. Like, yeah, t Toby, yeah. Th they're going yeah. through them. So, like, this week is Spider-Man. Next week is going to be Spider-Man 2. And Which then... are kind of the only Spider-Man movies, to be fair. For Toby? Just in general. I, yeah, Spider Man Three is like kind of like a guilty pleasure of mine. Like I know it sucks, but I still watch it. And I don't can enjoy it. it. I, I can enjoy it. it one time, and it was yeah. when it came out in theaters. I've never rewatched it. 
um, because I was so disappointed by it. But I think I'll probably have fun. I think I'll probably like it a lot now because I, I love Spider Man one and two. It's like it's more Toby. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's more yeah. Toby, and it's interesting yeah. to see Harry Osborn's arc throughout the all three movies. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, Jeremy. This year, next year, turns 35. Jesus Christ. I'm going to die soon, dude. He's just doing this on purpose now. I'm just old. (laughs) Yeah, he's just trying to make us all feel old. Let's find stuff that turns 20 years old. No, Jay, you need to stay here. Where are you going, Jay? He wants to go to bed. I'm going to bed. I'm going to go to bed. No, you can't go to bed. Darth Racer for 10. Star Wars original trilogy is a 10 out of 10. So is the Lord of the Rings trilogy. I, I like to throw the OT up there, too, with Lord of the Rings. I enjoy all of them. A lot. Congratulations. Yep. Dude, when Beardo was doing the, the raffles, <laughs> he brought up the Batman. Because <laughs> it was a, it was like a, it was a, it was a it was statue. A, it was or a Pattinson 1-6 yeah. scale hot toy. Yeah. <laughs> And Beard did a great job uh, at, at the meetup, but he, he brought up the Pattinson hot toy. He goes, and and you said, like, the Batman is better than the Dark Knight Rises, and the whole place booed the living fuck out of him, dude. Like, they were like, boo! And I was like, hey, you don't want it? I'll keep it. I'll keep the hot toy if you don't want it. And they're like, no, 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 I want it. I want it. I want it. You know, like, in Jingle All the Way when they bring up Booster and everybody starts booing and throwing shit? That's how everybody was a Beardo when he said that. They booed oh, the fuck shit, out of bro. Him. That's fucking great, though. <laughs> I don't know if anybody has video of that. I, I know we do, and I know we're working on getting all that edited down. Uh, there's Valiantes who's uh, who's uh, editing our, our uh, footage together right now, but uh, it's so good. Super Duck for a 199. YouTube is booting me. <sighs> they booted a lot of people. They booted a lot of people. Who's going to run Geeks and Gamers uh, when you guys uh, get old? Well, apparently I'm old as fuck right now with all these video game systems turning <laughs> 20 and 30 years old. Um but um, I don't know. Um, Who's in your will it. to get geeks? I'll take it. And I'll, I'll hire John Marrow to read Super Chat. Probably <laughs> Ryan. Probably <laughs> Ryan. I no, Ryan's not going to be alive much longer. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's just not. I mean, I don't know. Krista. Krista and Steph will probably end. And Beardo's not old, even though he looks like he's 52. He's not that old, actually. So Thank you. Thank you. No yeah. offense. Yeah, no offense. No offense. So. <laughs> Fear the Tardo for a five dollars. Tardo want to wish happy birthday to sex paid girl Eric Gay and Jay's bestie Gina Crunchy Taco. Hope have more. Tardo love all. Rock it in. Yay. Good lord. <laughs> Scrib I steak for a ten. Hail Tuesday's main event. I meant to ask this last week at the at the morning show. But Jay, as a teacher, have you ever heard of the um, Del-, Del Toro series? And Dan, have you ever heard music from the Xenoblade series? No. Go ahead. Uh, no, but I heard of Xenoblade. Xenoblade Chronicles and all that? Good, that- good things about it, yeah. I heard good things about the series. Anima Chains for a five. The stream has been fine on my end the whole time. I think the numbers are just wrong on viewers, but I don't know. I suspected that because the chat kept on normally. Yeah, it, it was just yeah. a glitch in the YouTube side, but they've they've yeah. acknowledged it, like Team YouTube and everything's acknowledged it. Okay. Uh, Blabs the Tower Tard for a five dollars. What's worse, Beardo's Spider Man Two takes his rating scale or his hairline? Rating uh, scale. I like probably pickles, violence, scale. and te- and tentacles. Yay. Probably, probably the rating scale. Nine, 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 I can't stop fucking watching it, Danky. Holy shit. Oh my god. I was like, I gotta leave. I own a company. I could be I could be running a company right now. Again, shout out to one eight hundred Danky. You guys should be following one eight hundred Danky. Shout out. He's awesome. Uh Drunken Emerald Arrow with that one nine nine that we uh that we covered earlier. Thank you for the one hundred and ninety nine dollar super chat. Hayden for a thirty six. Rudai showed up in the chat and now there's only twenty something of us here <laughs> yapping up a storm. <laughs> We're the true fans. Welcome to Tuesday night's main event, Seven. 
Uh, Dent mm-hmm. Masterson for a five dollars. Chris Gore, shout out. Yes, shout out to Chris Gore. Yep, yep. Warren, Warren Smith for a fifteen months. I remember when Geeks and Gamers channel would only get thirty viewers on a live stream. Last time was April two thousand twenty four. Hail one <laughs> TJ for a ten. I got unsubscribed and am a and am a damn member. What the fuck? I don't know. YouTube's gonna YouTube. Rudai for a fifty. Mm-hmm. I sent my agents to stop you from replacing me with Sevi. Enjoy your low viewer count, boys. I'll return your viewers when my seat is guaranteed. <laughs> Nobody's guaranteeing I... you anything. Like, fuck <laughs> up, Rudai. Like, Thanks for that uh, 50, Rudai. You can barely make a Get fucking the stream. Get for Rudai. That might, be the, that might be the worst $50 you've ever spent. <laughs> Piece of utter destruction for a 199. Do you guys like Crash Bandicoot? Crash is cool. Yeah, like absolutely. Crash. absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. I like Crash Team Racing. Where would it go? What? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for my outburst. I couldn't help it. <laughs> Fear the Tardo for another 10. Tardo like when Uncle Rai Rai and Jared Lee on stream. Be like Dottie and McGee Osmond because Jared Lee little bit comfy and Uncle Rai Rai little bit rocket road. Lock it in. Yay. <laughs> Thank you for the Yay. 10, Tardo. Uh, Sword Saint for a 199 says nothing. Thank you. Lord uh, Lord Plagueis for a 199 says nothing. Todd Berry Master for a 25. Day 24 of YouTube Apocalypse. Our viewer numbers dwindling. We search for a new source of camel to harvest hump for water. Uh, thank you for the 25. Lee Kramer for a 199 says nothing. TJ for another 10. YouTube won't let me resubscribe to the channel even though I'm a member. What the fuck? Well, hopefully yeah, it's fixed by it should now. should be fixed now. Drunken Emerald for a 26 month recommitment. Beardo was so reserved during the raffle. Eventually, he will finally break out of his shell. Yeah, yeah. I was shy. I was shy up there. Uh, Raging Rhino for an $8. Hey, uh, hey guys, are you, are any of you going to be at the LA Comic Con in October? I'm going to be there. Would be awesome to say good day in person. Can't wait. I, I think I'm going to be in Pensacola for a while. I've been doing so much traveling lately and uh, I've got to get back on the grind on making videos and staying consistent on live streams with all the Cobra Cast stuff and the Geeks and Gamer stuff. So I don't anticipate traveling a lot for the next few months and uh, we'll have to see what the rest of the year looks like. But that doesn't mean G&G won't have a presence in some capacity. I know like I think Steph, you're going to try to be at the, the are you going to try to be Dallas. at Dallas? Yeah. Yep, I'll be in uh, Dallas. You're going to be mm-hmm. selling merch if I get Probably. you some. Yes, I can right. sell merch. Are you going to yeah. be in merch? Obviously, merch. Are you guys going to be in Dallas, Jeremy? No. No? Mm-mm. I'm not, I'm uh, not are you planning on it. Dallas, I don't know. If Jeremy was going to go, I'll, I was definitely going to go. I'll, 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 I'll get you out there if you want to go represent. Hello. I will we'll be in Dallas. I will be in Dallas. Go. You do? Sebi? Yes, yes, oh, I am going to go to Dallas. Go. All right, cool. Jay, you going? Nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. nah, nah, man, you going? I'm sleepy, man. I'm trying sure. to, trying to stay. You eating Jay, Jay say he's like, I just want to go to bed. Oh, he's yeah. not even talking about the future anymore. <laughs> about how can I get off this stream right now? What are you eating, Ripa? What are you eating? I, I was Pop streaming one. all this. Is my is it good? Stream. Oh yeah, delicious. Is it salted hey, you know and what? buttered? Yep. Jay, you, you since you, yeah, you were on daily today. Uh, Beardo can go fuck himself, but you did daily today, so I'll uh, you can get out of here. Nice sleepy Jay. Night. Go subscribe to Drunk Freaky. Hey, on. I don't want to end the stream by accident. You're frozen. Yeah, you're frozen. Froze himself. <laughs> oh, oh my god, that's go get me clipped. <laughs> but, oh yes, clip that face. <laughs> you get to share another one of Jay's faces and make it go viral on Twitter. I'm what the so fuck are we done? Right <laughs> hey, a- uh, the capable gentleman says, "Can I go? You want to go to Dallas too?" Uh, yes. Go. You go. Shout out to the capable gentleman. He's the reason we have the G and G unit chains. All right. Yeah. He's the reason. He didn't give me one. Mine is special. Oh, those are gorgeous. Mm. Here we go. Unit. Sick. Pretty awesome. All right. Hurry up, Biro. Right. And Akmaman for 13 months says, I wish Craig wouldn't leave when I'm in the middle of trolling him on, on Streamlabs. <laughs> no one's going to let the Jake Gyllenhaal, no one's going to get the Jake Gyllenhaal reference. Oh, okay. Let me get a couple of these Streamlabs real quick because you guys have sent a lot on Streamlabs and I apologize for not getting this. I don't sooner. think I've it's been, it's been, right it's been a, Yeah, it's been a wild night. So let's see. We got Spirian for 25 says nothing. Nothing. Omak for 50 says, uh, 
So how would you guys feel about a Resident Evil as an XCOM game? You might want to look at Vulture's Scavengers of uh, Death on Steam if that sounds like a good time. I'll have to look mm -hmm. into that. Vulture's, Vulture's Scavengers. Scavengers of Death on Steam. I'm going to write that. I'm yeah, write why that not? Down. I think by XCOM, he means those uh, strategy turn-based RPGs, mm. you know? Like uh, Final Fantasy Tactics. Mm -hmm. that would I think that would cool. be cool as hell, actually. Yeah. I think that would be pretty cool. Um, I mean, I I, uh, I haven't played a lot. Like, I've played some of the more recent Resident Evil games, but not many of them. I mean, Resident Evil 4 was the last time I was heavily into Resident Evil. Um, I have not played the, the remaster or whatever the hell it's called. Um, I know Beardo loved it. I know Good that, time. Uh, Good time. you know, Ripa's favorite game series is Red is Resident Evil. Yep. Sure One is. of mine as well. So awesome. But you haven't Dude. played. Have you played? Have, when's the last time you played any of the more recent ones, Ripper? <laughs> Boy, me and my, me and my actually Brandon actually me and Brandon went through. That had to be maybe two, three years ago, maybe even longer than that. When we went through six, uh, all four campaigns. Damn, I, I, I'm just not a fan of remakes and shit. So that's the only reason why I haven't. Have you tried? Them the two remake i'm just no I, i'm not i don't doubt that it's good but I'm, I'm just not like i'm not stoked enough to replay a fucking game like other people are mm. like, I, I just I, that's never been my thing so that's why i haven't got into that mm. so yeah that's good it's a good time. um we've got i don't care what anybody says i love resident evil 5. I don't give a fuck. Me and me and Jeremy argued five yeah. and six uh, at one of the first Tuesday nights. <laughs> no, 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 episode. it was four. It was four and five. Four and five. Oh, it was four and five. Okay, yeah. Because I was yeah. saying, yeah, you're right. You're right. It's yeah. four, it four, it four, four, four or five. It was four or five. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Damn. Dude, I love Resident Evil 5. I love 5 too. I the fucking co love op it. mode is amazing. I fucking love 5. The reason I have, I have a the fucking with five receipt is in here. The reason I have a problem with 5 <laughs> is because I don't think that we need to put racist games out there. And <laughs> <laughs> Dude, and it was already like. Uh, uh, I think it was IGN that was talking yes. gay shit about, about make, yes. remaking the Resident Evil 5. Like but back in the day, yeah. they yeah, already yeah. did a bunch of concept conceptions uh, uh, doing like Asian people and random Mexicans in, in, a, in, in an African tribe. It's like, what are those people doing here? So you yeah. can tell that they were already <laughs> stepping on eggs. Yep. It's so ridiculous, man. Day. It's ridiculous. I want everybody to play Mad World on the Wii. I don't know if Mad World has been released anywhere else, though. Chat, Mad World, the Sega game that was on the Nintendo Wii, which is phenomenal, by the way. Has that ever been has that been re-released on anything else on any of the platform? I would because to be fair, as much as I do, I'm a Nintendo fan. I hate playing games on the Wii. I fucking hate it. I hate the motion control. I hate the Wii Mote. I can't stand it. But um let's see. Uh, Matt World Mad World was awesome. So it's only on the Wii? It's bullshit, man. Such a great game. Has, game. has anybody played Mad World here? Like I, I know I in the know. chat, but nobody on the panel? Nope. All right, nope. you're gonna see Mad World to see Mad World. Go ahead though, keep reading. Uh Leighton Gay Rudai for a ten dollar says, I'm late. What the hell is going on? Why? Why is Sevi on Tuesday night's main event? Uh Gish Brif East Brif Yisib. Uh hail the one nine nine. Thanks. Uh Rian Kennel for a one nine nine says bring back bragging rights, damn it. Yes. We need to. We saw everybody was uh loving uh bragging rights. We pretty much rights. did an episode. Yeah, we yeah. pretty much yeah. did it tonight. So Steel Leg of History for a twenty five month says I just had my new fake leg started and I'm using one of Jay's shirts and I just hit three hundred and twenty eight subscribers and ten thousand uh views. Uh YouTube is making me say views as views. As VWS. YouTube is making me say views as VWS. Really? Abel, shout out Steel Leg. Thank you for the 25 months. And uh, shout out to your YouTube channel success, man. Hell Good yeah, stuff. that's awesome, man. I got that. I saw you tagged us on um, Twitter talking about that. So it's good stuff. Uh, Paige Ashley for an eight month sending prayers and much love to our legendary Chris Gore. Get well soon. Good sir. The fellowship loves you and are all here for you. Hell yeah. Uh, Breer for a 10 months. Uh, who were the bald man and the attractive woman who looked at Beard with slightly disappointed expressions? They were present on both nights in Vegas. The man appeared partially disheartened. Uh, I don't know. There was a lot of people there. 
Uh, Dr. Wish Respect John Morrow, this fucking asshole, for a $10. <laughs> says, shout out to Chris Gore, my now... Oh, no. I, uh, what does it say? <laughs> it's go, not good. It. It's not it. good. Not. Shout out to Chris Gore, my now... F- my now fell disabled bro. No matter how bad his speech is, he probably still can read Super Chats better than Beardo. <laughs> so if you guys had any question, if there was any fucking doubt that John Morrow was a piece of shit, now you fucking know. Yeah, that's that's, 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 that's low-hanging fruit. That's, that's low-hanging fruit right there. Sketch for a $2 says, blah. Thank you for the two. Yo, Jitsu for a five. Proud to be one of the 49 watching. Also, notice it said that I wasn't subscribed. Hail the 109. Hail the rebellion. Orange Gaunton for a 199 says, Saska's in chat. Go watch their movie. Hail the 19. Yes. Yes. Go uh, go yeah, watch that movie. You know. My review? Yeah. 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 I, I actually enjoyed it, man. I, I enjoyed the movie. It, it was a good watch. There you go. Here's a here's this is just a long play on uh, Mad World, but hopefully it'll translate. Away. But this game is cool as fuck. Man. Oh shit! I well, that looks game. really cool. Yeah, it's awesome as hell, man. The and this is kind of in the cool. beginning. Yeah, the art, the art is cool. You got the blood and everything. The comic book vibe to it. It's a fantastic game. I remember that. I never played it, but I remember reading about it. In Mad yeah, Games. yeah, it's really good. So uh, I highly recommend everybody check it out but again it's only available on uh the nintendo wii uh but yes you can use the pro controller which is the that's that's the way i played most games but a lot of games you can't play the pro controller um with the nintendo wii so that kind of sucks dom h with five gifted memberships thank you dom h mo zamboni for a ten dollars i'm happy that jay is enjoying my bk outpost move so much he's putting it in all of the thumbnails can't wait to get a royalty check um play guts theme in uh in brackets jk love y'all love you all use it all you want thank you mozamboni sketch for two dollars ryan can i have an order of two whoppers with fries <laughs> fernando for 13 months portuguese is like spanish but with a lot of gibberish they need subtitles just to understand each other absolutely garfield was our mentor for 12 months youtube is broken and eric july is responsible <laughs> so they tell me Illuminati. Yeah, we got 33 viewers at some point i know right that's true <laughs> <laughs> lower Amazing lips confirm. lower lips liquor for five memberships thank you mcu fan for 10 says hello it was nice meeting you all uh meeting you all in the chat <laughs> shout out to mcu fan <laughs> joe king lee for a two dollars ripa get your get your freemasons brothers to fix youtube <laughs> Andre CR for 2,500. John Morrow versus Beardo will be like Timmy versus Jimmy in South Park. <laughs> Bohica for a 50. Says Elijah Woods has one expression. Eyebrows up, wide open, and ready to cry. He's got the emotional range of Leo DiCaprio's performance in What's Eating Gilbert Grape. Thank you for your service, Ryan. The Bearded Society is thick and strong. Here we go. Oh, no. All right, here we go. Well, this is what you guys wanted. We have MCU fan and Miss Krista Nova. We got a ten dollars. Sub- oh, here we go. Hello, yes. my name is Simpy. Hello, <laughs> UCM Naf. All right. Uh, we're Look supposed to get a magic. hug for your birthday. Happy birthday! <laughs> Thanks, Simpy. Oh, he did it. There you go. Right. <laughs> Simpy. Uh, of course he did. He's he's a he's a bitter ex-wife. <laughs> Bitter ex wife. I love it. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, dude, he like he he was like, bring. (laughs) Where's my hug? (laughs) T pose, cyberpunk man. Steel leg of history for five dollars. Eric, I I had forgot to order my comics, but I just did the other day, so now I have all four covers. I'll be ordering my posters to be blessed all. Appreciate that, man. Shout out to you, man. Just John Morrow. What the hell? John Morrow for a 199 says, at least my hairline isn't receding. It's not re- I just have a widow's peak. The I way a, MC can let peak. go of Krista so fast. <laughs> Stickle Jana for a $5. If you want to find out who John Morrow really is, search how he made his $10 million to pay for medical bills. Oh, <clears throat> is there lore there? Yeah. Uh, Michaela Ish for a ten dollars. Hey Jay, someone got Ricada to rant about butter dishes on one of his streams last week. You should ask him about it. 
Uh, uh, we got this one for I'm coming for you, Riga. We got that one. Uh, Hayden for $36. <laughs> says, hey, Sevi, doesn't Arruda have a story involving Craigslist? I think I heard whispers of this somewhere. Could you enlighten us? He has many stories about Craigslist. Um, yeah. So it's kind of hard to say. I think like one time, just to try to remember. I mean, I, I don't know if... See one, the the one that I do remember that he mentioned was he was talking to somebody on in Craigslist, um, and they were gonna hook up maybe, and then um, instead of sending the message to this individual, he sent the stuff to his mom. Yeah. Uh, what? Yeah, he yeah. sent the dirty text. He sent the dirty text. He to sent his the mom dirty text message to, to the- his mom. <laughs> gonna hook yeah. up with someone on Craigslist? Yeah, he's gonna <laughs> hook up with somebody on Craigslist, and then he sent the yeah. text to his mom instead. Yeah, that's a real story. We didn't make that up. He told every. He Dude, told the so internet confused. that story. What are we uh, doing? <laughs> You're hooking up with someone uh, on Craigslist? We, we got it. We got it. We're gonna have to call this Can soon. So if, Listen, we're gonna you know, have to we can't all be John Merrill. Just have what the fuck? So. How much is left, Beardo? A much lot. Left? A lot. All right. Why are you talking? Yeah. Son of a bitch. Take it for five dollars. <laughs> Fallout made IGN and Philip DeFranco entered the binge versus weekly debate on Daily J and Elf needs food, but I forgot what he was referencing. Awesome. Move to the next one. Thanks. Filthy uh filthy gaijin for a two dollars. The fallout show is uh, the fallout show is lore breaking slop. Here in mixed reviews. Yes. Uh John Morrow for a one night says, at least I didn't take a loan out on a Toyota Tacoma. Didn't take a loan, thank you. East Coast Toasty Boy for a tw- two dollars. Hey. Should have used BK Brian for Ryan Holy in the thumbnail. Shit. Hey, it's it's that it's that oh, part of the man. show of uh news nobody gives a fuck about. Arudai says, I will be in Dallas. Thank you, Arudai. Nobody Ooh, gives a fuck. Good job, <laughs> good, good. Nobody good job, there. little buddy. Yeah. Nobody gives a shit. Okay. So thank you, Arudai, for letting us know. You think anybody? You think anybody's watching the stream going, "Oh wow, if a rude eye is going to be in Dallas, I'm nobody fucking cares a rude eye." Yeah, okay? we just told everybody how you try to have sex with somebody on Craigslist. This like, is the part of the show where I'm trying to power through and nobody lets me fucking power through. I read the chat, Beardo! John E's for a one uh, for a 19 months. Jeremy, what game is out on your TV? We got that one. Thank you. Uh, Sonny Harder for a $5. Yeah, Jeremy is now a fake. I had Chicago Culver's after Las Vegas. And those um, and though the girls were pretty, burgers were mid. Smash burgers Bro, will destroy you harder than five fuck guys. Get out of here with that. Yeah, that's, that's a Beardo garbage. level bad take. That's a Beardo level fuck? bad take. Wonks Wonks for a $5 says... Ah, oh, damn. Uh, e, e amo dan por, uh, uh, porque ele é uma uh, bica e ele não se importa. Cool. Did that make sense? You just have a fucking stroke, no. bro. What is going on? Uh, Michaela is for $2. Sevi versus Beardo on the Pokemon trading card game live when? Yeah. I don't know. I don't um, know why Rudai has to come here and be so play. mean. We're in the middle of trying to power through a Rudai. Yeah, Rudai, you're interrupting things. Mr. No, Big for five. Mr. Big for five. I remember playing WrestleMania, the arcade game, on the PC. Good times. It was no kind of I don't, I don't think it was I Spanish. Come on, I don't, think, power I, I don't think it was Spanish. Sunny, Sunny Harder for $2. <laughs> Battlegrounds should have been All-Stars 2. Agree? Uh, Jupiter Knight for a 109 says, I have Emerald Pokemon strategy in great shape. Hey, congratulations. Old Renaissance Nerd for $10. Uh, we have never had so many consoles. Uh, later, I got a SNES Hockey and Metroid and a DS, then found a used Game Boy for Metroid 2 and found Game Boy Advance cartridges, Metroid and Donkey Kong NES Classic. Hashtag 199. Shout out. Thank you for awesome. that. Yeah. Next one. Task Force Raccoon for a five. If you want to talk trading cards, I got ball players from uh, Mickey Mantle, Ricky Henderson, Jim Abbott, and so many others. Oh, almost forgot Joe DiMaggio. Hey, congratulations. Hold on. Next one. You don't know who Joe DiMaggio and Mickey Mantle are? <laughs> oh, no, keep going. Red Bandana Gaming. Holy shit, for a five dollars. Hey, Jay, how, uh, how about you tell them about my collection? I'll quiet everyone down. Thank you. Elite Neo for a five. Few of my gems. First issue of Nintendo Power. First edition holographic base. Uh, first Charizard card. And mm-hmm. uh, and still shrink wrap to copy of Chrono Trigger for SNES. Thank you. Taker for $2. Come on, Dan. Game Boy just came out in Brazil. Dan's mm-hmm. Wellbone for a 199. It's hard. Dan's hands are warm. 
Yep. What? Glenn for five dollars. <laughs> you guys should set up a bragging rights event with fans. I have some I have some cool stuff I want to show off. Brent Wolf for a fifty! Front of the store is half <laughs> is half and half retro games and comics. Back of the store is half tabletop games and half arcade. Uh, Mr. Yeah, Spicy good. Beard for a five dollars. Jeremy, check out Rad Junk Store. Yeah. About an hour east of you is pretty much the mm -hmm. uh, the uh, yeah. business model that you are talking about for your oh, yeah. proposed store. Yeah, or Gigantic cool. for 109 had the Master Chief Halo 3 helmet miss mm. my stuff. You Beautiful. fucked yeah. that bitch for a 199. Yep. Heard, heard of bitch. Gamers Heaven? Check it out. Yeah. Hey, Valiant look, Renegade, look, we got Valiant Renegade. Mark. Dom H said, unfortunately, this guy is my brother. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry, Dom. Come on, Beardo, let's go. Son Keep going. Bitch. What are you what waiting are you on, Beardo? Uh, I think we got this what Hayden, Hayden, Hayden for a 20. I think we read this one. Thank you, right. Heisman, for a 10 months. Do you think there is no hope for America Gaming Entertainment, or do you think there is still hope? And do you guys think there's an animal farm communism? Yes. Valiant oh, Renegade for a $5. Now we know Beardo's best pickup line on Grinder. Thank you. You're yeah, short, by the way. Here. Eric K for two dollars. Says, "Lol, love Beardo. you, Beardo. No homo. Thanks." Tomberry Master for a, for a twenty-five. Days. John Morrow is the first ten. Shut the fuck up. The Cream Nando <laughs> for a two dollars. Says, "Fun fact: Lethal Lightning does not have a taint." It's uh, cream thank you. Nando, not Cream Nando. Yeah, what are you doing? The hell's wrong with you, Beardo? What the fuck? Uh, Chris Chris Benoit for a five dollars. <laughs> Me winning the world title at WrestleMania twenty over Triple H and Shawn Michaels was a perfect ten out of ten match. <laughs> Hayden for a twenty. Lord of the Rings is a ten. <laughs> Uh, if something comes out that beats those movies, you slide everything down to fit it in the scale. You should, you could have a couple of tens, but you can also adjust. Now, once you, once you label the game and you, you rank it, it, once you rank it, it's done. Once you rank the game, it's done. You give it a nine point. If you give something a nine point two, it's over. You give something a nine point two, it's over. Finish. Angel for six months. Lol. Finally got to see Tuesday's main event live. It's so funny. You fucked that bitch for a one nine nine. Says never got to consoles. Just love the Atari. the Atari. How dare how dare you say that Keep about going. Angel? Did you just literally call Angel a bitch? How dare you? How dare you? Val Valiant Keep Renegade going. for a $5 says, Old, I'm still the owner of an original Atari. No, you're not. Uh, Gnomeski for a three month says, Death Wish, Death Wish. One uh, one through six is a 10 out of 10, maybe. Yeah. Old Renaissance nerd for a 109 says, you're such a fig, Jeremy. Pfft, I got Gary by two years. Okay, future boy for $2. <laughs> Cobra has a two-inch bean, but as wide as a tuna can. Uh, Retro Meister for a $20. <laughs> now that it's official, that Keanu... Hold on, pull that back up. Who fucking no, no, said no, no, it? No, 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 no. Who we said it? <laughs> who said it? Nah, who said it? Who said it? I thought it was the cream nando. <laughs> Retro Meister for a twenty dollars. <laughs> now that it's official that Keanu Reeves is the voice of Shadow for Sonic Three, it'd be cool if Rogue the Bat appears. She was voiced by Gina Carano and Amy Rose to be voiced by iCarly's Miranda Cosgrove. That'd be cool. <laughs> Dirty Jersey for a five dollars. Dan, I think it's time to man up and stream uh, and stream beating Silver Surfer for the uh, for the NES. Big Ooh. PP energy is required. Are man. you high T enough? That's Mill me that game, game and I'll that's do a, it. That's a tough game. Jay's homosexual butter dish for a five dollars. Please help me. Jay keeps sexually abusing me. I've been in a place that no one should ever go to. Ew. Don't let him sleep. He'll no. use me again. He will. The king of Darth Day for a thirty-six dollars. <laughs> Sevi, don't forget to ask Jeremy about getting more GNG tabletop merch because that is great That's stuff. And he was awesome in Alien Stream. Hail to the Felto the ship. We uh, one thousand percent need to do more merch, merch over there. It's, it's, I see how much you guys like all the enthusiasm from the tabletop crowd. Whenever we have someone on tabletop uh, which is, is the first time we've had someone because sevy's the first time we've ever had a respectable member of the a tabletop real, a real person. yeah um no. but yes uh i appreciate the enthusiasm what the fuck? i'm on that channel who <laughs> epic mike who spoke what are you doing beardo why are we still waiting what here? are we doing beardo what are you doing what are we doing what? What are we now doing he stopped reading so now he's sleeping hurry up and finish what Come the on. fuck are you doing, man? Wake up. Wake up. All white for five dollars. Oh, I'm up. <laughs> <laughs> yo, pop for fifty. So what's up, guys? What's up, yo, pops? I already read that one. Move oh, on. No, Son of a bitch. And all white for a five dollars. Steph should cosplay right. as Lady D from Resident <laughs> Evil Eight. I'll yes, do it. We're down for that. Shadow yeah, Saiyan for a five dollars. Remember when Beardo called oh. EFAP EFAP? Yes, I <laughs> yeah, do. Yeah, it was really good. <laughs> hey, Jesus, Jesus okay. Davila for twenty nine months. Did anyone play the Evil Within? If not, would recommend to those who like Resident Evil. Rudai for a one nine nine. I'll just skip that one. Yeah, you fucked that bitch for a one nine nine. Hooked up with someone on POF. 
She took four hundred dollars. That sucks. Uh, Fear the Tardo for two dollars says Power Poo. Tardo, have faith. Thank you, Tardo. Uh, the King Darth Dave for a five dollars. Muppetosis is real. We feel sorry for a rude eye. You missed the super chat. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I saw you. Nope, Ryan missed it. Hayden for a 15 months. I will also be at the Fan Expo Dallas. Can't wait to meet some of you guys there. That can make it. Lord Botha for a 199 says, Swig of water for the working beardo. Thank you. Super Mastermind for a $5. Can you um, can yeah. you can a canned yeah. can into an uncanned can like a can or can a canned can into an uncanned can? Sure, maybe. <laughs> Lord of the Rings nerd for a $2. Beardo went full right. retard. Never go full retard. Clever girl for a $2. Good night. Beardo's poop oh, cookie for a $2. Free. I give that hug a 199. Poop cookies out of 10. Thank you. Uh, yeah. the, the King Darth Dave for a $5. Epic Mike is a great is great on tabletop and will do werewolf eventually. Yeah. Jay is a big fig for a dollar. Says nothing. And I believe we're all fucking caught up. I didn't. Wow! Look at there. Good Look at job, there. Beardo. You only fucked up most well, of them. We got a few on Streamlabs. We got Kyo Zaber for thirty six dollars. Yeah. Says, "Yay! I can gift an additional amount." Hell, once again, Sevi and the, the cult of Sevi. Oh, hi, Arudai. One more for the road. Thirty six PS thirty six. Oh, there yeah. we go. Um, Lone Star Wolf says Vegas meetup was awesome. Only 12 months until the next one. Let's freaking let's go. go. Um, yep. Let's see. Chet. Uh, let's see. Chet Stedman says uh, YouTube subscription pages are down. Yeah, that was earlier on. Mm. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Enoch Maman says Craig has uh, never seen the original L Little Mermaid, but he has seen the live action remake. The Scuttlebutt oh. is now his favorite song. He sings it loud throughout the day. That is why his wife left him and took the kids. What a sick commie degenerate. Oh God. Yeesh. Uh, and oh. then Enoch Amon says um, Craig has never seen the inside of a Playboy, but he has watched Jake Gyllenhaal shower. He views him with binoculars in a dark room. Room, lit only by a cigarette oh yeah he mutters in between taking long slow drags of his cigarette that's right jake holy fuck you know mom's got a new target it's no longer yeah. a beardo apparently so i guess oh, that's a good thing got bored with all beardo. right since <laughs> since feeding fed in these nuts is bitching in the chat to reread his super chat i already fucking read it but we'll do it again <laughs> read it again 36 dollars says hail maybe since beardo is not reading supers tonight ryan will say my name correctly my likeness is the worst of the worst never trust a fed he locked me up once and continues to target members of these nuts clan there you go <laughs> yeah, we didn't read that one. That was no. I, th yeah. I thought I did. <laughs> Jason Pot for a ten dollars <laughs> says, "Please bring back Sevi Moore. She is a gem and so much better than a rude eye." Yeah. Uh, Steel Lake of History for two dollars. Yeah. One more beard. Oh well. Don't speak too too fast. The Gilkman for huh? a $10. As what? much as I want to meet Beardo, the New York Giants flag makes me want to vomit. I yeah. never want to meet him. Damn. But I want to meet everyone else. <laughs> What the fuck did the Giants do to you, he, he Thomas? He said, screw the Giants at the end. He's Read it. He, he, he's, he's, he's a Boston he's, fan. Uh, he's probably a Patriots fan. Well, he that says, sucks. The that sucks that the Patriots that. in your lifetime lost twice to the New yeah. York football yeah, Giants. The Giants yeah. suck. Yeah. Yeah. Twice cry, in four years. Cry, twice in four years. Wings. Yeah, that's all Twice you in four years. Yeah, keep talking twice about Twice in happened. four years, baby. Oh. About that twice in four years. Twice in four years. Twice in four years. Bubble gum on the helmet. That's that's a Mickey Mouse fucking excuse. Twice in four years. Shadow saying for five dollars, John Morrow would have gotten through these super chats easily. Yeah. Anima chains for two dollars. Cecil sells seashells by the seashore, you figs. Thank you. Now we're done. Nope, Fucking classy, classy uh, vigilante for two dollars says hi, Beardo. <laughs> fuck, you almost missed that one. What the fuck? Piss off. Bro? Where, uh, fuck? where, where are we, uh, where are we gonna start? Let's go to Dan Vass because he's tired. Yeah. What's up, Dan? What's up? I just beat Castlevania without dying. Hey, where can they find hey. you, Dan? What do you got going on? Super Vask 3D. So, Super Vask 3D on YouTube and Dan Vask. And there you go. Watch my shit. Watch my oh. shit. There we go. Yeah. My nerdy home. What's up? I'm going to be streaming over on Kick and Twitch when this tonight? stream is over. Okay. Yeah, tonight. Sweet. I'll sweet. Be streaming there tonight. Also, subscribe to Geeks and Gamers Clips. That's where I upload a bunch of all a bunch of these weird clips that, you know, yep. you see. So, yep. Yeah. Support the channel. She's doing a good good job over there. Uh Epic Mike. Uh yeah, I've been streaming over on YouTube a fuck ton and I'll probably be streaming tonight as well. Uh, keeping the streak going. We're at 582 subs and 
We're at 792 watch hours already, so we're cruising. Um, get that link in the chat. Let's get what we can get Mike to a thousand subs. Come yeah, on, yeah, you get that link. Get that link. Uh, backslash we'll at fucking Epic Mike. say it. Fucking drop the link. Well, Shut I don't have, I don't mouth. know how to do that. I don't, I don't do, it. Fucking drop shit in do, it. Right, do it. Fucking do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Um, but yeah, so we're cruising over there, bro. It's been a good time. I've been learning a lot about how fucked up YouTube is with this copyright bullshit. Yes. Um, I literally will watch something and talk over it the entire time. They're like, yeah, but we heard it in the background. Yes. So, yes, yeah. that is very true. Very true. Yeah, yeah you guys cruising, go subscribe. Man. Subscribe to Mike. Let's get his channel up to a thousand. We can do that. So yeah, it's been a fucking blast. And uh, yeah, we're so we're cruising over there. And then we're on uh, Twitch and fucking kick as well. Um, we're multi-streaming all of that shit right now. So there we go. It. And he just oh. dropped the link. So you guys go subscribe. Young check out Epic Verse. Oh, yeah. Epic Verse every Thursday at 8 p.m. We do a stream. We're hanging out, rocking, just talking about shit, and we drop some tidbits here and there, uh, drop mm -hmm. some cool uh, views and sneak peeks and stuff. So, and oh. uh, we got Young Ripa. What up, man? Um, we are preparing for some cool announcements. Um, we got stuff mm -hmm. up our sleeves, man. With uh, still left uh, within the Yara campaign, so it's gonna be fun. So I'll be working on that. No more streams. We got River to Silver back tomorrow, though. Uh, except yeah. that's the only one that we have uh, this week. So catch us there. I think it's on Az's channel this week. We'll see. But yes, right. it is on Az's channel. So we'll see you over there. Okay. Boom. Um, and Fear the Beardo. Uh, Eric Ray is for a five months. Beardo still hasn't finished reading chats. Not yet. Uh, <laughs> Desbit for 13 months. Yo, Beardo, got one more. Have a great night. Objectively, a cat for $2. I got to support John Morrow. Cripples Unite. Fantastic Mr. Knox for $2. True quality content. Classy Vigilante says you didn't say hi back. You're damn right I didn't. An Aquaman <laughs> for a $5. Did my stream lab not go through all the way? Or are we saving it for later? Just wondering. I, I looked and, yeah, I read everything that, that showed on both those stream labs donations. So that's all I have right there. Sensei um, Shark Bait for a 199. Says, give me back my son. 199. Uh, we got Vault 95 over on uh, Kick or Rumble it says uh, Jeremy Beanie Boy, meaning Tim Pool, is opening a multi-story coffee shop in West Virginia. The upper floors will be served as a social club for higher paying members, lower floors for the regular coffee customers with TV screens. That sounds fucking cool. Um, so when I was talking about this retro store, people said Tim Pool's like doing some kind of coffee shop thing like that. So uh, that's super cool. Um, I I. I tend to underestimate uh, our audience and uh, did it again in Vegas um, with the merch. And uh, I just, I, my, my mindset, like as much as we joke about the grifting and stuff like that, it's like, I don't, I'm not trying just to go there to make money. It's fun to hang out with everybody, but you know, we sold out of one nine, nine hats. We sold out of the chains. Um, we sold out of almost everything we brought pretty much. And oh, uh, Steph had been, you know, like telling me like we need more merch. So, um, I don't know what the, the options are, but my dream has always been to open up some type of retro hangout shop. Uh, so maybe maybe we can pull that together. We'll see. But with that said, thank you guys so much. Thank you to everybody for hanging out with us tonight. Um, we got Geeks and Gamers Daily in the morning. Looks like Steph is going to be streaming tonight. Uh, Epic Mike, you streaming tonight? Yeah, I'm going to be streaming too. All right, there we go. Ooh. Um, Ooh. And uh, thank you again, Sevi. We got we to gotta close out with you. So, Sevi... Awesome having you on uh, your first Tuesday night's main event. Let them know where they can find you and what you got going on. Yep. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Sevi. You can find me over at Geeks and Gamers Tabletop. Um, and uh, I know the links will be placed in the chat. And uh, you can also find me on Twitter where my name is uh, Sevi uh, underscore 707. And I usually do stream on my kick and my Twitch, uh, which has my... Um, youtube name so you can find me there as well uh just a reminder alien is on it is on for two days a, um april 20th and april 27th at 7 p.m eastern we're gonna have a hoot i hope you guys can come and watch it's gonna be awesome you did a great job tonight yeah. awesome having you on beardo you got yeah. a few more super chats uh no Do read them read them Okay, first, Darth Dave over on Kick. There's about five gifted subs. Thank you, Darth Dave. Um, Inspector for a $20 says, Quan99. Thank you. And Nakamon for $2 says, I'll retry next week. It's terrible, but I'm so proud. <laughs> and that is it. That's a wrap. Thank you, guys. Nearly got a four-hour uh, Tuesday night's main event in. Thanks to Ryan for hanging out with us tonight and uh, covering while I was uh, – 
traveling, but um, bragging rights basically is what we had tonight. Um, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Next week, we'll have more structure. I'll be honest, like, I'm really out of the loop on a lot of the news cycle stuff, so that's why we kind of just had, like, a super chat fest and a meme fest and bragging rights tonight. Even Ryan was a little out of, you know, out of the loop on a lot of news because all this traveling and stuff we've been doing, so we'll be back, but Geese and Gamers Daily tomorrow. Love you all. Have a great night, and uh, say bye, Beardo. Let's talk games. Good night, everyone.